Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast, where we try to make sense of the modern dating hellscape. Thanks for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We're coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California, every Sunday and Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. I am your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki, back there. She's a bit shy. A few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer supported. Heavy YouTube demonetization. We have Streamlabs pulled up here, so please consider donating through Streamlabs instead of super chatting as YouTube takes a brutal 30% cut. So some quick maths for y'all. If you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes about three. Streamlabs.com slash whatever. Link is in the description. Uh, donations and Super Chats, $10 and up, will be displayed in Stream Overlay. Donations and Super Chats, $50 and up, will be read slash answered. If you want to interact nearly instantly with us and weigh in on the conversation, consider sending a TTS text-to-speech message. $100 and up triggers TTS. TTS is via Streamlabs only. See the description for all triggers in full details. We have channel memberships. To become a member, hit the Join button. Tier 1 is just $5 a month. We're also live on Twitch. Right now, guys, pull up another tab, go to twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. The streaming quality tends to be a little bit better over there on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch. It's a quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. We've got merch, shop.whatever.com. Stuff you can wear to not be naked. Don't be a criminal, get some merch. Follow us on Instagram, at whatever. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. If you can make it to beautiful beachside Santa Barbara, if you're interested in sponsoring the podcast, you can also DM us there. Follow me on Instagram, BD underscore Atlas. Now, guys, I've been getting reports from people that apparently my personal IG messages are not going through. So if you're watching now, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to end up getting spammed. Can you try uh, on mobile? Can you try to go to my personal Instagram, see if there's a message button on my profile, or if you can just find another way to message me. And try to send me a message. I, people have been telling me they're getting error messages, so if you can do me a favor, just try to send me a message. I'm trying to troubleshoot it with Instagram. Also, check out my nonprofit movement, Big Labia Matter, or BLM for short. You know, it's really the pressing issue of our time. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm a trailblazer in this regard. Okay. If you can't catch the full shows, we have a Clips channel. Link is in the description. We're trying to get to 1 million subscribers on the Clips channel. Go subscribe. We're about, uh, what, 70, about 70,000 subscribers away. You know, we've got a 100,000 subscriber plaque here. We're trying to get the million subscriber plaque for our Clips channel. So um, go, uh, go subscribe, guys. And we finally got a Discord, discord.gg. If you can put us on the other side, Nick. Um, Discord.gg slash whatever link is in the description. Caveat for the time being, this is a members only Discord. You can sign up and gain access via our Patreon, patreon.com slash whatever. Disclaimer, the views expressed by the guests do not necessarily reflect the views of the whatever podcast. So without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, occupation, and location. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Maddie Rouvet. I'm 21. I do OnlyFans. Wait, in location? Yeah, like where, where are you from? Oh, California. California. So like... Uh, Orange County. Oh, okay. All right. And you recently went viral uh, for like, what, what, are they, what are they calling you? Pulse Squat Girl. That's the name of the gym? The, or, or Pulse... That's what I was that's doing. That's the name of the move. That's pulse the squats. name of the movement, yeah. Okay. I was at LA Fitness. Okay, and you, you got how many views like across social media? Like 300 million or something? 300 million, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to pull it up. We're going to, we're, we're going to, Joey Swole reacted to it. So we're going to see his reaction. We're going to see the original and uh, we'll have a little discussion on that. Uh, what about you? Um, Mizra, um, 21. Okay. And I did OnlyFans. Um, I'm in between right now. So sorry. Um, I did OnlyFans, but I'm in between right now, um, and yeah. Where are you from? Um, originally Turkey, but right now Riverside. Were you born in Turkey? Uh, Turkey. Okay. Yeah. Istanbul? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Izmir. I love that place. <laughs> it's dope. My, okay. Um, and you, are you a student or? Um, not anymore. What were you studying previously? Um, I was psychology. Psych? Okay. Yeah. What about you? 
My name is Megan Robinson. I have a mindset coaching business and I have a podcast called Lessons in Self-Love. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Washington, D.C. All right. Welcome. So you, f you flew here? I did. First time to California? No. Oh, okay. Got it. What about you? Hi. My name is Kendall. I'm 19 years old and I'm a student. Where at? I'm at the Santa Barbara City College. What are you studying? I'm studying communications. Gotcha. And where are you from originally? Um, I've moved a lot, but originally from San Diego. Got it. What about you? My name is Kayla. Um, I'm 30. I live in Las Vegas. Um, I'm a stripper, an author, and I'm also starting real estate. All right. Welcome. Thanks. Um, my name's Kyla. I'm 18 years old. Um, I'm a student, and I'm from Santa Barbara. And uh, what are you studying? I'm studying business econ as of right now. At the City College? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Hi. Thank you for having me. My name is Jordan. I'm 25. My husband and I own a private gym in Riverside. We also do personal training, online coaching, entrepreneur. I'm a wife and a dog mom. And we're... Uh, Riverside. You're, you grew up, born in Riverside? Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the Q Pill, behavioral scientist, certified relationship coach, YouTuber, entrepreneur, author. Age? 31. Government name? <laughs> Jaquan. Jaquan, okay. <laughs> do you, what do you prefer? Do you want them to call you Q-Pill? Call me Q. Ca call, call him Q. Q. Call, call him Q. Q. All right, cool. So we're going to go around the table once more. So what's everybody's current relationship status? So you're single, talking stage, situationship, friends with benefits, relationship, married, polycule, uh, sex cult, <laughs> Part of a her it, harem? Is it harem or harem? I've heard both. Harem. It's harem. I've heard harem. Let's go with Chat, chat. Is it harem or harem? Harem is ugly as fuck. <laughs> I thought it was harem for my entire life, but then I started hearing harem. Harem. So, which one is it, chat? Is it which one? Help us out. PPC. Help us out in the chat. Harem. First one, wait. Okay. One for harem, two for harem. One for harem, two for harem. One for harem, two for harem. <laughs> okay. So if you're in, if you're in either of those, um, let us know. If you're single, how long have you been single? And what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? Starting with you, go ahead. I'm single, not talking to anyone, not having sex with anyone, and the longest. Stop the cap. <laughs> Maybe lower it to 90. You're not having P in the V with anybody? No, I mean, don't check my Twitter, but. Yeah, I did check your Twitter. And they're, on Twitter, you're having. Is that AI, or are you saying that's AI? Oh, no. Um, I stopped seeing that person. So currently, I'm not hooking up with anyone. So that's, that was just like in your backlog? No, that was like a week ago. Oh. Oh, so you had sex as recently as a week ago. But I also stopped a week ago. So you've been, are you claiming celibacy? Yes. I feel like a, at least a, a minimum a month before you can claim celibacy. Okay, but before that, it was like eight months. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, you're... Was this a guy you were dating, or was it just for work? No, I was dating him. My friend introduced us to start dating, and then mm -hmm. she got jealous that we were seeing each other, so she also started fucking him. And then I said, that makes me uncomfortable, and she said, I was fine with sharing. And I said, well, I'm not. So I don't talk to either of them anymore. Hmm. Yeah. How long were you friends with this lady? A few months. Okay. I, yeah, I have a hard time actually being friends with other sex workers, which is funny because I find that these situations always happen. So, did you consider the guy that you were seeing your boyfriend, or what was it? Just he like asked to be exclusive, and I said I'm not seeing other people, but like I want like a little bit more time. You want a little more time to what? 
decide if there's something better comes along. <laughs> no, I'm just like I'm scared of people. You know, you never know. People slip up. I yeah, have they like might a three fuck your friend. Rule. They did fuck they my friend. They might fuck your friend. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, he was was he in the content adult content creation space before yeah. you met him? He he okay. was, but not in an online way. Okay. But he was also okay to like make and sell content with me, so it kind of was like an L. I'm not gonna lie. For him or for you? For me. To make content with him? Yeah. Why is it an L? Because you had to pay him or? No, because I only want to make content with a partner. I you know I don't make content with strangers, so. But you made content with him. Yeah. Who was a, kind of a stranger, sort of. I had known him for like you know. Oh okay. All right. A little bit. All right. Well, so okay, you've been uh, single and not talking to anybody for a week. Yes. Okay. Do you think that's going to reconcile or that's donezo? Um, no, it's done. Okay. All right. What about you? Um, as of a week, I'm in a relationship now. As of a w so you've been, <laughs> it's like the, wait, are you seeing, are you dating? It. Is she this, is this your friend? Yeah, we have beef. Oh, I Real see. Shit? Yeah, I texted her. She's a crazy cunt. Like, what? How many Did days you ago? You guys don't know. Oh my god. Nah. <laughs> no. No yeah. way. That, that's chat. Nah, they're just. How's his nine-inch cock though? <laughs> nine inches and girthy. I noticed you're wearing a size queen. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Sure. No, I mean, I I don't believe that there's actually a. Oh. Oh. So you okay? You've been dating a guy for, for the, for purposes of clarity for the audience, you're not dating. Her guy. No. Okay. <laughs> so, how long have you been seeing this guy? Or like, cause you said, is it been official for a week? But you've been seeing him for longer, or? Um. Okay. So technically, I've been talking to him for like a year. Um. But he just came, or like technically, yeah, he just came like a month ago, cause he used to live in Turkey. And so he moved to the U.S. for me. And then I was like, now I can be in a relationship. Because I didn't want to do long distance. But. but so you first met him a year ago. Yeah. Was this in Turkey? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, or here? I met him like a few years ago because he was my ex's... Uncle? What? He was oh, my ex's I didn't say that. friend. What? Your ex's <laughs> friend? Like, best friend. But... Oh. Wait, you met, so while you were dating a guy, you mm -hmm. met your current... Yeah. Ting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he deserved it. Who deserved it? Like my ex. Why? Because he cheated on me. Oh, so you're just with <laughs> this new guy as revenge, no, 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 basically. No, 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 no. Because that was like... That was like five years ago. Oh, okay. So we knew each other back then. Um, obviously, we were friends. And then, um, yeah, a year ago, then we just like we we're just friends. And I went back to Turkey, and I was there for like six months. And so we were like seeing each other on off. And then he officially like moved to U.S. for me. To, for you? Yeah. Why didn't you move to Turkey for him? I didn't want to. So he likes you more than you like him? Maybe. That's basically what it boils down to? No, I wouldn't say so. Because I think like it's very different because Turkey, it's not good economically right now. So it's like no one would choose to choose. Yeah, I think I can, I think I can. With I think that's the one exception to the man yeah. moving. America is better than Turkey, so I mean. Watch out, all the, watch out, you're going to invoke the wrath of the <laughs> Turkish. Do you want to apologize to all the Turkish people that you've just... Fuck no. America number one, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, so, okay, so he moved here. So you've been talking to him for a year, you said, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Like were you seeing? Were you seeing other guys in that one year period? Yes. Damn. But you think it was he, on and off. Like You had an on and off again long distance relationship? No, I was in Turkey for six months. Okay, so for the first... For the first six months. Okay, 
So you guys were dating there. Yeah. Was it on and off again there? Yeah. Yeah. It's, so you it's were, always been on and off. Oh, okay. Yeah. He moved for an on again, off again relationship? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Okay, all right. So you've been, he's been here for a week? Um, he's been here for a month. Oh, been here for a month. Has it been off yet? No. How's it, is it any arguing so no. far? No arguing? Did he move with you? Or did he mm -hmm. move into it? Oh, so y'all live together? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Okay. Dang. Good times. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, what about you? I have a boyfriend. We've been together for about 10 months now. And we just had our first session of premarital counseling like a week ago. So we're very serious. Wait, uh, you and him went together to see a therapist? No, so premarital counseling in like the Christian religion, you have to go there and oh. like talk to a priest for a oh. couple sessions okay. before like you get engaged so that you can prepare properly. I didn't know that. What yeah. mm -hmm. what denomination? It's a Christian. Christian pastor. Protestant, evangelical. Um, this specific church Catholic. we go to is just like a Bible church. I don't know. So in order to denominational, something like that. In order to get married at that specific church, you have to do like the couple premarital. I, I don't think it's required, oh. but it's something that we wanted to do. Okay. Just to right. make sure we're like doing right by God in like the covenant that we have. So. Love that. Huh. How many sessions is it? I think it's like five. And what? So what is discussed in? So the first one, he just kind of gave us advice because he's been married for like 40 years. Oh. So he was just talking to us about like our relationship, who we are. Wiley Coyote 5 donated $100. What's up with Kaiser Wilhelm back there? Dude looks like he's planning to go around the Maginot Line and invade France. Suspicious. Well, you know, here's the thing, right? So this is a Chilean, Chile, South America military uniform uh you know it has certain prussian uh military influences dating back to the early 19th uh 1900s perhaps even before and uh so he's thinking about you know i think he's looking at peru he's looking at peru um you know there's argentina's pretty close you know so yeah Thank you for that. Appreciate it. What uh, go on? You were talking about the meeting thing. Yeah, we just had our first session, so I'm not mm. entirely sure what it entails, but I know there's a section on like handling conflict, mm. and it also talks about like sexual stuff and how you're oh. supposed to approach that. So oh. we. How are you supposed to approach sexual stuff? So we are not having sex until we're married. And that's the decision that we both made like early on in our relationship. Mm -hmm. um, we want to do what God says is right in a marriage. And we feel like sexual activity and that kind of pleasure and like the hedonism aspect of that is something to be earned mm -hmm. from having like a good relationship mm -hmm. and growing together. Got it. Wait, so are you both virgins? No. But you guys have not with each other, haven't had... Right. That's correct. ...any sexual intercourse. That's correct. Okay. okay. Um, mm. And so... Hmm. Okay, cool. I feel like I had a follow-up question. So, okay. <laughs> why, why the shift is my question. So, you, neither of you are virgins. Why all? Why go from having had sex previously to now we want to wait all the way until marriage? Hmm. Well, before him and I started dating, so we were friends for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Before we started dating, he actually decided like autonomously that he wanted to do a nine month period of celibacy himself. So this was before like my influence. He chose to do that, and I was also going through a similar thing. And when we started dating, like right off the bat, I just told him, like, you know, I want to wait. Like, that's 
just what I prefer. And then as we grew in our relationship with God, we made like more strict decisions about what we were going to do. So it was a process. Okay. All right. Got it. Are, are you guys engaged? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. What about you? Go ahead. Um, I'm in a relationship. How long have you guys been dating? Like a month. One month? Yeah. What's your longest relationship? Like two and a half years. When did that end? Like four months ago. So you you were single for about three months? Yeah. Okay. So you're currently, how did you guys meet your current situation? Um, we met at a party. Party? How long did y'all talk before y'all got in a relationship? Like a month. So two, you've known him for two months total? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who, uh, he approached you, you approached him? He approached me. What was his, what did he say? He's like, sup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was that a frat party? Yeah. Is he a frat boy? Shit. Yes. Called it. Okay. <laughs> Which frat, Sig App? Uh, I can't say. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Was it a foam cannon party? A what? Foam Phone? Foam cannon. No. Was there a it was like house? a it was, was a there? rodeo. A or rodeo theme. Yeah, something like that. So you came dressed as a cowgirl, and he just saw you, and mm -hmm. got to talk to that cowgirl. Yep. Oh God, that was sorry. That was, <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Uh, okay. So. My God, it's pulling teeth tonight. Okay. <laughs> He approached you. Oh, oh he, um, yeah, he approached me and he called me like really pretty and we just kind of talked and then we realized we were both from San Diego. Mm. We went to the same high school, worked so at the same job, common. just like didn't even realize. Okay. Lives like six minutes away from me from home. Just like perfect match. Did you guys have a one night stand? Well, what, not a one night stand, but like did it go down that night? No. No? Mm -mm. Huh. The night after? What? The night after? <laughs> no, it did not happen that night. <laughs> okay. What about you? Um, so I've been completely single for like two years. Um, but I've been dating and since then. But now my ex is trying to come back into my life. But I don't like him. I don't even want him. Single? For, you said single for two years? Yeah. Longest relationship? Uh, it was five years. But five I was years. like 15 to 20. Any kids? One. One kid? Yeah. Is the guy who's trying to come back, is that your... No. Okay. All right. What about you? I'm single. My longest relationship was two years and a month. How long have you been single? Uh, for a, l a year and two months. One year, two... How many days? How many days? Yeah. You said one year... Two months, how many days? <laughs> Hours, minutes, too. Seems like you're <laughs> keeping track of when the breakup occurred. <laughs> who, uh, who dumped who? I dumped him. Of course. Yeah. Why? Um, he just wasn't changing the things I asked him to change. Oh. What and what are those? Um, <laughs> he... Oh, gosh. That was so long ago, I feel like. Um, he just wasn't really prioritizing the relationship. He was more prioritizing other things. Not that, like, you have to prioritize me specifically, like, constantly, but it was kind of just like he was putting me in the dark a lot of the time. So I just, like, had to respect myself and couldn't take it anymore. But you said you asked him to make certain changes, and he wasn't, he didn't make those changes. So what, was it just the example that you provided were there other things um it was mainly just like he wasn't prioritizing prioritizing uh, you like how often would you guys hang out um like once or twice a week depending on um the season because he played basketball how tall was he um <laughs> like five five ten this was definitely high school basketball Sorry. Well, of course. Okay. Wait, so... <clears throat> Can depending I on this... Yeah, go ahead. So, excuse me. You said he was prioritizing other things. What were the things he's prioritizing? Like, his friends? Um, yeah. He, well, he was also, like, to be honest, he was kind of lazy. 
<laughs> oh. um, he just like red flag. Um, I, like we'd make plans and he would just be like, "I'm really tired. I just want to lay in bed." We we're so basically what was he tired of. Um, he was playing junior varsity basketball. I mean, give the cut the guy <laughs> it wasn't a little even slack. During that season, cut though. him some slack. He was tired after practice. But also, like I'm an extrovert, he was an introvert. We just didn't match. Word. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you guys only. So it's pretty much what you guys just weren't hanging out enough. Um, it wasn't even just that. I just like think that like over the span of two years. After like constantly asking him to change certain things, I just kind of got Ch- change over what? It. Change what though? Just like him like prioritizing the relationship. But but you said stuff. plural change things. Besides that, change what? Um, I mean. Specifically. I'm like trying to think. I'm like blanking. Well, she mentioned lazy. Yeah, That's he was just not like attractive. Yeah, like I would I would ask him to like go for like go somewhere to like do something, and he would just be like. Oh, I just want to lay in bed. Or, like, for example, I he liked the Dodgers. I took him to Dodger games, and he um, never did any of that for me. Like, we went to Disneyland for my birthday. My mom paid for my ticket. He didn't pay anything. Not that you have to pay, but, I mean, it's, like, 50-50, right? And it was more 80-20, hmm. I'd say. Okay. Is it possible? Was he loyal to you? Um... <laughs> That's so funny you say that. Um, yeah, for as much as I know, I mean, I have my own reservations on things, but that's what he says. Is it possible you were the side chick? I definitely don't think so. He don't w- think he so. for he for sure was definitely like like in love with me. Don't get me wrong, he was a good boyfriend. Okay. He right. just like definitely got too comfortable i think too comfortable okay all right what about you happily married for how long uh six months six months but we've been dating for like six years six years six months kids nope planning to yep how many don't know don't know okay q what about you man single doing me whatever i want whenever i feel like it that's right (laughs) <laughs> all right cool so we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get into our first uh oh, actually you know what before we pull up maddie's viral no let's do maddie's viral clip thing first all right maddie the clip yeah wow. <laughs> So, first off, a couple questions there. I, I noticed something. Uh, your phone screen was cracked, but I, I have a, okay. The kick, the supposed kick, right? It looked pretty like a gentle kick, not a kick that would sufficiently crack a phone screen. So was your screen already cracked? Yes. So you, but you kind of framed it, you gave it the spin where like he cracked the screen, but it was already damaged. My screen was already cracked and it got one more crack. From, from the, from the slight kick. kick, kick, okay. It was aggressive. Not saying, look, eh, it's not appropriate for him to, uh, to, kick, to, my to phone. kick your property. That's yeah. never appropriate. Yeah. Um, but that's one thing that caught my eye. So uh, you were doing that in the gym. Yeah. Okay. And that she posted that it went viral. Well, tell us a bit about the backlash. Okay. Uh, oh, any the back? Ba- any backlash? Any praise? Okay. First, we need to go back like two years because. Yeah, let's okay. go back there. So we go back totally, two years. Totally related. <laughs> no, I swear totally we're gonna re- get there. Okay. Because this like will help. Oh my you god, know. that mic came out of nowhere. Holy fuck. 
if you think it's like right or wrong, like you need to know like where the exercise came from. Yeah, yeah, right? definitely. So two years ago, my friend's super into fitness. I watch all of her stories. She posts all this stuff. She posted that exercise without the bouncing and said that if you can do this for a minute, it's linked to longevity. Did I look any further into it? No. But did I start doing it like every day when I went to the gym? Yes. Okay. As a stretch. Okay. And then... I was working out like probably a year ago and I was filming just for vlogging and then I realized that it looked kind of sexual and so I started adding like a bounce to it. Okay. And I started filming it for reels, mm -hmm. but it still was a part of my warm up mm -hmm. and I had just, you know, added it for that. Um, so that's where the exercise came from. I still do it like three times a week, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, at that same gym or have you no i'm i moved to equinox oh you moved, <laughs> I moved okay to equinox. Do, do people recognize you when you're doing yeah doing that exercise yeah wait i have a question though okay okay all right was it staged no you sure yes <laughs> Oh, why are, you, why are you looking at me now? What the fuck? I thought we were having a staring contest. Yeah, but the, the, sound, the sound thing ended. So kind of put me in a trance. <laughs> you tranced out. So, so was, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't, you know, people be staging shit for, you know, it's not, you know? Yeah. Not staged? No, I do understand that. That wasn't the guy who just dumped you? No. Oh, did Sorry. Oh, sorry. Triggering. Just flashbacks. Flashbacks. Oh. No, the guy that I was just with was like six something. Yeah. That guy was. Uh. Ryan Holt donated $100. Oh. That clip pissed me off so much. <laughs> Fuck that entitled POS girl. Without natural selection, unfortunately, we have to deal with idiots like her. Uh, oh, SMH wow. can't believe you have her on, but I get it. Views. Actually, you know what? Maddie's. Here's the thing. She's been on before, and I actually reached out to you to invite you back before the whole viral thing like we had scheduled you to be on today's show like two weeks two, ago two three weeks ago before yeah. the before it went viral so it's kind of just happenstance that she happened to have this yeah. this wild gym moment um in between that but uh not staged not staged because like i just i don't know q like i'm trying uh, to figure like, out what wait, that's Sorry, go ahead. I just, I'm trying to figure out sorry, you. you why the fuck did you add the bouncing? Why did I add the bouncing? Yeah. Okay, because when I post it on reels, it looks like I'm like riding a dick, and so I always put that clip with a caption that says, "Wondering when I'm going to be recognized from my leg day warm up, or from my videos That's based off my I leg day warm up." On, on YouTube. Does that make you sense? You just said audio. Yeah. Audio. Okay. I'm I, sorry I, to the world. Please don't listen to this. <laughs> I'm sorry for her. I'll pray for her. Initially, I thought you said it looked sexual, so you added the wait. I, I'm confused. You added the bouncer because people thought it was already sexual, so you just fed you just fed into it. I started doing it like a long time ago. Uh huh. I it always had the bounce when I was filming it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said you added the bouncing. When I filmed it, like anytime I filmed it, yeah. it's been the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So so it was to elicit sex. Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, it's also good for you. But yeah, yeah, sex is good for you. Yeah, yeah so it's yeah. you know deep pulse was it, So you do OF. Was it helpful in terms of procuring subscribers? That the whole viral. Moment? Okay. Um. So I had like two hundred eighty-one thousand followers on Instagram. Yeah. And then after everything, it went to two eighty-five. Mm -hmm. But on average, a day I gain like five hundred followers when I'm not like my videos mm -hmm. are just doing normal. Yeah. So it gave me like a little boost and then my the money that I made for the day for like four days doubled. Okay. Well, so I'm going to open and we have a video from Joey Swole that I'll pull up after I get the panel's opinions on that. You all saw the video. So your guys' reaction, do you think, is that an actual exercise? Do you think it's appropriate to be doing in the gym? Do you think it's a bit, a bit sexual? You know, because like if you saw a guy like doing like hip thrusts you know you might be like eh 
It's a little, I don't know if it's, uh, you know, appropriate Disagree. for a gym. Okay, but before, val- or on Valentine's Day, there were all of these reels going viral, and it was men doing hip thrust, rolling out, but they were just humping the floor, and then doing this with a weight. That's all <laughs> sexual. They're all doing sexual things in the gym, but every single one of those videos got praise. What, what is the exercise they're doing? Like <laughs> they're the like, G-spot. They're, they'd put like weights <laughs> on their a- finger and like, Wow, that's... Yeah. And like that, okay, maybe you see someone doing that, like whatever, but like humping the floor in a gym. Like I wasn't humping the floor. Okay. I was riding it. There you go. All right. Going around the table. Your reaction. (laughs) Your thoughts. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Of course. (laughs) Okay. Also, (laughs) I'm in full sweats, making no noises, no tripod. Hold on. But you're doing, you did like the, the like lip in the side of the mouth people make all kinds of faces when they work out here pull it pull it up again pull it up again you're doing like a face like the the you know the the i'm facing a wall though yeah go ahead you can mute the audio we don't need that oh wait can you start it from the beginning maybe whatever it's like right at the beginning yeah We don't need. Look at that, the tongue in the ch- in the cheek. <laughs> There's something in my That's mouth. That's okay. Okay. All right. All right. Anyways, so nothing wrong. What do you, your thoughts? Appropriate, inappropriate. I think, based on like the environment you grow up in, certain things you do like one person would feel comfortable with, someone else wouldn't feel comfortable with. I don't think I would feel comfortable doing that, but it like. If you feel comfortable, then, you know, that's that. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of I kinda agree with what you're saying. Kind of just, it depends on, I also, like, feel like it depends on, like, the location of it, too. Like, if you, if there was an option to go into, like, a smaller room, like a private room and do it, like, maybe that would be more appropriate than doing it out in the open. But I also don't think there's like a huge problem with doing it on the open so usually i do do it in like the rooms in the gym see that makes sense then yeah Yeah. that that's and like at this gym i went into the smallest corner like on the stretching mats in like the corner corner of the gym yeah like i tried to be respectful i mean i like it um i do (laughs) like would i do it in a gym probably not um i like it I personally like, don't see an issue with it. I mean, like, you do you. Like, thanks, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm an actual trainer. So, great mobility. Thank you. Stuff. Good ankle mobility, good knee mobility. Um, now, if you were in my gym, <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> you, I probably would say something, too. Not like that, and I definitely wouldn't kick your phone. Um, but it definitely does give, like, a sexual message for sure which i'm sure that's what you were trying to do anyways but when there's like a public gym like you don't know like a lot of a lot of women feel insecure about their boyfriends whatever going to the gym because they might see something like that right so i mean in terms of like it being in a public place i don't entirely agree but i don't entirely disagree either i'm more impressed with your form (laughs) <laughs> looks really good. Thank you. I <laughs> looks really good. To that would say I don't think it's my problem that other people's boyfriends can't keep their eyes anywhere else in the gym <laughs> than yeah, other girls. Yeah, I mean so I mean that's not for me, but definitely for a lot of people. Also yeah. hip thrusts, men can do hip thrusts. It's there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. By the way. It's good. Actually for- the creator of a hip thrust is a guy. It's attention three oh four behavior. 304, it's damn. Attention, it's attention 304 behavior. Of course, the women are going to support it because girl power, female empowerment. But you know you're eliciting a sexual response. That's the whole motivation behind why you're doing it. And we understand that men are visual creatures. So when you get in a setting around men and you do things like this, that's why the guy came to you and said, this is not going to be done in my gym. Because he understood the underlying motive and what you were doing. And he didn't like it because too many women nowadays who are doing that, trying to elicit sexual responses for attention to make money on social media. And it's just that simple. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But as you can see, he didn't like it. So... 
Yeah, but I wasn't harming anyone. It doesn't so matter. Like, it's not about it's not about harm. It's about what you're doing, what you're what you're eliciting, what you're evoking. That's all it is. So to play innocent, as you said in the caption, what did you say in the caption? Um, what did she say in the caption? She was like, I can't work out in peace or something. What did you say in the caption? What would you put in the caption? Um, I can't, can't believe I'm not you allowed read to stretch. Maddie, why don't you read it? I can't believe I'm not allowed to stretch at the gym because of what I do for work. Do you guys actually think this was called for? Someone please have my back. Yeah, see, it's the innocence. It's the position of innocence that you took. Like, oh, my God, I'm just stretching. I'm just... I but mean, we knew what you were doing. Dog, in the corner of a gym, in the corner of a gym facing a wall, you are going to come up to someone doing an actual exercise that a personal trainer has labeled as an actual exercise that's good for my ankles and knees. I mean, that's good. It's good for your ankles like, and knees. Are you going to come after the yoga girls next? Like, damn, she's in downward dog. Fuck her. Yoga is a little different. Is it? Yeah, It's it a is. form of exercise. It is a form of exercise, but you're not actively trying to elicit a sexual response. You've yeah. already stated that that's what you were trying to do. Overtly, you've stated that. So once you've stated that's what you were trying to do, that now becomes valid. That's what you were doing. Yeah, but it also is a stretch. Like you're saying it I solely matter. was trying to elicit a sexual response. Yes. But that's not true because I do that when I'm not filming. You're trying I do to use that the, you're same trying to use exercise. The, you're trying to use the stretch as a Trojan, a Trojan horse. It's an exercise, so. It's actually not a stretch. It's an exercise. But if you hold it, it's a stretch. If you just hold it by itself. Mm. Which I do both. Mm. Like, I'm going to read this one really quick. Grid, <laughs> grid One Motorsports, uh, fuck's sake. If you want to be a stripper, just get a job as a stripper. This 3 is the lowest form of blank. Stop it. Get some help. The patriarchy is here to help you be better from Grid One. Do you have any, anything you want to say to Grid One? The mm. little Grid One? If you want to be a stripper, just get a job as a stripper. I don't want to be a stripper. I want to be an online 304 because that's what I chose to do. I've been that a stripper. She chose. I chose this. The... 304 life. <laughs> 304 life, yeah. You? You didn't. I think, the, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to it's say. It's meant for it. What's that? Destiny? Framing of it? The streets. Oh, chose I didn't show. The streets? Chose me, but I chose the. How's that go? Anybody? You know that's I didn't choose the streets. The streets chose me. Yeah. <laughs> that I thing. I would like to defend you for a second. I don't think, like, you being completely comfortable with doing that, I don't think that that's necessarily your fault because there is some accountability on, you know, the gym and the higher ups and just society in general to not normalize that kind of behavior, you know? So if someone is not saying that it's bad and you don't even know that it's bad, like we're just accepting that and we're condoning it and we're enabling it. That's true. You got and anything more? I know you wanted to add more Q. You got. I actually lost my train of That's thought. That's it? When it, yeah, um, when it came in, I okay, lost my train shit. of thought. But if someone if it comes back, let me know. came okay. up to me and said, hi, this makes me a little bit uncomfortable, like, I would be like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I would like, you know what I mean? And also, to the point of, like, what we've normalized and stuff and, like, what's okay in a gym and what's not, there's no rules against filming. There should be, though. Okay, I but think filming like, should be banned in gyms. In some gyms, point, yeah. Point. I agree that there should be some that you can go to and there's no phones, like no filming in that gym. And you just know that that's the yeah. gym that you go to and other ones, they do allow it. And so other people can go to that one. I don't see why gyms aren't. Uh, anybody here currently go to a gym? Do it, Is there any sort of filming policies for any of the gyms that you guys go to? Mm. It's shocking to me that gyms just have in wholesale banned filming in gyms. Do you guys see that often when you do go to the gym? Somebody has their like iPhone uh, propped up, tripod even. You guys see that at all? No, not really. They banned tripods. Is it tripods. just fucking LA that this shit is going down, happening in? in? Just in my fucking gym. people filming in gyms? Tripods are banned. Tripods are banned. In the gym that I okay. go to currently. Okay. Uh, pull up the Instagram again. I want to read some of the comments. Let's see what the people, no, the people, no are saying okay no one should have your back uh, put us on the other side no one should have your back on this one yeah people don't want to see you making sexual content in public you got a follow just because of how that a-hole treated you and again look uh, assuming it wasn't <laughs> fucking staged 
Uh, absolutely not appropriate for him to have touched your property like that. That's uh, not agree. cool. Right. And he, de he definitely stepped to you in a pretty aggressive way. That's not cool too. He, uh, even if he had an issue, he could have approached you more diplomatically. I mean, I would even argue it's probably like, he probably shouldn't even, honestly, I mean, I don't know. If he has an issue, maybe he's got to go to gym management. If he feels like he has a valid concern, because I don't think what, honestly, like, look, there's definitely a, uh, a lot of people doing like ridiculous shit in the gym. People are getting fed up with it. That guy was probably frustrated, um, but probably best to address it with the gym management directly. Um, so, yeah, but I don't know if you were like, if you're doing something more egregious, I don't know, like fucking damaging the gym in some way, then he could like come up to you and be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? But I don't know. I was don't... that actually his gym or was no, was I think there's probably just no that's what I was way no, I don't oh, think okay. it was that's him. his gym. Pull it back up. Because he could say that if that was his gym. Yeah. Uh, you that deserve it. He's right. That's a real man. I totally <laughs> agree with him. Okay. These guys are a little more. Someone please have my back. I'm a victim. He'll blame and her. Me she'll blame her me all her mental health issues on others. I, I have a question. I mean, I haven't done a deep dive on all of your uh, TikToks and reels and whatnot. Do you co frequently find yourself in kind of public conflict situations? In public? <laughs> like, does this happen to you? Like, you just get into situations like this with people? <laughs> in real life? Yeah. Um, Is that not real life? And my <laughs> I'm like in video game or no? Um Okay. Honestly, no. Like I've never had anyone that like has met me. Okay, besides guys that I've dated, but not just like people okay. in that I'm interacting with in like a grocery store sure. or this or that. Okay. All right. Well, let's pull it back up really quick. There's a few more comments then we'll see what Joey Swole has to say. Uh deserved Coffee, tea, I don't get it. Don't do your three FO shit in public place. How come people don't see this as fake? You're literally smiling the whole time. See, I thought it was fake, dude. Okay. I thought it was fake. The thing is, when like a man comes at you like kind of aggressively as a woman, like you don't really have a choice but to be submissive. Like, what, what am I gonna do? Like, argue with him when he already like got to a form of aggression of like hitting my personal property. Uh, it's just here's why I think. Look, it might be real. Here's why I think it's staged. It just seems so. <sighs> His kicking your phone is really disproportionate to what you're doing. So it just seems like contrived. And then your reaction to it kind of like, if somebody like kicked my phone, I'd be like, I don't know, people react in different ways, but you- But, uh, you're but not you don't, a girl. Yeah, and you don't seem, uh, she doesn't seem confrontational. Well, I'm not- Yeah, she, don't, <laughs> she doesn't seem confrontational, so. I was like, dude. I, mean, I, I don't know, I think she might. Uh, I don't nah, know. Nah, I'm not Were you scared? I was scared. I was like shaking after. I just grabbed my stuff and I don't know. I'm going home. This place sucks. Oh, you yeah, didn't finish don't, a don't workout? No. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's let's get the Joey. Oh, actually, we have a couple chats. Hold on. Get the Joey Swole ready, though. We had uh, Dos Dostoevsky. Can you read this one, Maddie? Of course she was right. It's a public gym. And why the hell would a dude be there just approaching women out of nowhere and make some inflammatory remark while she's working out? And then, oh wait, okay, uh, we have this one. You don't you film don't in gyms. Uh, and then this guy says, if the, the gym is public, then yeah, you have every right to film. Eh, you know. Anyways, we have Joey Swole here. He has some thoughts on it. All right, go ahead and play it. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Grid One Motorsports donated $100. Let's be honest, that craptastic oh. video was staged better than the 2020 election results. We get it, you need to be a who to drive traffic. I weep for our youth. May God have mercy on you. Hmm. May God have mercy on you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think that's a true, like, religious person thing to say, though, because, like, in the Bible, God always says, you know, don't be harsh on them for they know not what they do. And if there is an element of like naivety. Wait, here, is that verbatim? I thought that doesn't sound verbatim to me. 
I'm don't pretty, condemn. That's close. We're not. No, yeah, we're not wait, supposed hold to. On. I know, judge I know or this condemn. one. It's a. Uh... Wait, isn't it like we can say in a loving way for they yeah. know not what they do? Or hold on, chat, help me out here. Okay, let's play. Thank you, Grid One. Let's play the Joey Swole video. A ton of people sent me this video asking me who's right, who's wrong. My answer, they're both wrong. First off to this man, you have no right to speak to anyone that way. You don't classify all women based off that girl and you absolutely never touch someone's property. If you have a problem, you talk to gym management and you let them handle it. But this woman is also wrong. The type of content she creates in the gym is not okay and not appropriate, including this video. She tries to defend herself saying that she's doing pistol squats and warming up. This is not a pistol squat. You know exactly what you were doing. And then you go and say, why do we have to sexualize everything? We don't, but you do, including when you did the exact same warm up and oh. said this on the video Wondering and put in the caption, practicing every day to please you daddy. And a photo like this, bent over on all fours, where you say, let me sit on it. Now listen, I have no problem with OnlyFans. You make money however you want, as long as you do so legally. But there is a time and place for everything. And the gym is not one of them. If I was manager or owner of this gym, I would ask you once, politely, to stop doing that. If you continue to do so, I'd ask you to leave to protect my gym members and my gym community. Let me know what you guys think below. Your reaction to Joey Swole. Oh, did you see the reaction video? Oh, you made a reaction video. Yeah, it's pretty well, good. Well, you're here in the flesh. Why don't we just have you? Um, I actually didn't <laughs> watch his whole video through where he pulled up. <laughs> Um, you other... made a reaction <laughs> video <laughs> without all the facts. I just when he said like you knew exactly what you were doing, I stitched it and I actually said yeah I was practicing to please you, daddy, which is funny because I didn't Wait, know that you're practicing he what to please you, daddy. Oh, so you admit you were doing it for? So, oh, I'm just trolling for... trolls at this point. Like I'm getting ripped apart on the internet. Like it might as well be funny. Oh, okay, all right. Um. <laughs> But I didn't see where he pulled up my photos and screenshots of he my had videos receipts. and stuff. He had receipts. He had receipts. But, like, those pictures of me in the gym is in an empty room. Like, I took those photos in an empty room. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't really see why that would be an issue in a gym. But it, it's sort of like... I'm trying to think what the exact wording is. There's uh, It's sort of like additional circumstantial evidence against your case like okay here here's her taking these she's got um the subtitles or whatever what's it called i don't know that you put a caption yeah. saying oh sexual yeah. things caption, yeah. so there's like a pattern of behavior i think that's what i was looking for a pattern of behavior of you going into gyms taking sort of provocative photos with captions that are sexually provocative and then all of a sudden you're going to claim oh but this one that's innocent that's so it's a pattern of behavior i'm arguing that it is a stretch and it you know i'm arguing that it's for both do you know what i'm saying it's like i do it all the time at the gym i've never had a problem no one's ever even looked at me when i do it Okay. I go into the corner of the gym, film my little thing. It's a whole warm up. Oh, like that takes right. not very long. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like to like just focus on this one thing at the gym ever. Like I saw a video of this guy doing those like bent over. What are they called? Where you like stand wide and then you just bend over. Stand like, oh. good wide. Mornings? Good it's mornings. Oh, Barbell, when, good mornings. When you like hinge your hips back and yeah. stretch. Yeah. Good he mornings. He was doing. You know, he's doing those in the gym. Like. Yeah, that's a workout. So, I well, love so those. They're doing? great. Yeah, good. <laughs> what What do you want to look directly into this camera here? And I want you to s g 
give a message to Joey Swole. What do you have to say to, to Joey Swole? To Joey Swole? Hey, wait, Joey, you can come down now. <laughs> He's up there. No, I'm kidding. What do you have to say to him? Oh, wait. Look deep into this camera. Deep into the camera? What do you what do you want to say to Joey? Do you want to I want you to apologize to Joey. Apologize? Joey. I need <laughs> I plead innocent. Oh, he okay. All right, he's going to further prosecute you. I don't think I did anything wrong. Stop sending your army out to get me in my comments. They're not nice. He, J you're saying he's trying to cancel you? No, I'm saying like... Oh, the, the I, My comments got flooded with like Joey Swole's armies here. Okay. They ripped me apart. Yeah, they... they he... I, I agree with him. Joey Swole, I, you know, he's got some... Got, Fair. I, I will, yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, okay. Yo, we should get Joey Swole on the show and like have you guys do... <laughs> yes. He lives... Or he goes to he's in a SoCal, gym down right? the street from me, yeah. He's in SoCal. All right, we'll set it up. Yeah. Yeah, I should just get him on the show, period. But. Joey... All right, we're going to make it happen. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much it, unless anybody else on the panel has any further thoughts. Agree with Joey Swole. How about we'll go around the table, agree or disagree with Joey Swole? Disagree. Um, disagree, but also you can, like, go to the gym and, like, do your own, like, workout and, like, whatever that you need to do and also be sexual with it. Like... There doesn't have to be like one purpose. Grid One Motorsports donated one hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Jesus said on the cross, "Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do." Mm -hmm. But she did know what she was doing and will go to hell for her sins, as remorseless as she is for oh. those are the wages of sin. Wow! Look at that! You're going, there. you're going to hell for your little uh, gym pull squat video. You're gonna you're gonna get up to those pearly gates, and they're gonna and they're gonna be like they're gonna, like, the they're gonna play like, that no! video and be like you were no! on the fence, but because you did that, sorry, straight to hell. Yep. Brutal. Um, but you can repent I'll, I'll of rep your treacherous misdeeds. Treacherous. Okay. Go ahead. You're finishing your point. I was just saying that like. There doesn't like need to be just one purpose of you going to the gym. Oh, we got another Wiley one. Wiley Coyote 50 donated $100. Forgive them for oh. they know not what they do. It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit were the last words Jesus spoke before he died on the cross. Also, 1 Corinthians verse 18. Hey, Wiley Coyote, thank you for the uh, TTS, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, for, thank you guys for uh, getting us the actual... Uh, quote oh. um. if I ever stare at you that typically means I'm waiting <laughs> for you to talk sorry. go ahead um, but like she can work out and then also like post for her OnlyFans and get the bag but like that doesn't mean she's going there for OnlyFans that means she's going to the gym and it's like a side note okay can you read this one Maddie if it's not about being a 304, what is it then? It's blank with more Porn. steps. You are f oh. a fucking clown. You're a fucking clown. <laughs> Do you, you want to? He's he's shooting shots. You got to respond, Maddie. Uh, okay. The thing is. As like anyone that openly hates on strangers, like you don't fucking know me and you're like saying nasty things to me and you think that you're better than me, like I think you're a bad person. So I don't really care what a nasty mean person would have to say about me. Yeah, guys, you guys don't know her. You haven't seen her underwater you photography, don't know me. her talented. underwater videography. Okay, so you're saying it's cool. You're, you're saying like it's okay to go to the gym and make OnlyFans content? Yeah, because you got it's anything not on that your per like she's not going there to make content, but but what she's there, so why not post mm -hmm. a story while there? But like, so it sounds like you're saying that if a girl wanted to go to the gym and do kind of like a semi-sexy video that she was going to later distribute on OF, no issue there. Okay. You think? No, 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 no. Hold on. This is for her. Go ahead. 
Could you re-ask the question? Well, you said okay. that, you know, even if there is this ulterior purpose, like it's okay to post on OnlyFans, so is it, is it your view that it's, let's say you went into one of these, uh, you know, the uh, cla one of the classes, classrooms that they have at gyms where it's mm -hmm. like wood floors or whatever, where they'll do Pilates, yoga, and somebody goes in there when there's not a class, for example, and they're just, I don't know, doing some semi, not nudity, but like semi-sexual stuff with the, ex with the explicit purpose of posting it to OF. My understanding is based off of what you said, you're, that's cool. You're fine with that. Condoning it. You support it. Oh Oops, sorry, I did not mean to. Huh? Whoops. Oh, that was weird. Ryan Holt donated $100. Haha, ha, please tell me those butterfly tats are fake. You can't make this shit up lol. Such a stereotypical red flag tat. Also a salute to the soldier. Um. Oh, he's, he's saluting. Thank thank Yo, Ryan Holt, thank you, man. Do you want to say anything about the... He called out your butterfly tattoo? Yeah. Um... I've had these for years before they ever started trending. Okay, and can you show it? Oh, oh, wait. Why yeah, there it? you go. Okay. Seven sextillion seven hundred and seventy-seven sextillion seven hundred and seventy-seven quintillion seven hundred and seventy-seven quadrillion hmm. seven hundred and seventy-seven trillion seven hundred and seventy-seven billion Tell seven hundred and seventy-seven million or seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand uh, okay. seven hundred and seventy-seven donated one hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you. My sprinkler goes like this. <laughs> And comes back like this. Nice, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank, nice. thank you, thank you. Um, what about the but butterfly tattoos? Oh, I've just had them forever. I don't care if things like trend and come out and this uh, and that. It's just, you know. I feel bad for the girls who who had the sternum tattoos before they were cool. Yeah. And then everybody got them because they're basically. I mean, I was never a fan of. No offense to any girls here who might have that tattoo. I was never really a fan of them to begin with, but uh, I hated them from the get go. So I'm a trendsetter in that regard. But they're kind of the tramp stamp of yeah. the 2010s. I, they started po getting popular around like 2015, maybe. What? Okay. Um, yeah. I'm not a fan of the 20, of the modern tramp stamp, the sternum tattoo. Yeah, I don't know. Red flag. Huge red flag. Anybody here got one? Who's got a sternum tattoo? Don't be shy. Anybody? It's going to be a long show, boys. All right. Um, <laughs> Back to her. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you were saying that you think it's okay. Why do, you, why do you think that's okay? Like Joey Swole said, he doesn't think that's the appropriate place to do it. He has no issue with OnlyFans girls making their content, doing whatever they want to do to make money. So why is it okay for her to do that in a public gym? Why do you, why do you support that? I can't wait. I'm saying that it's okay to take a story or like take like a video, like, like a TikTok. Like there's because it's a TikTok. I'm not selling it on OnlyFans. I, th yeah. I think you're kind of walking back your previous stated position. Like you previously, I don't remember it verbatim, but it was pretty clear, like from what you said, that you said eh, it's okay if you're doing something for OF at the gym, you know, if it's sexual or whatever. Okay. What I'm saying is, let's say I'm going to the gym. If I go to the gym and I want to post a story so it has benefits for my OnlyFans also, then I don't see a problem in that. But that in itself is the problem. Why is the gym the place to do that? Why are you using the gym to promote your OnlyFans or to but you? I'm, do you guys also have a problem with girls that work out in sports bras and spandex? I got a problem with girls who work out and use, and use it as a Trojan horse to sell sex, period. Because you know what you're doing it's not about the workout itself of course you can say yes i'm working out but the reality is as i said you're doing it for attention it's not for the genuine workout because if you were really working out to work out you don't need to record yourself doing it i mean i work out to work out and it, i also use it for my job like it, it doesn't have to just be one thing that was what yeah. i was trying to say 
I do think that yeah. there's probably a just to answer your question directly. I do think that there's probably appropriate gym attire, and I think you know there's a decent amount of leeway as far as what I would deem as acceptable to wear in a gym. Uh, I mean, the most obvious example. I think this got a bit of attention recently. I can't. I don't know if we're able to if Nick's able to find it. There's a girl basically wearing like. Uh, her ass was essentially hanging out of her. It was almost like approaching a bikini. Mm. And I th oh. would you agree that wearing a bikini w at the gym doing a workout would be inappropriate to wear? Honestly, yeah. Okay. I think like spandex, because that's not meant for working out. You well, know not, I mean? no, but let's say it was the appropriate fabric. No, I mean, and, I mean but like, it was in the same shorts, like, same shape as a essentially a bikini. I'm saying like booty shorts, sports bra, meant for working out, that's gym attire, right? So that's So fine. booty shorts where like the ass cheeks are hanging out is Why the, do that they have be, to hang out? Uh, like, I don't, do all these girls no. just have bad asses? Fuck. I didn't know, but goal. it, it occurs know. to me that that might be a bit, maybe but a bit much for the gym. A bikini is meant for swimming, you know what right, I mean? Right, but I'm so saying like, like a, an, an outfit that w approached the amount of, of revealing this, <laughs> that's not a fucking word, uh, that was close to as revealing as a bikini. Mm -hmm. Would that be appropriate to wear at the gym? Can I see it? No I, Nick, have you found? Were you able to find anything? It's kind of tough to find. It doesn't matter. Just um, picture here, we're gonna like booty I don't want to linger. I don't want to linger. Too small. I don't want to linger too long on this. Okay. So, just your reaction to Joey Swole. I agree with Joey Swole, um, and I think what we're discussing here and like why we're going back and forth is we're talking more about what is sacred like one person views sexuality as sacred and another one doesn't view it as sacred so i think that's what we're debating and i agree with what joey joey says i think it's not appropriate in a public setting okay going around the table just you 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 and you um i kind of agree with both sides like i'm kind of neutral i think they both make very valid points Um, I would agree with what's his name, Joey. Joey. Mm -hmm. Joey. I would agree with Joey. Joey, just because it's in a public setting. Um, I'm neutral too. I just feel like the gym is like, like I feel like personally when I get in there, like it's my place. Like I don't really want to talk to anyone else. Like don't no one talk to me. So like, I don't know. I think both points are very valid. Yeah, I I do agree with with Joey. I mean, I think that kind of stuff i think it should be like more in a private setting i think in like a public place now i do want to say though not everybody would even know that what you were doing was sexual at all they could just be thinking you're squatting right but no, because exactly you like had someone the, viewed it as sexual yeah if somebody like saw the video then they would know what you're doing by your facial yeah. expressions and the angle which like but right you can there. see like i made a face for how many seconds and the yeah. rest of the time my face is normal so like why yeah. are you gonna sexualize a whole exercise based off like two seconds yeah you i know? think maybe because a guy like saw your phone there yeah and then no. maybe it was like oh she's making content i'm tired of seeing this kind of stuff and yeah. then he figured out that it was sexual and yeah I, w I would have to agree with sorry what was your name again? megan megan i have to agree with you that's my sister's name mm. anyway um i'd have to agree with you i think for me sex is very sacred and i think like bringing it into a gym is just not the time and place i think that should be in the bedroom only doc venabilly has donated 100 dollars. my teenage kids go to the gym with me if you behave like that in front of them, I will actively work to get you banned from our gym. Public modesty is important for a healthy society. You couldn't get me banned from your gym for stretching, so try again. What did I miss? Have you guys just been sitting here in silence since I left? No, there was no, no one we were the all table. talking. Oh, okay. she went, I, went. <laughs> I was saying I agree. She is neutral. Okay. Well, moving on, we do have a chat here from our good friend, Peter Steins. Costines donated $107. Ladies and men, I have 14 and 12-year-old daughters. 
What is the best information or advice you can provide a 50-year-old guy who has been out of the market for a long time as it relates to dating? You got anything on this queue? Is he single? He's yeah, I think he's old. out of the dating dating game. And he's, he wants, and he wants, he wants to get back but in. But he says he's what, 50? What did he say? Mm -hmm. 50. 50. Kids. Two kids. Well, the kids I don't think are super related to the question at hand. Anything, Q? Uh, yeah, I would say for the most part, he ain't missing much in the modern dating era. Mm -hmm. it's, a lot of, it's a lot of chaos amongst women and what they feel they can do and how they feel men need to behave and you know, the lack of accountability and all of those things. So if he really wants to get back out on the dating market, I would suggest he find somebody more around his age just to settle down, who would probably be more likely to have the same values and the same belief mm -hmm. set, and uh -huh. you know, who wants to grow old together, who's in the same headspace. Otherwise, I he'll die early. Because of the stress. Because of the stress that <laughs> when you're coming. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Actually, related to what you said, I read recently something like a 19-year-old woman today, I don't know if it's 19 or 21, a 19-year-old woman today is going to have a higher body count than a woman who's 50. I saw that. Some, I don't know if I that's that. the exact, uh, the age is, but so you, you've got your average 19-year-old has had more sexual partners than a 50-year-old today. Yeah, I mean something like that. Yeah, honestly, at first I was skeptical. Um, Sadia had said it. Me and Sadia had a little bit of a falling out. We used to follow each other. Okay. But um, when I thought about it, I was like, honestly, yes, it's pro it's it's likely possible because for one, the body count did increase for the average woman. Um, in the past 20 years, the body count has increased. So that's that's true. And then the second thing is a lot of these women due to feminism feel a lot more sexually liberated. They have less shame. Their moral compasses are not what they used to be. They're a lot less selective. Um, social media makes access to men who will run through them, use them and abuse them sexually a lot more prevalent. So yes, yeah, it's, it's honestly a valid, a valid point. It's a valid mm -hmm. take. I do believe that the body count for a 19 year old today would probably be higher than the body mm -hmm. count of a 50 year old woman. Speaking of that, I'd like to go around the table on this. So I'm not asking you guys yet for your body counts, but uh, of your friend group, like if you had to, cause I mean, you know, we have a 30 year old, a 25 year old, but uh, we've got 21, 21, 21, 22, 19, and then 18, she stepped away to go to the bathroom. Uh, of like your friend group, girls you know, what is, uh, what do you think the average body count of your friends is? Um, a few of my friends have been with their partner since high school. So they bring the average way down, but I would say probably around like 14. Damn. Okay, at 21? Yeah. Um, they're all older. Most oh. of my friends are like 29. Oh, well, I'm talking, well, okay, what about you? Do, you? do you, first off, do you have girlfriends around your age? Yeah. Okay, what, what would you say like their body count is probably? I think like around, like around 14. Yeah. Okay. This is tricky because I feel like I'm like in between friends right now. Like I recently went through some things where I had to like let go of people. So Okay, so tell us like your new friends and your degen friends. Go ahead. Old friends, probably like eight. Okay. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Um You live in Isla Vista, right? Yeah. UCSB, number one party school, huge party scene in IV. What you heard? For like average, I would say maybe like five or six. Okay, actually I want to add one thing to this question. Um, what's the highest that you've heard from a girl? From a girl? Yeah, mm -hmm. that you know. Ooh, like 40. 40, here. Let's actually come back around starting again with you on this. Ooh, probably like Honestly, girls, not as high as guys, like maybe 30. That's the highest? Yeah, and okay. guys always in the hundreds, <laughs> ran through. <laughs> okay, all right. What about you? Um, I think the highest I've heard is 50. Probably. Okay. Probably like 10. Okay. And you said I said 40. 40. Like the highest I've ever heard. From a girl? Yeah. That you know? 
personally? Not that I'm friends with anymore. Oh, well, okay. you don't have to be yeah. friends. Just like acquaintance, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Have, what's the next highest? What do you mean? The so like, like the second highest. Oh, um, 20. 20, okay. Um, I haven't been told what's the, like the highest from my friends. They haven't told me. Wait, before. hold on. Uh, yeah, they haven't told you? They haven't told me. Can I have you tilt your microphone down a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe a little less. Yeah, the, you don't talk about you don't talk shop with any of your no, girls. No, I do. Um, but she's never told me how many. Guys you have one singular. <laughs> come on, well, well I've you known her friend? since. Yeah, I've known her since um, elementary. But like, what about? Okay, you used to work with girls in the club, right? You used to strip. Or well, I do, still, you still do. I still do. Yeah. You y'all no sideboard. You guys. No, don't they don't. Sense. They don't tell me. They don't tell me. You're not. Me. You don't have any. But I'm like, pretty sure it's a lot. Like, but they don't. I'm not really friends with the girls in the clubs. Yeah. But like you guys don't even talk about that sort of stuff. Not really. Okay. Not really. All right. What about you? Um, the highest probably is like twenty. Twenty. Okay. I had a friend. We're not friends anymore, but she was in the thirties. Okay. Q, what about you? What's the highest body count you've heard from a girl? From a girl? Yeah. From... <clears throat> um, shit. Probably about twenty-five. Really? Yeah. Wow. Probably about twenty. You? About, about 20. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell some me girls, body counts. Ooh, yeah. Some girls are proud of it? Or I'm going to say this. <laughs> so I've heard, and this is before I started my show, because I've heard some outrageous body counts on this show. Uh, I, this was a 19-year-old girl. Actually, she might have been 18. She had a body count over 100 at, at 18. Oh, poor thing. Yeah. And uh, she, that was on her. <laughs> that was on her. Uh, but uh, saying poor thing for her future partners. Yeah, poor, yeah. poor them, right. poor the future partners. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, and I'm trying to think, because I mean I've heard, I, you know, I'm from Santa Barbara, so for those watching who aren't familiar with the area, we have UCSB here, we have Santa Barbara City College. UCSB is frequently ranked the number one party school in the United States. We have the Isla Vista area, which is basically a square mile where you have. 20, 30,000 students crammed into an area less uh, the size less of a less than the size of a square mile. Sorry, and uh, you know, bunch of parties, etc., and you know, a lot of drinking, drugs, etc. Some girls be putting up 40 bodies their freshman, mm. their first freshman semester or quarter, depending which school you go to. So maybe putting up bodies so to answer pico stein's thing uh i think you should move i think you should move because there's a, a lot of uh you know inflation if you know what i mean in in the u.s so you got to go to you know an asian country or latin actually i don't know not latin america definitely not latin america it's in, asia yeah go uh, asia. I, th I think or you could go to the bingo hall here in America. You know, you said you're 50. That might be a little outside of your, you know, check out the bingo hall. There's some lovely grannies <laughs> over there. Okay. All right. So we're going to, oh, actually, before we get into the pre-show notes that some of you guys provided, I like to start things off an hour and 15 minutes into the podcast. Does anybody here disagree with anything that you've heard or seen on the podcast? Some of you have maybe seen the podcast before, and I love to, uh, I, I, I think a good jumping off point is to hear from anybody who disagrees with anything. Maybe you've seen a clip from Q here who's gone viral on the internet uh, several times. So anybody disagree with anything if you've, seen, if you've seen anything? I do. Okay, we'll start with you, go ahead. I want to start off by saying I do agree with most of what you say. Sure, sure. Um, but I yep. see a contradiction in something that you say. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned you're not a fan of casual sex. You don't partake mm -hmm. in casual sex. I mm -hmm. think that's great. Um, but you did also mention in mm -hmm. another podcast, I don't remember which one, that you wouldn't mind having sex on the first date. Yep. Now, yep. in my view... Mm -hmm. Having sex on the first date would be considered casual sex. 
maybe your definition is depends having, on the definition definition right yeah so maybe yours is considered a hookup mm-hmm. right so you don't plan to follow through you don't plan to maybe see that person again mm-hmm. it's literally just a hookup yeah but then some people can hook up multiple times right mm-hmm. so then i don't know what that is that's gray area i sure. suppose um but i think you do partake in casual sex if mm. you are willing to do it on the first date because you're not in a relationship my definition is casual sex means having sex with somebody that you're not in a committed relationship with sure well first off i think it's certainly important to define exactly what casual sex is it's sort of a vague nebulous term and people can define that differently in the same way that for example someone might uh might describe i'm trying to think of a, a somewhat similar example uh promiscuity someone might define promiscuity as you know having a new sexual partner every week someone might just define promiscuity as dressing somewhat revealing Mm -hmm. um so and i'm not even sure and i could be wrong on this but i typically when my objections really stem from promiscuity is it possible that i replaced promiscuity with casual sex so i'm not sure if i've actually ever used the term me being against casual sex, but I'll take your word for it and I'll say, I'll say I did use it. Multiple times. So it's possible that I potentially used it erroneously. Uh, but to, so I'm, I don't have any objections to people having sex rather early on. And if that means having sex the first time you, you're meeting someone, I don't object to that. Where I perhaps differ on this is that if I have sex with somebody, I want to continue seeing them. So if I choose to have sex with somebody, I have a genuine interest in continuing to see them with the hope of it developing into a long-term relationship. So I don't want to have a one-night stand. I don't want to have sex once or twice and then never see the girl again. If I have sex with you, I want to keep seeing you. I want there to be a continuity. So the only thing that differentiates it is your intention? I think, yes, mm-hmm. it would be intention. Because, for Matters. example, I've, I've gotten feedback from people <laughs> I got a message from somebody who, um, and I've heard from a couple people who've said this, that their current spouse, their current long-term uh, partner that they've been dating for years, they're married, have kids, they're tell me, oh yeah, you know, I had sex the first, we had sex the first time meeting. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't have any issue with, with, you know, if you're going to you know have sex with somebody on first date that's totally your choice Mm -hmm. i think that's giving way too much to them for literally just sitting down having a meal quick question for you on that who's giving too much to who i think the the woman woman is giving way too much to the man now why is that because we're the gatekeepers of sex okay so you don't view sex as an equal value exchange you Uh, think men are getting if it despite both partners getting sex you view that as the man getting more than the woman yeah because i think once you have sex with the man you you're i guess the chase the value of that woman gets a little bit depleted because i think once you give it to him then it's like okay now he's experienced it what's so what's so uh, special about you now i mean i mean obviously he can, he can still find too. something special mm-hmm. but but my point is is like i think in the bible it says a woman we are the gatekeepers of sex right so i agree with that yeah so what i'm saying is i think the woman is giving too much to the man on mm-hmm. the first date because because he can just have sex with her and choose to not see her again oh that was easy on to the next Yes, that's true. And um, look, I'm not saying I need to have sex on the first day. Grid One Motorsports donated $100. Oh, wow, okay. My wife of 18 years and I had sex after the first date. Nothing casual about it. There is a difference between casual sex and promiscuity and being a cum dumpster or village bicycle. Okay, so Grid One Motorsports. Thank you, Grid One. That's a good point you made. Look at this. Exhibit A. Grid One Motorsports. Sex on the first night. He's married. He's kids. He's rich. I think it worked out and for a him. Giga Chad. I think it doesn't it work out. out for everybody, though. Sure. But I think you can have... I mean, certainly, look. On From the woman's perspective, if you're choosing to have sex with a guy 
and you know there's no prospects of a long-term relationship, mm -hmm. then part of that falls on the woman. And also you can kind of, you know, talk to the guy, get a sense of where he's at. You can have this conversation before you have sex with him. Now look, I, I'm not saying that you need to have sex with the guy on the first date, and if, if you want to wait, that's certainly your prerogative. Um, but for example, like here's something very simple for women to do to mitigate or reduce the risk, even if you are so inclined to sleep with the guy on the first date, uh, to, to reduce the risk that he's just trying to hit it. So first off, if you're traveling, don't fuck men when you're traveling because, well, obviously, just logistically speaking, if he lives in fucking Germany and you meet in the Netherlands and you're leaving in two weeks, he's leaving tomorrow, there's no long-term prospects there. A lot of women be traveling and just fucking dudes. So, but it's not clear to me if women are going traveling and fucking dudes and having any expectation of there being a long-term relationship. Don't fuck dude, don't go, well, okay, let me, don't go to bars and clubs, period. But if you're so inclined, certainly don't sleep with men that you meet out while intoxicated, while either he's intoxicated, you're intoxicated, or both. Any sort of sex that occurs with alcohol involved is greatly diminishes the chance that that could lead, not necessarily, it could, you know, you could still end up in a relationship with this guy, but greater likelihood that that's gonna be, end up being a casual encounter. Uh, so there shouldn't be alcohol involved. Preferably, preferably it sh you shouldn't meet contextually in a party type environment, bar, club, etc. Um, if he's from out of town, if he's not tied to your geographic region, it's probably not a good idea to just fuck the dude because, uh, you know, it's low likelihood that I think one of the big things to help a relationship proceed is <laughs> convenience. If you guys live close, close, I think that makes things a lot easier, romantically speaking. Um, so. so wouldn't you say that if you had a first date with, you had a first date, you guys had sex, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. But then she doesn't see you again. Wouldn't okay. that just be a spruced up hookup, but it just included a meal? Huh, that's funny that you'd think I'd get a meal for her, but wait, what? <laughs> or whatever you guys did. No, I don't know. I'm kidding. But it, um, it, it had wait, a happy so you're ending. Saying we fuck, okay, we fuck, but she doesn't want to see me. Okay, you That's an L for her. That's a major L for her. She I, doesn't want to see me again. <coughs> Like I, I didn't put it down right. Is that I what? Agree yeah, with, I that's agree that's with you. But 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 no, sometimes these girls, like even if you put it down right, they they for the streets. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, but I look at it more from a. I mean, there's a lot of neurochemistry at play. I mean, a lot of times we forget how to how the human brain functions. This at the end of the day, it has the ultimate say. It's in control. So if you put it down and she's releasing oxytocin, she's coming back. Am she's I? gonna she's gonna be thinking about you. Yeah, she'll but, probably come yeah, back. She'll, she'll come I'm back. saying most guys though, I would say uh, like women might be calling back but the men might just ghost. But on the on the same token, women typically don't orgasm from having sex with a guy that they don't know. The more you get to know a guy, the more you date a guy, the more you got the more time you guys have spent together, the more sex you have, the more likely you are to orgasm and that creates deep attachment but I wanted to um um hit on what you said about his intention intention matters because intention is objective I can do the same thing normally it comes down to how attracted I am to the woman if I find the woman extremely attractive whether we have sex on the first night doesn't matter I'm attracted mm -hmm. to her so I want to continue to see her over mm -hmm. and over and essentially that's just going to make me want to be with her especially if she has a personality that is conducive to a healthy relationship and it aligns with who I am so the common dating pattern is we sleep together before we get in a relationship in most cases because chastity and women being virgins is long gone. So a lot of men don't want to wait to have sex with a woman who didn't wait to have sex with the guy before her. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's essentially a trial run. Do we like each other? Are our bodies, you know sexually compatible in a sense like do I enjoy having sex with you is there something I can gauge from having sex with you it's just acting on attraction that's basically what it boils down to that's all it is so but the, there's no way you love this woman on the first date I mean that's well, purely lustful right if you're having sex it, on the first on the first it date it is it is it is lustful but at the same time there's no guarantee that you're not going to not see each other again either yeah and I think there's there everybody should have their own timeline my point is, is like you can go on a million first dates. 
and have you know sex with every single guy on the first date and i think if if it also depends on what the guy wants in the woman if a guy wants and a woman somebody who is a virgin which i know brian have mentioned the closer you are to a virgin the like the better right mm-hmm. i mean as somebody who would be a virgin i don't think she would have sex with you on the first date unless you were just like super duper special um, mm-hmm. because more than likely she's had that opportunity many times and isn't just going to randomly have sex with you on the first date. She's probably going to wait and she's, she, because she values herself and because she knows, okay, if you want to continue to see me, then see me, I'm going to hold on to sex until we're ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's fine. Look, and then I certainly realize if she's a virgin, not a born again virgin, uh, that, uh, well, <laughs> no I suppose even e- born again virgin. Well, I, yes, but you know, they, you can be born again, but it doesn't erase yeah. your past. Um, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I certainly probably am not going in with the expectation that a virgin yeah. is going to want to have sex on the first date, right. but... Um, You'd probably question if she really is one. Uh, not, I mean, not. I don't know if I would, I might question, uh, I might question a little <laughs> bit, but I don't know, have I, I don't think I've... I've been with a... Oh, shit. I don't want to reveal Have you ever been with somebody and she says she's a virgin, but then you look at her and you're like, I don't know. Based off the conversation, you're like, I think you're, I think you're lying. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've had a girl lie about being a virgin, but I've, oh, okay. I've dated a few. Uh, okay. I'll just say that. Just yeah, typically sex does not occur on the first date in that situation. Okay. But it's also not like necessarily a six-month thing right either. right it can happen yeah let's just say between three to ten dates typically okay <laughs> how about I'm a week and a half too. i'm revealing too many fucking details okay yeah, how about a week and a half week and a half a week and a half my last girlfriend was a virgin she was 22 took her about a week and a half before we had sex no pressure from me but that's how attractive she was to me good for you so congrats <laughs> buddy um so wait so okay go so grid one motorsports oh. donated 100 dollars. yeah this is why it is important to date with intent and not just hook up men and women have gotten far too casual and callous in the dating pool and that needs to change the patriarchy stands ready Yo, Grid One Motorsports, thank you. And I, mean, I agree with you. I guess you. really to answer your question, though, is for I think your initial co- question was sort of a definitional one. Well, how do we define yeah, casual I sex? Yeah, guess, I guess I was but, trying to get like the actual definition because yeah. I think we just have different ones, and I think that's okay. Yeah. Um, but that would be – that's kind of where I maybe felt a contradiction. Sure. Because you said you didn't believe in casual sex, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm – Oh, I do. think you can sleep with someone relatively quickly, but also not be promiscuous. So if you have a good read on the person and you, you yourself as an individual, for if you're a woman, yeah. you want a long-term relationship, you've done a bit of an assessment on the guy. Is, okay, is this guy a fuck boy, blah, blah, blah. Look, sometimes you get bamboozled. Women yes. will get bamboozled. The guy will say he wants something long-term. It was all... It was all, he was selling you the dream. It was bullshit. Uh, But if the guy seems genuine with his intentions, and also there's this whole trope of, well, if you sleep with the guy too quick, he's not going to respect you. And what otherwise would have turned into a long-term monogamous relationship, uh, had you waited a bit longer, oh, now he just ghosted you after he fucked you once. No, the reality is, is that it doesn't, it doesn't occur to me that, if you make a guy wait, that's going to guarantee you a long-term relationship with this guy. And if the guy, let's say you, let's say, okay, same guy and in two separate universes, right? In one universe, you sleep with him on the first date. In another universe, you sleep with him on the third. In another universe, you sleep with him on the fifth date, whatever. Um, it's plausible that regardless of which decision you choose, you would ultimately still end up in a long-term relationship with him. So, I can attest to that. Okay, so I actually did have sex with my now husband. Oh, <laughs> very early on. Oh. No, 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 no. But <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not. Ag- I'm not saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think you're against it necessarily. No, but, I'm not yeah. saying that I'm against it. I was trying mm-hmm. to find the definition. 
I'm not saying I was against How it. How early? Um, I, but I How? would say, generally no. speaking, casual sex is not good. Generally okay. speaking. However, yeah. let me make this very clear. I don't. I wouldn't consider it casual sex because we knew each other for a very, very, very long time. Hmm. Wait, how how soon? Because you said and, pretty early, early on. Um, the third date. Yeah, that's fine. There's no, nothing wrong with that. In his car. Not the ideal. <laughs> you didn't ven- ask for that. Not my the bad. ideal <laughs> venue. Not the ideal venue. What there wasn't a bed. It was hot, and steamy. Was- in a car? Yeah. Mercedes. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Move on. Oh no, I'm not what do you guys think about car <laughs> sex? I'm not a fan. Honestly. Just give me a bed. <laughs> it's about the vibe, honestly. I had car sex like last week and it was so nice. So that was your like, last the time. Angle, Cause I drive a truck and he didn't have a car. <laughs> so- so anyways, Is what? this the guy who, wait. It was, yeah. Your guy doesn't have a car? But for some reason. Is he like a bike guy? Like he bikes places? Like saving the environment type shit? It's an Uber or he's just broke? situation. Okay. Bro. All right. I'm, I'm traumatized by car sex because I think I told you what happened when last time, I mean, when I had car sex, how I got stuck. Oh, I got you want to tell us a story real quick? Yeah, um, I'll tell y'all a story. Uh, I had car sex with the girl that I was seeing um, we was at a family event. It was around Christmas time. She came to Christmas with my family, and she wanted to have sex, but we couldn't have sex because it was a house full of people. So she she texted me next to me like, I'm horny. I was like, okay. So I had to tell everybody, like, listen, we about to run to the store. I'm in South Carolina in the middle of nowhere, so I gotta, I'm in the back country, country roads. So I try to find somewhere to pull over. My dumb ass goes on a dirt road after it just rained, hella mud puddles, and my immediate thought was we might get fucking bogged down in the mud so drove on the back road tried to back out after we did what we did got bogged down for four hours in the mud <laughs> mm. called 911 911 said tow truck uh they couldn't send it a dispatcher out because i was too far in the boonies and the tow truck company was like we don't have any trucks in the area so i was stuck trying to get my car out the mud doing everything i could scariest scariest most anxious moment of my life i'm like yo how the fuck we gonna get out and then lo and behold as i'm walking back to my car from the street because i was trying to find a signal i didn't even have service trying to find a signal there was a shadow coming towards my car and i thought i was seeing shit and it was a white guy with a shotgun and i was and i I saw a sign that said private property (laughs) and he was like what are you doing back here and i was like oh shit i'm like Sir, we we stuck. Can you can you help us? You know, I didn't tell him what we was doing, but luckily he had some he had something that could pull us out, and that's how I got out after about five hours. Mm-hmm. So scary. So I'm traumatized by car sex. I don't have car sex anymore because of that. Yeah, I think when it comes to car sex, I for me personally, I'd rather like if the option is to have sex or to not have sex in a car, I'd rather just not. You know? Really? Yeah. I'd rather just not. It's kind of like, well, I could go really far with this one, you but can just go oral. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, cute. Maybe I want you to weigh on this too. You know, like you ever been hooking up with a girl and she's like, well, I I could give you a hand job, <laughs> and it's like, I'd rather just not have anything to be honest. <laughs> At the, if, if it's if like, people still do if it's jobs? nothing, versus a hand <laughs> job, I'm good. I think I'm okay. I'm just, never mind. You know? That's fair. Or they even want to give you one in any, I don't even want one in any scenario. Yeah. Like all by itself? Hello? Why is that even Like, no, just, no. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, hand jobs aren't really, they don't really You're do not anything. your thing? Yeah, they, they're not, not your thing. I've, nah, I've only yeah. had one my whole life, and that was that was walking down the hallway <laughs> yeah, in high school. And my you girl, were walking? I was walking down the hallway in high school, walking. and my girlfriend was in front of me, and she had reached back, like, in my pants, and was, like, giving me a hand job as we walked. Surprise, down. bitch! Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You ever have one, like, when you're sitting a at a table, handy? and it's, like, under the table? They try. I stop. Don't you feel like guys already give themselves hand jobs when they self pleasure? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Don't guys give themselves 
hand jobs. Yeah. When I mean, they're self pleasuring. Yeah. So maybe that's maybe they're like, hey, I already I'm already used to this. This is lame. I want something different. Maybe that's why. I just don't think y'all know what you're what doing. What we're doing? Yeah, we don't have a penis. Women often complain men can't find the clit. Y'all <laughs> don't know yeah, how to dick. do that. <laughs> why are you looking at me? I don't know. I'm, just, I'm a direct, professional. Dog. She knows. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Normally, I, we don't get two sexual <laughs> talks into the show. Oh, y'all like but, working out? Get your shake weight. Yeah. yeah. Shake, shake, shake weight. Oh, my God. Shake weight. I don't know about, like... Shake weight. Okay, I guess I'll get it a little graphic. For some, like, you can't go over the the head like girls will like dr dry no like you can't not dry oh, no, not go dry. over the head like lube at least spit no on it, it has to be it has to be but on the shaft if you're gonna do a handy even then still don't give me one but like you're, if, you're telling me you're yeah i'm giving you instructions <laughs> she knows i've given you instructions bro they trying to like you watch my Amateur. videos or what? You didn't like what you saw? Don't, you can't like rub the head. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Yeah, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow, drop us a prime sub. Guys, if you're on Twitch, the streaming quality there is fantastic, boys. We're trying to get, guys, we're trying to get the premium plus or, or I don't know what it's called, prime plus, where, I don't know what it's called. Just go, go give us a follow on Twitch, guys. Thank you, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And then subscribe to our Clips channel. Whatever second. Link is in the description. Mods, spam it, please. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Where were we? Uh, we were talking about... Oh, let's talk a little bit about waiting for sex. So, I have a question. Have any of the girls here, going around the table, starting with you, had... And this is a chronological question, so think chronologically. Have you ever, chronologically speaking, had sex with a guy relatively quickly, perhaps even... A couple guys relatively quickly, and then you you know you you s stumble up across a man. Maybe you like him, es especially a lot. Mm -hmm. Those other guys, though, you had sex with them quick first night, an hour after meeting, in the bathroom at that nightclub, behind the dumpster, of the bar, at the frat party, whatever it is. You had sex relatively quickly. Then you meet a guy. And then, oh, you like this one. Oh, no, hold on. I think we should wait three months. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that? Um, oh, sorry. I would say I didn't go back and forth on it. Like, when I broke with my ex, like, last year, over a year ago now, is when I started, like, waiting to sleep with people. And then I just ended up not sleeping with anyone because after like a few months or yeah, whatever, I just wouldn't like them. Um, and then I kind of got over it. And then I found with the guy that I actually did have sex with, I, it was like, I don't know why, but I just like had no respect for him. And so I just figured it would be One. fine. Wait, one sec really quick. We're going to continue with this question. I just need to read this before it falls off. Alberta Sovereign donated Canadian 50. Maddie, can you read it? It's bad because guys are being shamed to hell for looking at girls in the gym. Then they do this. Brian, you better not French me. Q is great, but I miss Chase of base. Keep fighting the good. Finding the good? Keep fighting the good fight, I think you meant to say. Hey, Alberta Sovereign, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, and yes, Q is great. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, so continuing on. Oh, okay. So he was kind of like, it was low stakes emotionally. Mm. Yep. Like I knew it was, it was good for business and emotionally mm. it was low stakes. So okay. that's why I think I slept with him. Okay. Um, I have, but it was more like there was a different reason of me not having sex. What was the reason? I was going to therapy because I had a sex addiction. Oh, <laughs> you got a sex addiction? I used to. Used to. Does that, yeah. does it ever go away, a sex addiction? Can that go away? Um, can you tell us a bit about your sex addiction? What would you like to know? How did it manifest itself? Um, that's like, deeper stuff but we love deep 
Deep is great for the whatever podcast. <laughs> Safe Cost time is donated one hundred and seven dollars. I'm watching in retroactive time. I meant, what info can I get slash give to provide my young oh, daughters in the current he, market? Yeah, first, Sorry, I, badly oh, worded yeah, okay. question. <laughs> Not me. Like two, I am married for seventeen years. Uh, advice to your young daughters. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, how young? Did he say how young they were? He said 12 and 14, oh, I think. Oh, dude, they don't get fucking smartphones until they're 18. They don't get any social media. They can have a fucking pager, dude. Give them a fucking pager. It's probably too late. If they already have smartphones, you got to fucking burn them in front of them and be like, this is the work of the devil. They cannot have smartphones until they're 18. They can't have social media until they're 18. Uh, private school... Consider, you know, what else? Uh, try to keep them living in the household for as long as possible. <laughs> uh, what else? And because uh, here's the thing, like, I think when it comes to picking a good man, your brothers and your fathers are going to give you the best advice and be able to help you screen out dudes. No offense, left to your own devices, you're gonna pick the fuck boy. You're gonna pick the bad boy who's gonna ultimately treat you like shit, rack you with trauma, and then you're probably, depending on how fucking bad it is, you're probably thoroughly uh, fucked for your whole, no, I'm just kidding, maybe not fucked for your whole life, but um, you should seek the advice of your fathers and brothers when it comes to men. You guys clearly disagree with that take. Can can you guys give me a little? I mean, maybe you agree. I don't know. Don't just if you disagree with something, don't just sit there quietly and be like, "Fuck this misogynistic piece of shit." But I'm not going to say anything. Actually, engage with the conversation. How about like not having the phones and stuff? And well, I mean anything, but I mean that's my advice. First, I if you know if if and when I have uh, kids, uh, yeah, you're not you're not getting a smartphone until you're 18. You're not going to be on social media until um, you're 18. I think it depends. Depends on. You don't need a smartphone. I grew up without a. I'm 34. I didn't have a. I had a flip phone. I, I'm a very lucky that I, I was. I think in my senior year of high school, MySpace was just becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I know it sounds like I'm a fucking boomer here. Yeah, but, but you were not a teenager in 2024. <laughs> it is not 2024. Oh, I don't give a dangerous. fuck what I don't give a fuck what the other kids at Maybe school. Maybe they can First have off, a phone, but not a smartphone. Maybe they can have one of those phones where you have a certain phone. numbers where you can Maybe a flip dial. phone if you're lucky. I don't even know if they sell pagers like that. Yeah, I know. I'm being a bit facetious. So yeah, a little bit. There's no way. Maybe they can have maybe they can have like a phone. I agree. Like no a social media. Phone. I think social, no social media, media is toxic. No That's why I don't have all the no social media. Twitters and shit. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Sorry. Banned. Private schools always go wrong. All the girls that I know that went to private home schools school, ended huh? up I way went to private worse. School. Oh no. <laughs> okay, then homeschool. I don't know. Um, I mean, I would keep them off social media, to be honest. Yeah, no social media, but a phone for safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine, but no smartphone because then they can access all that bullshit. That's true. You get you get a flip phone. <laughs> yeah, flip phone. That's that's right. Flip phone. Yeah. Flip phone. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. That's my advice when it comes to dating. I tell them, I tell them don't fall into um, hedonistic behaviors. Uh, seek an instant gratification. I would tell them that don't fall into believing in the concept of soulmates, the one. Don't be aligning astrology signs, all of that bullshit. They witchcraft. Should learn, yeah, don't don't yeah witchcraft. Witchcraft. <laughs> Wh witchcraft. Yeah, let's that add, definitely. Let's avoid add witchcraft that. in there. Um, men are not their enemies. Uh, they have to have some accountability for the guys that they choose mm -hmm. in their lives. Don't be afraid to discipline them and let them know that you don't approve of the gentleman that they bring home, especially if you feel that their values don't align. Uh, there's a lot of things. There's, as, as a father, like Brian said, you have to be the one you're going to have the biggest influence on who they date. Um, if they have brothers, I'm not sure he didn't say they had brothers. But yeah. yeah but Well, as a father, you're literally your daughter's, like, you're showing your daughter what how a man should treat you, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I couldn't get the words out. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, you have a big job. You have two daughters that are like at that prime age where it's like 
comparisons of you know the the thief of joy so that's why the social media thing is so big because you see girls who are like you know at the epitome of vanity and like wanting to look so beautiful and like you know be skinny be thick whatever like so i think it has a bad influence on how like women think that's why there's so many women with eating disorders that's why there's women who want to you know go and get so much plastic surgery that's why you know girls want to like outdo the next so i think honestly just show her show your daughters that they are beautiful and they are designed how god intended to design them and just show them how a man should treat them so that way you're actually proud and happy with who they choose because they're going to choose the right person because of everything that you instilled in them through their childhood you have a big big job to do i 100 percent agree with everything you said and i think another really important thing to do when you're raising kids is teach them accountability for what is happening in their lives Mm -hmm. because all of the internal thoughts and beliefs that we hold about ourselves get reflected in the external world so if some guy is showing up in your life and he's not treating you well you have a core foundational belief that's not in alignment with who you're trying to become so really getting people aware of the power that we have with our thoughts and this is what I teach in my coaching too. That's good. In the Atlas household, it's going to be the fucking 1800s. <laughs> You're going to be working on the farm. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no fucking internet. Oh, no internet too. Maybe like a censored so version of dad the Atlas the censorship. censorship. You, you, you parental controls. Maybe parental control. you can like Wikipedia is way too woke. Maybe you can like Google historical articles about World War II. I'll allow her to, you know, but like, you know, you know. Books. It has, I'm going to, I'm going to procure, it's going to be the Atlas internet. There's going to be historical things on there. You can learn about history. Primarily World War I, World War II. Puffy underscore Vegas donated $100. Brian, you are correct. I don't know a single what woman who has a body count under 300. <laughs> under 300? What kind of woman do you know? Puffy, Puffimus Maximus. <laughs> Here, let me do it. Let me it's have ridiculous. Maddie read a couple of these chats. Yo, Puffy, good to see you in the chat, man. Thank you so much for your TTS. I appreciate your patronage, man. It's always uh, good to have you in the chat. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe... Yo, chat, one in the chat or two in the... One in the chat if you want to see Puffy on the show. Two in the chat if you're like, nah. Okay. Uh, Maddie, let me have you read this one. Hi, Brian. First time donating. Been listening for months. Thank you for all the entertainment. Love the show. To the ladies, when is the last time you complimented a man on his appearance? Go ahead. Um, a week ago. Today. What was the What was the compliment to? You're so sexy. Okay. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be more v- vulgar than that, but okay. <laughs> I just said you're really cute. I told my boyfriend he was handsome, like last week. I told my boyfriend that I think he's pretty and handsome, like a couple of days ago. Um, I told my ex who's trying to come back that he looked good. Oh. But what? I don't know why I said that. No, you just you said you didn't like him. Yeah, you said you didn't like him. What else was I supposed to say? He sent me a picture. You see your words of affirmation, guy? He sent you a picture? Yeah, he sent me a picture. You ain't leave him on red. Of what? I'm just himself. Oh, okay. Oh, oh he got a response. Yeah, he got a response. Oh, he got a response. Oh, I know. You're giving what him hope. You're giving him hope. Oh, yeah. Wrong signal. Wrong signal. What about you? I'm bad at that. 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 i am um, I probably today or yesterday I tell my husband all the time he's he's handsome he's perfect yeah Q when's the last time you complimented that's a blah 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 man I got told I was handsome today oh <laughs> by, <laughs> by huh? who by who by a couple ladies by his mom no, I'm kidding <laughs> I the last time I complimented a man was my Chilean bodyguard back here and I said that uniform that Chilean military uniform really brings out the color of his eyes Mm. really just flattering okay his name's um 
Gustavo. <laughs> Gustavo. <laughs> Good. Good. You see that? No, attentive. No. Attentive. Scary. Okay. All right. Can you read this one, Maddie? If a man pushes for sex on the first date, he is low value or thinks you are not valuable and is just trying to drop the nut. Mm -hmm. Disagree. Disagree. I agree. You agree? I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. Push, oh, pushes for sex. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. Okay, pushes for sex. It's tacky. Mm -hmm. Cause he's not being mm -hmm. he's probably not being authentic. He's probably mm -hmm. he's probably saying a whole bunch of stupid shit and trying to run game, trying to, you know, use a whole bunch of cliche lines, trying to seduce her verbally. Mm -hmm. He he desperate. And women can smell desperate on mm -hmm. men when they're desperate. So yeah. I agree. Okay. Pushes for sex. Maybe that's the crux of it. Yeah. Not if sex happens to happen on the first that's day. Different. That's, cool. that's different. If he pushes for it though. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Okay, let's go back to you. You said you had a sex addiction. Let's talk about that a little bit. Um, <laughs> when did that, has that, uh, you always had that or? I thought we hmm? stopped. <laughs> <laughs> um, it started my first year of college. And you're 21 now, right? Yes. So when you, you were 18? 19. 19. So you didn't. When did you lose your virginity? 17. 17. But it, it, didn't, it didn't start until 19. Yes. Okay. And so sex addiction, it's kind of a vague term. What, what did that mean? How did that look? Like, this sounds really weird, but genuinely, like, I felt like I wouldn't have a personality unless I slept with someone or like mm -hmm. not like it wasn't about the person but it was just like about the feeling like I needed that like validation little release oh release or validation comfort it was <laughs> all the above <laughs> <laughs> um it was more of so my therapist told me <laughs> that it was because like of my like abandonment issues so mm -hmm. it was just like the fact that like i could leave them because mm -hmm. like i like it's really hard like for me to get like attached to someone and so like when i would like sleep with someone all feelings would like i would lose it like instantly and so like it was just like the fact that i could leave them so it was so you would have sex with a guy and then just blank <laughs> ghost him Puffy underscore Vegas donated $100. I've been complimented by naturally born woman every day of my life naturally multiple times woman. a day. I would like to come watch your show and live. I don't even if I have to be a penal. Penal? Penal yeah. colony? Uh, thank you, Puffy. We have another one coming in, so I'm just going to hold off. But um, thank you, Puffy, man. Appreciate your patronage over these many, many months. Plato the Kid 22 donated $100. Can you ask the panel if they have ever seen some good Red Bill videos that are about men being just genuinely better people? This feels like a very vague uh, question. They've seen good Red... First off, I doubt the panel even knows what Red Pill is. So, I... I appreciate your TTS, but this is a very vague question. But you, I mean, okay, fuck it. Have you ever seen some good red pill videos that are about men being just genuinely better people? I haven't. Okay. Um, yeah. No. What, what is red pill? See this, okay. I can explain what it is. Red pill is the truth, but I'm not sure if, huh. oh God. You, Mostly. Guys, you should, I appreciate the patronage play though, but you need to ask like, you know what I mean? You got to ask like a question that they're going to understand. Um, but you understand, right? You could explain it. Well, no, because I mean, my <laughs> definition of the red pill differs from my view of the red pill is strictly the truth, the truth of something. Okay. Other people view it as like this sort of dogmatic thing when it comes to intersexual dynamics between men and men and women. And there's like a sort of uh, there's dogma. Yeah. Where it's like, mm -hmm. you know, 
some of some of which I agree with, some of which I I, I don't. don't but yeah. I mean, I'll go around the table on it, but I don't understand the question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I agree with most of it. Okay. All right. Um, you were saying. I don't remember. You said you had an anxious attachment style. Anxious no, boy so, attachment yeah, style. Yeah, I, I think I, I was asking, okay, so you would have sex with a guy once mm -hmm. and then you'd ghost him. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many times did you do that? In a span of like, what, like the whole time? Yeah, since she was diagnosed with your or just sex addiction. Or just not even diagnosed, just like your whole life. Well, I don't think like it's been like a whole life type of thing. No, no, no. But like the first time you just had sex with a dude and just blanked him, ghosted him. That was the first time. Because I was like, because um, I had like my first relationship and that was for two and a half years. And that was the only relationship I had. And mm -hmm. then after that ended, then that's when I started having a sex addiction. Okay. So you didn't ghost the guy. You lost your virginity, too. You stayed no, I don't you. think it was from okay. the get-go. Okay. But, I mean, like, okay. how many times total did you do that? I don't know. If you had to give a range. Probably 30. Can you take this? <gasps> okay. <laughs> You're not supposed to gasp that hard. Girl. Sorry. <laughs> Judgment-free zone. Judgment no, no, no. no. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not judging. But... <clears throat> We know it's been at least 30 Puffy times. underscore Vegas donated $100. My bad. I'm just Delix. What I was trying to say is I would like to come watch your show live. I don't even need to be a penalties. Wow, you've made it more confusing now. <laughs> Thank you, Puffy Vegas. I don't even know what um, that penalties. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to I, I don't want to come across as judging at all. Okay, the reason I guessed was like because I wanted to understand like why. Like what like why did why did you do that? Why did like you know? Like it was I was just very depressed in that moment in my life. So that was kind of like your outlet. Yeah, like it was like, like everything would just go away. Like, the guys wouldn't. What is what they is, didn't like, know like your like intention, right? Like, what what is it that would go away? What was like I I don't know how to explain it because like like right now like I don't even think the same right now. But um, in that moment, like I just remember I was just like <laughs> like. As soon as like like you like I would come or whatever, um, and then like I would like leave them. Like it was just like, like just like, like I feel like relaxed. Like I I'm like good to like go to sleep or whatever. Like did you initiate to... uh, a lot of these? Uh... Oh no, never. No. No. So you just accept it. Yeah. Wait. So you said you once you come, you just like dip. Well, no. Come not... and dip. Cause like. Like I was just saying, like like in general, like at the end. Like after, like I would like in general, like, come, like, like you would, it would just feel like good. Like, can I ask you something? Did your okay? <laughs> did your ex cheat on you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think I, okay. I think I under I think I understand like maybe where the mindset's coming from because like, and this is what I've heard from mm -hmm. like other friends that I've had that have been cheated on is like, okay, so a dude did a dude thing on you, right, and cheated, right? Because dudes cheat. Anyway, everybody cheats, but Puffy underscore Vegas donated one hundred dollars. Oh, thank you, sir. <clears throat> thank you, Puffy. I just want to send this for to you. He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. Thank you, Puffy. That's you. Okay. So it's kind of like your way of getting back at men, right? Like you're kind of not getting back at men, but like kind of acting like a, like a dude, because dudes do that. Ah, uh, that sounds like bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's a no, huge man. L. That's a huge L for a girl to. You get cheated on. Let me just go fuck a bunch of dudes. Uh, nobody's that's just saying. A nobody's huge saying that's like the, the hierarchy of morals. How are you getting? But, but you can't get me back for coming. Like, you just can't. It's never. It's what? never a like, W. Like as a guy, as a guy, like say there's validity to what you just said. I wouldn't feel like she got me back. Like if I fuck a woman. And I come. This is not for her ex. Well, Plato the kid, twenty-two, donated one hundred dollars. Okay. Oh. So the videos oh. that I was talking about were videos of men being stoic, of men being truly great, of men not bending to life and being truly masculine. Mm. Brian, I should have asked Candace instead. Shout out to Candace Owens. Mm. 
Candace who? Candace Owens? Is that who you're talking about? Actually, you know what? We have a video. We'll pull it up later. Um, one of these compilation videos that um, I'm trying to see if I can find it. Fuck. Uh, we'll do that, but continue on, guys. Oh, yeah. oh holy shit. Puffy underscore oh Vegas God, donated $100. Have the girls rate this 500 <laughs> This guy, he's a, he's a madman. <laughs> he's a fucking madman, dude. We'll do it in a sec. Okay, Puffy. Continue on. I think you were... Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm not validating what she's saying or saying that I even agree with it, but I'm what I'm saying is I'm trying to place my head and where her head was at, that, at that time. I'm, I think for a lot of women, when... Jesus. Jesus Helicopter are cool donated $100. Who is the girl in the back? She's always so perfect and quiet. Madison? I mm -hmm. assume they're talking about Madison. That's Madison. She doesn't speak English. She's <laughs> mute. <laughs> That's why she's so quiet. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I just feel like once I talk, then there's going to be something. That just happens. go ahead. Just go ahead. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm just trying to get inside her, her head. Like, I think... You know, for everybody, depression can hit you differently, and your coping mechanism. Jesus, see? Billy donated one hundred dollars. Respect to talking about it. Many good men get hurt from women with that outlook. Hookup culture wouldn't be as bad if women took the same self accountability and tried fixing it. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Helly. Appreciate it. Got to take accountability. Go ahead. Maybe she should talk, and then there wouldn't be something that pops up. It's better if you just go ahead and make your point. That was basically my point. I'm just saying that I I, I was saying that depression. <laughs> Jacob underscore W donated one Don't tell me that again, Brian. <laughs> You're wrong. Sounds like she is slash was using orgasm to cope with emotions. God damn. Now for the reason why. One can only speculate. Hmm. I feel like I could agree to that. Yeah, so you can't say anything about me saying about popping up anymore. Um, so anyways, yeah, I think everybody can approach depression differently. Some people go to drugs, some people go to sex, mm -hmm. some people go to, you know, drinking. So, you know, I'm not saying it was right, but I'm saying I, I can understand where you came from. I was in a very toxic and horrible relationship with my first um, boyfriend, who's like my high school sweetheart, the whole deal. I moved in with him. It was a whole thing, and he broke my heart in many ways. He didn't cheat on me, not that I know of, but he was just a horrible person. And so for me, like, I fell into the promiscuity. I, I went on a lot of dates. Hilly donated $100. <laughs> I just wanted to interrupt again. Smile. <laughs> uh, thank you, Hilly. All right. She invoked to the good, wrath good of one. the... Good <laughs> She invoked to the wrath of the TTSers. Thank you, guys. For I'm done. Honestly, because it's honestly... It's a coincidence every yeah. single time. So Wait, yeah. so you said it was about 30 guys where you would um, just have sex with them, and then... what? It, but would they want... I'm sure... A, you're an attractive girl. I'm sure they w they would want to see you again, right? Some of them. Um, I'm like trying to remember, but um, it was mostly like frat guys. So like it was people that like I already like knew like day to day. Uh, this would this would be like you're out at a party. Alcohol yeah. alcohol's involved. Yeah. You after the party, you guys are liquored up. Yeah, and it was like smash. my first year. Like it was my first oh. time. Like at like college or like in general like without like a boyfriend for the first time mm -hmm. and also like my experience like dating like was very different and he cheated on me like I think 36 times 33 36 <laughs> what the fuck damn you kept count mm -hmm. and let it get to 36 I did mm. <laughs> but it's this because was... I moved to Turkey for him though that's why I wouldn't do it this time <sighs> Wait. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you moved to Turkey. Wait. So is this the? Wait. It, it, it's the current dude. It's the no. friend. It's the best friend. It's oh, his. okay, okay. And, yeah, I, I moved to Turkey for him, and then the guy who cheated on you. Yes. Crazy okay. How it works. What she did for the guy that cheat. She but moved to really Turkey good. for the guy that cheated on her thirty six times. So you was definitely but, into him more than he was into you. Well, I just want to say, I didn't know that he cheated on me until after I moved. To Turkey? Yeah. So he was cheating with Turkish women in Turkey? There was a lot. 
<laughs> okay, there could have been I, some I, I don't remember travelers, I guess. But yeah. um, so, okay, so I have a question. Wait, wait was this? Wh what was the age of that relationship? From what age to what age? Because you're 21 um, now, so 17 to 19. 17 to 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was a long distance relationship for periods. Yes. But okay. We are basically like engaged. Like, um, it was a very serious relationship, and it was my first. Was it? It. He cheated on you 36 for times. For her, it was. Well, yeah. Okay. And also, like, I, I'm obviously Turkish, but I didn't grow up in Turkey. Okay. And so there's also like the, like the cultural differences. Yeah. yeah. That I didn't know of, like what was like really appropriate obviously back then but yeah okay wait so you said the sex edition was precipitated by your depression was the depression caused because of the breakup of this relationship and the infidelity um partially partially okay so wait but you said that most of these scenarios would be like frat guys go. Yeah. Alcohol was often involved. Okay. It would be like like my friends like would like force me to like go out. Like they'd be like like oh like would you want to be like depressed and be in or like go out? And so then I would go out and drink too much and then sleep with someone else. Okay. And then And yeah. that was so you said that was about 30 times you did that? Like just Not one night, 30, 30 one night stands? I would say like probably 30 guys. Oh, 30 guys. I, I repeat a few. Okay, so some of them you would, mm -hmm. but it was never like ever serious. Helicopters are cool. Rick donated $100. <laughs> Is there any way we can teach her to speak English, please? Uh, who, Madison back here? Uh, well, here's what you got to do. It's really weird. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about that woman who had a TBI and then she woke up or maybe she was in a coma. She woke up and she American woman, white woman. She woke up and she had like a Chinese accent. Madison, is, it's not It's not like she needs a TBI. For some reason, she's a, she's capable of speaking English when she gets liquored up. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on, no, this doesn't work. <laughs> She's not 21. <laughs> okay, never mind. I was gonna say, we have a champagne. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm being a goblin. I'm being a little goblino. Um, never mind, God damn, that was so corny. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Um, so, okay, you'd recycle a couple of the dudes. Okay. But so it was like 30 guys. What was the span of time where you had slept with these 30 guys during your sex addiction was it a one year period six month period i would say one year so one like year the first year of college okay do you still have a sex addiction no i wouldn't say so okay okay good times what were how did we arrive there there was a question i was going around the table on this i'm trying to recall i think it was um how soon did you sleep with the guy or something like oh, that? Oh, yes, I recall. The question was, we're going around the table, so have you ever had, like, one-night stands, string of one-night stands, hooked up with whatever guys relatively early, but then you stumble upon a guy you actually like, and then you make that guy wait weeks, months, whatever, to have sex with him? Yes, but that was just because... I was trying to actually like like them instead of mm -hmm. losing feelings after sleeping with them. So I'm I usually I before I give my response, I usually like to get around the table first on this. So I know you were going through something. Um, however, if a girl told me, for example, that I was interested in dating, she told me Helicopters are cool donated one hundred dollars. I will buy the bottle just to hear the English. Tequila. Uh, 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 u
six months ago, I was going through a period of my life and I had, I was having one night stands and sleeping with guys within, let me ask you a question. What, um, from first meeting a guy to having sex with him, what's the quickest? Like 30 minutes? Have you had that? No, guys, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Have you had that? I'm not, I'm not attacking you for this. I'm just asking. Like, you meet a guy at a frat party, from first meeting him to having sex, what's the quickest? I think within, like, the first hour. Within an hour, right. So if a girl told me uh, that she wanted to wait to have sex with me, multiple dates, weeks, months, but then she told me a few months prior she had sex with a guy within an hour of meeting him. It's your prerogative to, to hey, a week ago you had sex with a guy within 30 minutes of meeting him. A week later, I'm waiting until marriage. Then it's your choice. But from my perspective as a guy, I'm gonna feel like I'm getting a bad deal. Like I'm gonna feel a certain type of way about that. And I would, I would be like, well, that's your choice, but I would feel a, like a sucker if I, I just I would feel like a sucker in that situation. I mean, it depends because if I communicate this with like a guy mm -hmm. and I tell him like what the situation is and what the reason is, and he thinks that way, then what I'm understanding out of that is that he just wants to sleep with me in general. No, not necessarily, but you, you provided a certain treatment to the other men who you, who you had sex with. But this guy who you, if you want a long-term relationship with him, who you perhaps value more than those other guys, you're going to make him wait. That makes me raise an eyebrow. Well, I feel like it really shouldn't because... Like, let's say the other guys, for instance, that I, like, slept with, or the one that took, like, an hour, um, that was someone that I didn't care about. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even put any, like, time into that relationship or any thought into it. So this should, like, show you how much, like, effort I'm putting into this. Here's how, here's my translation of that, though. I thought, this is what you would be, this is sort of the framing of it. I thought you were a better long-term prospect, so I treated you worse than the guy I knew who was an asshole or toxic. But I'm not treating you worse, well, we're just not having sex. So, you were so, you're so important to me, I'm treating sex like it's sacred, just for you. But not those other 30 guys who had sex with me the first night. I'm not sleeping with you so I don't lose feelings for you the first night I s see you or we hook up because I generally see something in you that I want to continue. 100% it's not it, the, in the guy's perspective it, they're not going to see it that way but mm -hmm. it's not like it's benefiting him it's more so but it's benefiting her she's healing her heart and that's why she's choosing that so maybe she shouldn't tell him that she was giving it up to these guys right away so soon. Would you hold the same standard to a man? What yeah. do you mean? Like, could, okay, we'll say you. Mm -hmm. Let's say you fuck a girl tomorrow and you don't care about her. And then, okay, I know. I don't do that, but okay. Well, the average man does. Okay. Any man so, that I know does. So we'll go off the average man. Okay. Fucks a girl tomorrow, meets a girl maybe the next week and he's kind of talking to her but he actually respects her and maybe wants something more with her and so like does the girl now get to have the same like perspective on him okay so if first off men and women are different mm -hmm. so yeah. it would surprise me i think it, it would be a bit surprising for because who's typically like pushing to have sex? Who's typically pursuing sex? Men. It's typically men. So I mean, this sort of hypothetical scenario. Uh, so the question is, would it would I object to a woman 
I'm more saying feeling like feeling upset if the guy didn't want to fuck her right away. First off, I'm not sure in what like, world yeah, that ever was, would play I out. I was waiting. But I'm like, saying, no, I if if a woman if a woman was upset that a new guy wanted to wait and she wanted to fuck him right away, would would I object to her being like, well, why don't you fuck me sooner because you fucked all these other chicks sooner? No, she can have that preference, I guess. Okay. I don't think any most women are going to ever have that dynamic ever. Like, oh, you fucked all those other girls really quickly, but you're making me you wait. wait. Yeah. In what world has that ever occurred? Like, but no, I don't object to it I, if a woman has that standard. <laughs> okay, and then also because you feel like because she has like slept with people quickly, and yeah. then all of a sudden has decided that she wants to wait. Do you want to wait now with like future partners if there was another one? Like, if this relationship ended, would you treat another relationship th the same way? Would you go about sex the same way? What do you mean? Or do you think you would, like, partake well, in one night stands again? Or would it always depend on the person? Well, with my current relationship, I didn't wait. Okay, but if something happened to this relationship, mm -hmm. would you wait or would you still treat it person to person? Or do you think that phase is over in your life? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, see, that's my concern then because you say you're not addicted to sex anymore. So why would you still have the same fear that was because of the sex addiction moving forward? Why, would, If you used to have sex and then move on after you came, why would you still fear that that's going to be present if you have sex with somebody that you really like? Like, why would you hold off, hypothetically speaking? Why would you then hold off because you don't want to lose feelings? But that was an effect of being addicted to sex. So if that effect is no longer, if you're no longer addicted to sex, why would you still fear, fear that outcome? Because let's say like she was saying that if I were to get out of this relationship, which means that I would probably like have to go through another breakup, which that's so that the outcome I don't think it was a sex addiction. I think it was a, a lack of value for herself and depression because <laughs> an addiction would mean that you probably shouldn't do it again. Like, if you're addicted to alcohol, you shouldn't go to a bar, right? But if you have a sex addiction, what does that mean? You have to be celibate for life? You have to eventually heal that bond so that way you can have sex with your future partner. So I wouldn't even label it as a sex addiction. I would just label it as you were suffering with depression and mm -hmm. didn't value yourself enough. Wait. Okay, I, look, I don't know the intricacies of your situation, but... Could claiming that you had an addiction be a way of you, what's the right wording? Could you trying to frame this pattern of behavior as an addiction be a way of you trying to escape accountability for the specific actions that you took? Because if you claim something's an addiction, then you can kind of just relinquish yourself of responsibility of having done it. Oh, well, I have an addiction. I have an illness. I, I had no control. Okay. Well, in today's society, I don't think any girl would just randomly just be like, oh, I have a sex addiction. I think a sex addiction also, it's like if it's risky, like it's time, like it's categorized as if you like cannot help it and you're putting yourself at risk, but you're doing it anyways because you just... Like, the, I'm pretty sure that's what it is it's, defined. I mean, she look, but she said her friends were, like, trying to drag her out to these parties. It's very common for, you, were you in college at the time, I'm assuming? Mm -hmm. You're in college. That's what people do. They go out to parties Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. Uh, you're an attractive girl. You said you didn't even approach these dudes. These dudes are coming up to you. Well, is this a sex addiction, or were you just being promiscuous? Like, that's my sense of this. It's... It's very hard to explain the situation, mm -hmm. but basically, I wasn't just randomly like, I didn't wake up one day and was like, oh, I have a sex addiction. I went to... Helicopter are cool donated $100. <laughs> I am a guy and I have a sex addiction and I love it. I never want to fix my problem. Best problem in the world. What's your thoughts, sex? The British voice sounded like really high pitched and really excited weird. for some reason. <laughs> we got high all of a You were saying? Okay. So, um, what I was trying to say was, um, 
oh i didn't just wake up one day and i was like oh i have a sex addiction mm-hmm. it was i went to therapy because my friends actually made me because i was actually having like a really bad problem and then he was like i think you have a sex addiction mm. like you need to stop like having sex like you need to like you know just get yourself like just focus on yourself for a little bit and just because this is like your outlet and this can't be your outlet if that makes Hmm. sense how early on did your therapist tell you that you have a sex addiction during that process i think i was at probably 10 or 15 guys do you think that maybe the therapist telling you that since it was placed into your head do you think maybe you um decided to use that label and you know because sometimes therapists will be like oh you've got adhd so then people are like oh my god i have adhd this is why i'm this way and i'm never gonna change and da, 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 da. right so sometimes if they tell us something it kind of reassures puffy underscore vegas donated 100 dollars. she's not lying of the 200 women i hooked up with i known less than two hours shortest girl i knew was two minutes okay, she just asked me to go into the bathroom at a club have the girls rate me. We'll, we'll get to it in a bit, Puffy. Um, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, so. I think oh, she was responding yeah. to me. Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Do you, do you think that because your therapist kind of gave you that label, it kind of enabled you to give yourself that label and continue to do the thing? Honestly, I think that probably did have like an influence because it was also like my it's first common. year of like college like that's like technically that's where you learn like your life because like that's the first time you're on your own Mm -hmm. and also like this is just me trying to like live life and then someone's telling me that I have a sex addiction like obviously it's a doctor like I'm gonna believe it Mm -hmm. and like that's subconsciously most likely gonna do some things to me but mm -hmm. because sometimes like giving giving someone a label will box them in and so then they you know it's like if you tell yourself over and over and over, you know, you label yourself something, whatever. You say, oh, my gosh, I'm ugly, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. You believe it. It's mm-hmm. what you give out, right? So then if you say, like, then you kind of become the addiction, right? Because now mm-hmm. you have that label rather than, like, looking inward and trying to see what are the deeper rooted problems. Yeah, I mean, I guess I will say, like, whenever, like, I do get too, like, sad or, like, depressed or, like, whenever, like, I have, like, too much of, like, a problem, mm-hmm. I do still use sex to cope. But it's obviously differently. That's what I was Mm -hmm. curious about. Do you think you think it's easier to have sex with the men than to like introspect about the cheating and like what's going on emotionally with you? What do you mean? Helicopters are cool donated $100. No, it's not a problem and I won't go see help. Please don't see help. Sex is great. Does anyone here need a therapist? I can be a great therapist. Miss Quiet and I have a thumbs up or down, please. Who's Miss Quiet? Oh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, all right. Like some people have trouble kind of like sitting with their emotions and their pain. So do you think Grid like One going Motorsports out and- donated one hundred dollars. Between Dollar Tree Rogue and the fake sex addict this show has delivered tonight. If the weather is good, I am flying tomorrow, so be time to dig a day, air mate. Always a pleasure. Hey, Grid One Motorsports, thank you for tuning in tonight, man. Appreciate your patronage. Thank you, thank you. So do you think that it was easier than, like, going out? Like, sitting with it was easier? (laughs) I think. Therapy session right now. (laughs) Shit. All right, go ahead. Give her your answer. Go ahead. I think... Going out was easier because, like, you know, like, you're drinking, like, at least, like, I'm not in control of me. Like, it's kind of, like, an mm-hmm. excuse. But, like, if I'm at home, then I'm going to be, like, texting people, like, guys, like, hey, like, and then that that would be. Like, and that makes sense because our brain, like, moves towards pleasure all the time. So mm-hmm. if that was, like, harder for you, then it makes sense why that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, she so, okay. needed a dopamine hit. So question here for you. Um n- now that you have kind of moved past this with your current new guy how long did you make him wait um if you even did well we were friends for years okay so it's kind of different so it's, it was very uh, different like i generally okay. like had feelings for him and okay so that's how we okay started. but you're saying if like 
for you moving forward, your experience has been and will be if you were to have, let's say this guy goes away, whatever, you meet a new guy, let's say you're interested in a relationship with him, if you have sex with him too quick, you'll just, despite your potential long-term interest in him, you'll just, it's over. Well, I'm not saying that that's how it's going to be. Oh, because you, you said if you have sex too quick, you just like... I'm, I was just trying to say like, that's just how that, that's uh, been the pattern recently. Like, it's okay. just, I don't know, like if it will change, right. but it hasn't so far. Yeah. Okay. It will. It will. Right. It will. Yeah. I, I'll look, going back to my point though, if a girl previously has engaged in, if she's had sex quickly with a guy, and then all of a sudden you have this new standard. To me, I just think it's bullshit. It's, again, you're free to have it, but I'm gonna feel like it's bullshit. Billy donated $100. Can we start a challenge? Having That's a, a conversation idea. without using the word like every second word. Thank you, Hilly. Yeah, I just think it's BS. What if I'm trying to be a better version of myself for you? Like for that guy though? Yeah, that's like if saying like if an alcoholic says, <laughs> I'm going to bring alcohol into this, right? Because we're talking about addiction, so let's label it. If an alcohol, if somebody who struggles with alcohol and you're saying, this, oh my that, gosh, you're not your going to have a drink about, with me? You're not going to have a drink with me on the first day? Oh my gosh, I know you're trying to better yourself, but that's not fair. I don't think that's a perfect okay, analogy. But, not perfect, but, but I'm just trying to clarify. That they take for the rest of their like life. You know what I mean? Like That would like, be I more fair. But I'm fairly certain that, like, you'll have women who will have had casual, casual sexual encounters, fuck guys on the first date, and then, oh, let me switch things up. And then, okay, I'm going to make this guy who I view for long-term potential, I'm going to make him wait three months. Let's say you date that guy for a year, you break up with him, you're going to fuck a guy on the first date within a week of breaking up with him. So your standard is just going to be wishy-washy. That's my issue with it is that there, there's not like, you don't actually have a value the, you, you don't have like a like a deeply held value. Mm -hmm. It's just like you're playing a game. You're trying to leverage pussy to get a long-term relationship, basically. It's not going to be fair no matter what. Life's not fair. I mean, obviously, it's... I, I'm not saying that obviously the guy wouldn't take your perspective, but maybe the right guy will understand. It's kind of like when you become a Christian. You become a Christian, you change your ways right you change your lifestyle yeah, yeah. and you can tell your future husband hey i used to do these things and i'm not proud of it but this is who i am now and she can change her behaviors she can change her patterns that's what she's trying to do this is more about her healing i'm mm -hmm. not saying it's fair for the guy because it's not it's not fair for the guy the moment the guy knows hey you gave it away you know all quick then yeah He's going to be like, well, what the heck? Why didn't I get that? You know? So yeah. I understand that. But again, look, this is about yeah. her healing. Sh sure. It's, and look, I, I understand, like, it is a bit of a tough position to be in as a woman because obviously, look, uh, if you're trying to change the way you move, I'm not saying, well, if you used to be promiscuous, well, you should just continue being promiscuous. I feel, I, I understand that it kind of puts women in a bind mm -hmm. but like i'm just telling you the male perspective right. here like well, how we're, we're gonna feel it's good for you but like you previously let's say you previously had sex with a hundred men you slept with all of them on the first date first off i would not advise a man to ever date a woman who's had sex with a hundred other men but that's another co conversation and then you want to make me wait for marriage so no. <laughs> if you're thinking Good. in your like, best interest, you know, huh? as a man, if you're thinking in your best interest, right. would you also want her to think in her best interest for her healing journey and being unapologetic about her boundaries? And Look, also, you can you can move however you want to move. You can fuck three guys in one day within 30 seconds of meeting them. And then the very next day you can say, I'm waiting until marriage from here on out. That's your call. But if I meet you that day and you tell me that you're waiting until marriage and you just fucked three guys yesterday, <laughs> later, mm -hmm. I ain't taking you seriously. You're not, I'm not pursuing you. And that's how a lot of guys are going to feel because it's, it's going to look like clown world shit. Mm -hmm. That was never your, like, I guess you can turn a new leaf, but. Anyone can turn a new leaf. Well, I mean, we're also, saying that, we're saying though, sorry. No. You want me to? You, okay. Um, we're saying that 
it's not beneficial for the guy at all. We agree with you. We agree that he's going to feel some type of way. Because men do want to have sex, especially if they know, hey, she's giving away sex. So, okay, I should have that pass, too. I should I should be able to play that card, too. But the thing is, is it's not going to benefit her. It's going to leave her in a worse place. And she knows that she can't go there because then it'll bring the addiction back up and she'll lose feelings for the guy. So if I was the guy and I knew that if we had sex, she's going to lose feelings for me and I genuinely want to have a relationship with her. I mean, see, I'm not a guy, but I'm, if I was, mm-hmm. then maybe right. I would pursue her. And I would avoid it altogether. Yeah, That's so why my, you just avoid women who have, who have past trauma issues altogether. Yeah, so I'm, I'm giving prescriptive advice to men yeah. that that's not a woman that you even date Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you're saying well if you really like her da 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 like sorry you're disqualified peace out a town down okay but don't guys also treat women differently like there's women that like you sleep with like that are casual and then there's a girl that you take seriously you treat both of them differently he doesn't casual he doesn't do casual sex oh (laughs) I mean, you're saying, so, okay, guys will have two boxes, like the sex-only category and the relationship category? Yeah. Like, okay. they, like, I'm saying, like, in general, though, like, guys also do that, like, where it's, like, there's... Well, I'll give you an analogy, right? And I'm, it's not clear to me. I don't know if what you're saying is a perfect example, but, for example, here's an analogy, right? Um... I've got, I've actually got a bunch of these. I'm going to read them because I've got them written down. So, uh, here's the, here's the sort of opposite framing. These women, they were just for hookups. So of course I brought the, I, I bought them expensive stuff and I took them to the best dining places and I even paid their bills, but you're different from them. I see you as a potential girlfriend wife. So you have to wait for those benefits. So let's go to McDonald's. And you're paying, by the way. We'll go 50-50. But those casual hookups, no, no, no. I got them. I took them on vacations. I did X, Y, Z. I did all these nice things for them. I didn't, they weren't serious, though. But because you're my potential girlfriend, potential wife, we have to wait for those benefits. That's so unrealistic. How could you relate that to sex, though? It's totally because, related. Because, it's because, it's, because, an analogy. because the analogy is about value. So he's saying men, what the value that men place on sex, that's why we want it. What women value is the resources, the allocation of resources, us whining and dining you, showing you ways that you're special, how we're willing to invest in you. So if we withhold, if we say the casual hookups that we had, we did those things for those women, which is what women value. And then we took you who we want to be serious with and we withheld that from you. Then how would that, how would you feel about that? Okay, but I'm not talking about how much money you spend. I'm talking about your manners and how you treat me. Like, uh, versus, like, like let's say, like, we're casually, like, hooking up and there's a serious relationship. You treat both those people differently. So you don't value uh, resource out Lato the Kid 22 donated $100. Girls, would you date a guy who's been to war? Who's had a troubled past? I would bet the answer is no because of the society on vets with PTSD. It's the same thing with your sex life. Hmm. Okay, going around the table, would you date a guy who's been to war? I would. Okay. With PTSD? (laughs) Yeah. Unless he's physically abusive. I wouldn't. (laughs) I think we should absolutely judge people based on their past, and that's not a bad thing. I think when you're investing in someone and you're deciding to marry someone, you should know about them, and you have the right to decide whether their past is a deal breaker for you or not. Whether it's men who have war trauma or women who have sexual history. Absolutely. So would you date a guy who's been to war? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. I was going to say yes, and then after you said that, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because I wouldn't mm. be able to take on that extra trauma. You've been to war at the strip club. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. Um, but what? I have my own trauma, so I, I don't think I could take on someone else's trauma. Okay. 
Um, I don't think I would. Okay. Do you guys fuck with the war? What? What do you uh, mean? <laughs> like, do you, guys, what? do they respect veterans? Do you guys? Of course, fuck, I respect Do you guys fuck veterans. with the war? <laughs> what? Do you fuck with the war? I appreciate you going to war for this country. You can't have no pussy though. I absolutely so. appreciate anybody who fights for our country. I have two mm-hmm. brothers in the navy. Um, however, I wouldn't. I honestly, I wouldn't be with, yeah. Cause a lot of the time, you know, guys with PTSD have a lot of anger issues. Mm-hmm. And personally, I grew up with a very angry father, dad, I hope mm-hmm. you're not watching this, you're a much better man now. Mm-hmm. Um, but my dad was very, had a lot of anger issues and I just seen how that um, mm-hmm. really affected my upbringing and just everything. So I, I don't think I could deal with that, no. You want me to give you more analogies? I got some more analogies for you here. Yeah, okay. that one didn't hit. She don't have really resource allocation. Hit. Okay, uh, let's see here. So here's, <laughs> I'm going to give a bunch of analogies here. So, that was um, a perfect analogy. You got a guy with manners in there? Man. A guy with uh, manners in <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, so here's one. Uh, telling your date that all your exes got five-star meals, but she gets McDonald's because you have turned over a new leaf and decided that money has better uses than just trying to impress people. There's one. Um, let's see. Or how about this? Every woman, the man she's uh, going for, has dated in the past, got tons of effort, trips to Hawaii, Paris, Tokyo, personally selected gifts based on her likes, excellent communication on everything she needs to know about, etc. And now that she gets with him, he decides to be very tight with his money and effort. No trips further than the Target in their local city. Maybe like a $50 gift card, maybe. Um, and uh, he just keeps everything from her that might help her understand. <laughs> then when she asks, what's up with him doing so much less for her? He says, it's because I knew they were just momentary fun, but I think you might be the perfect partner, so you have to earn all the effort I normally just give out freely. <laughs> How about that? Does that help at all? I still disagree. Here, I got more, got I got more, <laughs> I got this, I got this. They're written down, okay. Thoughts on this scenario. You've been in a situation ship with a guy for six months. You really like him, you want him to commit to you, but he says he likes to take things slow. Somehow you find out that the last three girls he had committed relationship with, he initiated the commitment conversation after only three weeks of dating. How does that make you feel? Well, the other girl shouldn't concern me. Okay. Dang, she's holding. All right, here's another one. I got more. I can keep, I can go all night. <laughs> okay. Guy. She's going to die this. on that this. hill. A guy that says please and thank you to the women that he dated before, but he would... He withholds it from her. I, I got this. Yeah, okay. Needs some manners. I, I got he some more analogies. Manners. Okay. So, um, making a man wait while her 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 previous partner she slept with on the first or second date is like me going to McDonald's. Everyone in the restaurant paid $1 for a cheeseburger. There's three people in line ahead of me. They all pay $1 for a cheeseburger. Then I get to the front of the line, ask for a cheeseburger, and the clerk looks at me and says, it's $1,000 for you, sir. Then don't pay. Exactly. Let's see, I got more. (laughs) Or it's more like the McDonald's cashier stating you need a reservation. Okay, but think about it like (laughs) for Mickey D's? I'm not forcing them to be in relationships with me or like to wait for me. No, you're not. Here's some more. Okay, so when she... I think she, she understands oh, your... Wait, wait, hold on. And when she breaks up with you, divorces you, the next guy is not going to have to wait. She'll have her rebound within days. Hours. Ow, oh, okay, all right. Uh, Damn. Damn. Oh, also Savage. the McDonald's one with the $1,000 cheeseburger. That'll be 1000 for you because I like you the most. Those other customers <laughs> were just a mistake. Anything? No? Because you're going to give me some real quality. How about this? Oh, let me read. Uh, okay. Uh, Madison, can you read this? I'm sorry, but Puffy Vegas, calm the fuck uh, down. Your Instagram is fucking weird. I've listened to this podcast for quite a while, and Jesus Christ, God. I'm alone. No. And, I, and even I can see that. Damn, even the other TTS is coming after Puff, Puffimus Maximus. Yo, Puffy, we'll get it pulled up in just a sec, TTS brother. Um, oh, God, there's a, there's a war going on in the TTS. Okay, um, this whole argument, though, is only valuing sex. Like she's But it's about person. sex. That's what I'm saying. But it's about sex. Yeah, but you're like only saying, okay, 
that she's just worth this one thing. I didn't say that. He's going for a I didn't say that at all. Sex is like gold like to sex men. Is just, yeah, it's, it's, it's sex pain, is very it's how important. much we value it. But there's like time with her. There's a partnership. There's like this, that, like. Yeah. Okay. So it would make worth like waiting <laughs> because it's not the only thing he cares about. Okay, let me what? just ask you this. No. Do you agree that it's unfair to the guy? Do you agree that that's unfair? Because like to the first example, I mean, I he... I don't think it's really his business. I mean, he shouldn't be with me just for sex either way. Like, he shouldn't care about, like, the other guy, like, how I treated them. Like, he shouldn't even know how I treated them. But, like, if, let's say he... Oh, we got... Hold on, we got... Oh, uh, can you read this, Madison? Oh, true. Uh, do you fuck with the war? She like, huh? <laughs> what did you just say? Huh? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Like, just now? Yeah, do you fuck to the war no i don't fuck with the war i'm like no i don't fuck with the war that was beautiful truth bomb thank you that was like <laughs> shakespeare that was poetic what okay so let's take it maybe we take it another direction maybe we say okay the guy that you're seeing every relationship he's been he abused them oh okay. would you be with him Wait, what? Or would your pack? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, go, sorry, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, go I ahead. know. Come on, right? Because we're talking about past. So. Mm, that shit I got don't dark, know. though. That's, that's dark. Okay. okay, but still. I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm with you. Go okay, ahead. yeah, I'm you're hearing you. me, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, you I'm, understand. I'm, I'm following. I'm following. <laughs> okay, so he's following. <laughs> anyway, so every girl that he's been with, he's had issues. He gets angry. He hits them. Okay, maybe he doesn't hit them, but he grabs them, whatever. And he tells you that. Would you still pursue no. the relationship? No. Why? Abuse is different. That's not a thing of value. But the but the thing is, is it's action, right? And for you, you took action in sex, and abuse is also an action. So you're kind yes. of we're looking at the past as like what ha what are the things that you have done? I get like it's it is a value system. It's not a good value system to abuse a woman, but still, a guy will look at your past and you know, okay. he will decide if he wants to be with you based off that. I'm saying like in general, like I'm not forcing a guy to be with me. Like obviously, like these like things that like I have like these like little boundaries are my boundaries. And like if a guy like is actually like. I do believe like there's like that one person for you and if he's that one person for me then he would wait for it like he would you know be there for it and does your current boyfriend know about your past yes and mm -hmm. that doesn't affect him at all no well i mean that's, uh, i'm just curious i was just asking i mean see so there is a guy that i you yeah know. i was just curious if he if he had known and and how he felt about it well, we have very different perspectives um, because he's Turkish. Like, he's, he was actually raised there, mm -hmm. which is very different perspective than, like, if you, like, like you two, like, would have very different perspectives, like, even, like, as a guy. But um, in general, we just, like, don't really talk about it. Oh, Okay. No, um, we, we have talked about it, like, completely, like, once, and mm -hmm. it was just, like, he knew what I went through, so it, as he should, he was more there for me than worrying about if I gave, like, the guy before him, like, had sooner than him, you know? Okay. Okay, I get it. Yeah, but, I mean, essentially what Brian was just saying, he was just trying to get you to understand it from the value value system that's all because a lot of women they don't consider the male perspective They're like why do men well why would you only want to have sex with me and it's like no it's just a principle because in, in the mind of a lot of men the first thing we think about okay is what have you done with these guys that i have to wait for and then there's also well i don't want to be graphic but when we think about women having sex truth bomb donated 100 dollars. okay cool uh, so you're from minnesota only thing I know is that it's cold, break it down. How's it compare to living in LA? Well, I can't compare them, they're so different, you know what I'm saying? Huh? 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 Is somebody from Minnesota here? Oh, who? <laughs> oh. What song? Lil Dicky? Is that it? 
Don't show that, Nick. <clears throat> I have a question. For you you for see what I mean there? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you probably would have caught it, I think, oh, Nick. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, okay, wait. I have some more analogies. Uh, Great, right? Great. Actually, you know what? You no, Q. You were saying something. Yeah, right? I, was just, I was just talking about. Um, I was saying that the uh, psychological foundation of the male mind with us valuing sex. When you do that. What you're saying is essentially what Brian was saying. We're not as important because the thing that we value, you aren't willing to give it to us. We don't really care about what you've been through. We care about the fact that these other motherfuckers got it and I'm not getting it. That's what we value. And it doesn't mean we necessarily only want you for sex, but for men, sex is what creates and continues a bond. So hmm. withholding that is something that can obstruct the development of our relationship. I have a question for you, Q. Let's say you were, uh, you didn't really get a thorough background on a girl you were dating, and you're, you're, uh, you're engaged, or even let's say you're married, and you find out, let, no, let's say engaged, right? And you find out somehow, it never came up in conversation, you thought a certain way about the girl, but then she, somehow you find out that she'd previously <coughs> slept with a hundred men. Are you calling the engagement off? Yeah. Me too. Hmm. Yeah. Do you guys object off. to that? Do you well, think that's yes. wrong for us to call off the engagement because yes. she, it's wrong? It's personal preference. It should have been disclosed earlier. Well, I, I do it, agree with that. I do agree with that. But hey, some, some people, I, I would say uh, the conversations we have on this podcast where we're talking about body count, I, I hear from a lot of women, they say, oh, I've never had a guy ask me about my bo body count. It never comes up in conversation. So I assume a lot of these men are dating women. They frankly don't, don't know. know yeah they don't know and a lot of them it's like ignorance is bliss they don't want to know but if they found out so in that scenario would you object to the guy calling off the engagement breaking breaking off the the relationship he finds out she's previously slept with 100 people i don't understand why that would affect hmm. anything well we can get into that in a bit but you object to the guy breaking it off under those circumstances <laughs> I don't think it's wrong. Don't think it's wrong? I don't think it's wrong either. Be honest. I think, like, <laughs> I mean, if I was a girl and if I was in the exact same situation, I would kind of call it off, too. Oh, okay. What about you? I would call it off. I would call it off. Oh, you'd... Well, that's not really... So much... Well, okay, fine. That's Do fine. you that's object fine. to the man? <laughs> the man calling it off. Maybe you might call it off, but... Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Wait, how about a different question? Without asking what your body count actually is, if a guy found out what your body count was and you guys were engaged, mm. let's assume though you, you, know, you didn't spend anything on the wedding, right? So let's not make it that dramatic. He never asked you what your body count is, but somehow it comes up in conversation and he's like, whoa, I thought differently of you. Whatever your body count is, right? And he calls it off. Would you feel like that was an un unfair, unjustified breakup? With or is my current body count or with, mm -hmm. with can you say that again? Like, are you saying if, if okay, this you're dating guy, a guy you're dating a guy, whatever your current body yeah. count is, oh. you've been dating him for a year, you, you're engaged. Yeah. He finds out somehow, yeah. whether you tell him, he finds out from other people and he's like, whoa, that's a bit too high for me. I, I'm actually reconsidering this relationship. I think we should break up. Um, Fair, unfair. I, it depends on how Hi, the body count is. Whatever yours is. Oh, yeah, no. I would say <laughs> then have fun finding someone, like, with lower. It's, you know what I mean? It's, there's not that many girls with lower, so. No, there's a lot. But, you know what? I'm not that high, so I wouldn't say, I would say that he's probably going to have to find a virgin. Okay. <clears throat> I disagree. Okay. So, I would respect that person even more, I think. Oh, okay. I mean... He dumps you because of your current body count. I'd be like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. That's it? Okay, cool. <laughs> Just oh. Um, <clears throat> Later. I think I would, I would respect him, too. Okay, okay. I would just be like, okay, that's your problem. Um, 
I would not object to it, but honestly, he seriously should have passed away before the engagement. <laughs> I think that's honestly his that's fault fair. for not doing that's due fair. diligence to begin with, but hmm. I would not object to it. Yeah. Hmm. I think that is fair. Like if it is a if it is a deal break like a huge deal breaker for you, then maybe you should ask sooner rather than later. All of but the how deal many breaker people, stuff like, should be asked earlier. How many, like, y'all have been in relationships, right? Mm -hmm. Of all the relationships you've been in, how often is it, is that a conversation? Never. Like, do you disclose, like, you talk about, yeah, I fucked 10 other dudes. You I'd, know? Say, I'd say most of them, but um, okay. I've only been, like, ridiculed for having a sugar daddy, but never uh -huh. for how many people I've been with. Okay, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro, for the prompt. You're welcome. There we go. We wait on you. I don't think I, I've never. I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten judged for my body count. I don't think. Or at least not. To you, the current guy. Yeah, like at least not to my face. Yeah. The current guy that you're seeing. Have he you? Didn't he, judge does it. he know? He he knows. A little closer to the mic if you can. He, he knows. knows. He's he's cool with it. Yeah. And he moved from Turkey to the U.S. to be with you? Yeah. yeah obviously, he could. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. Sips what water. was the exact question? I forgot. <laughs> what was it? What, what, did, what did he ask you? Yeah, what was it? What was, was what? It? Oh, if a guy, if a guy found out what? your body count, would he call it off? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Was, uh, Have that, you been asked um, about In your relationship, oh, yeah, have yeah. you ever been asked oh. your body count? Yeah, yeah, I ask all the really personal questions. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> agree with what? With what she said, and yeah. What did she say? <laughs> I don't think you know what the question is, my dear. Maybe I don't. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> Has a guy ever asked your body count? Yes. Okay. I haven't been asked that. Yeah. Um, yeah, like my ex, yeah. Okay. I've never been asked, but I okay. disclose it anyway. Yeah, it doesn't really come up. Um, I have a photo that we're gonna pull up that is kind of related to this. The whole waiting. Can you put us, just maybe hell? get rid of us. No. Oh, oh. So oh my gosh. No. this is, see the guy in the suit and the flowers? It's the Turkish guy. No. <laughs> no, no, but like, oh, that's kind of <laughs> what I'm trying to say. That's how it feels. Oh, I'm, I come along and I'm supposed to be the, the guy with the flowers and we're going to wait till we're married. You know what I mean? Okay, but you're, you're judging me for sleeping with other like men technically, but most guys are sleeping with other like girls as well. And as a woman, you are you are more than welcome to judge men for their promiscuity, but it happens to be the case that I think women are not quite as invested in male promiscuity as the reverse. You're welcome to disqualify the men you date because of their body counts. Realistically, though, t women typically don't, so... I think it's just because we're not... Not what? You're not insecure. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we can I go into that. We our can go standards into that. are different. Like we might not, you know, judge a man for his body count, but we might judge him for if he has like a porn addiction or mm -hmm. if he's liking other women's pictures on Instagram. That's fair. Like yeah. that's fair. I don't like that. Wait. So going back to you though. So you you said insecure. Do you, so you think it, is it insecure for a guy to care about a woman's body count? I think like that like. That's like what I would assume, because like if you're caring about like my past, like mm -hmm. like who's done what with me in the like in the past, then I don't know. Like I I would just assume they're insecure about what. Like just like like the other guys. Let, okay. Because like I, let I I hear this a lot, and it's you're not necessarily wrong. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna add a twist to it. So what? What's wrong with a man being insecure about his woman having slept with a whole bunch of men? Mm -hmm. Now that's what I really want to know the answer to because I I get tired of women saying he's insecure, he's insecure. <laughs> okay, let's say you're right. So what? Now what? Yes, I'm insecure. I don't like the fact that you slept with a whole bunch of men. I don't like the fact that you were a sperm depository, <laughs> a, 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 a cum a cum dumpster. I don't like that. 
So okay. let's so let's say that. So then what? Now what? Now that I've admitted that I'm insecure and that it bothers me because I'm worried about your fidelity, mm -hmm. your loyalty to me. I'm worried about if you're going to fall back into your ways, your habits, that when you were sleeping around with these men, that is going to reveal itself in our relationship. I'm worried about if you're going to cheat. I'm worried about all of these things. Because are I these, slept with other men. Yeah, are these valid concerns? That I'm going to cheat. But did you not yes. sleep with other women? We ain't talking about me sleeping with other women. We talking about but you addressing me being insecure. That also means that you would cheat. Hmm? <laughs> I'm just showing him notes. I, I have notes from a video he did a while ago. I did, I did a video. Yeah, you did a video. In, like insecure on all these fronts. In, insecure for this. Insecure for this. Remember? Them? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that video? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wookie donated $100. Oh, they're coming Brian, for you, Puffy. Please I'm never sorry. have Puffy Vegas on. It will be worse than the meth head from the last podcast. I can't my IQ getting any lower. I said what I said. I think Puffy just wants some Thank love. Thank you, Wookie. Appreciate it. So did you want me to... Oh, if you wanted to, like... I have the list pulled up oh, for you. Okay. If you wanted okay, to look yeah, at it. Okay, because I was on a whim. Yeah. But, um... Okay, so I read from the list. Yeah, read from so, the list. All right, I'll turn, turn this. So, so I had said initially in response to a woman I went viral for this several times. She said, why does body count matter? I said, I'd be concerned about the long-term benefits of dealing with promiscuous women. I'd be concerned about your yeah, oxytocin receptors densified to the point where you can't effectively pair bond, poor sexual discipline, and you don't receive orga you didn't receive orgasms from the guys that you dealt with which means you constantly chase validation because you want to orgasm so you constantly have sex with more guys trying to chase an orgasm that's the thing that happens um a hidden sti increased risk of divorce all of those things are correlated to women having higher body counts not to mention the scientifically rooted perspective of we are repulsed by women with higher body counts because of a phenomenon known as paternity uncertainty, which means a promiscuous woman is more likely to cuck you, to have a baby by another man, and you don't know about it. So, what's the difference with the man? Wait. Like when a man what? does that. Oh, she wants to know what's the science behind um, uh -huh. men who have a high body count? How does that affect marriages and relationships with future women? I don't think Would men, but also? I don't think men call women who don't want to date promiscuous yeah. men insecure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Men don't Sorry. really. Yeah, it's about care, the, it's I about think. the way we get labeled, but we don't do that to women. We don't. Yeah, so we're that's not the difference. Label yeah, women. we don't say like, oh, you're insecure because you don't want to date me because I slept with a lot of women. I'm not gonna say that. We'd probably just like, okay, <laughs> right. That's your call. That's, that's, that's fine. the point. That's that's where these conversations. See, anytime women try to apply the same thing to men, the difference is what women say about men is not the same thing that men say about women. When the tables are turned, we accept when a woman don't want to date us for whatever mm -hmm. reason. But women will shame us, oh, call yeah. us names, mm -hmm. say things about us. Oh, you're insecure. Or it's because you have small dick energy. Yada yada yada. And that's what we want to know. Like. Mm -hmm. Valid. What what y'all call insecure, I call having a boundary. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Period. Did you say period? You want more? You got more for us? What you got? <laughs> what you got? No, I actually agree with that. Okay. Okay. Everybody huh. has boundaries. I mean, yeah. I had I actually had I got some more analogies, by the way, if that would be. Helpful. No more. You know no what? I'm, I, I'll really tell don't. you what, though. I am insecure about catching herpes. How about that? You're right. I, I, I am insecure. I will say health-wise, like, I would be scared. Okay. Well, someone who's had more sexual partners is more likely to have an STD, mm -hmm. whether known or unknown. Mm -hmm. Well, you should get checked after. <laughs> yeah, but somebody who's like, let me ask you a question, right? So you said it was like, was it a six-month period, a one-year period where you had the, was it 30 so sexual encounters? Were you getting tested between each of those? Every single time. Stop the cat, bro. No, I, I actually went. Um, I was because I went to UCR. Um, Puffy underscore Vegas donated $100. Oh, look at I've that. I've known thousands and thousands of women. Oh. I've never met one that was faithful ever. Wow, every, wow. every minute woman I met has <laughs> tried known. to have sex with me. Right, have the one rate dot PS nine inches. Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I don't even know what button to press for that one. Uh, 
Word. Thank you, Puffy Vegas. Appreciate it. We'll get to, we're going to pull it up in just a oh. sec. Wait, so you're saying you'd have sex with a guy and then you'd, you would not have sex with another guy until you were tested. Yes. I'm going to call the cap on that one. No, I'm but, no, I, I'm genuinely scared for that. I don't, I don't, because it was my ex. I don't know how to explain it, but he scared me, so I'm actually scared. All right, okay. Well, I have some more analogies here. I'm going to give, okay, how about this, okay? Uh, let's say we're dating, and I tell you I'm not the romantic type. I don't buy flowers. I don't do much of anything that would be considered romantic. That's something that I think should wait until we're engaged or married. Meanwhile, you are treating me much better than the women I dated in the past ever did. And one day, somehow, you discover that the women I dated before you got flowers, cards, expensive dinners. And they were women that I've told you were significantly of lesser value than you. And I cared far less about them. They were just kind of, you know, these casual flings, and they didn't really matter to me. How about that one? Anything? Does anything? You can communicate. I don't think you're gonna win her over. I really don't. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it better, but. So none I'm, of those I'm scenarios. I'm still gonna disagree. None of those scenarios say, okay, yeah, I understand. None of those. No. Oh my God. Okay, how about this? It's like going to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> you're waiting in line. Everyone is paying $1 for a fancy T-bone steak. And then when it's finally your turn, you're infirm, informed that all they have left is a McDonald's burger that will cost you $1,000. You're then told not to get angry. <laughs> you should be lucky that you're paying for everyone else. That was a terror. I'm sorry. That was not a good one. Um, okay. Um, I don't know how to... Never mind. How about this? It, it, it's kind of like... I mean, I would certainly give women uh, a woman credit if she was upfront about it. But when what ends up happening is women will sort of like LARP and pretend like, oh, I, these were always my standards, and I've always treated men, you know, I've always made men wait. Lo and behold, though, like that was never truly. You're basically lying, which is an issue in and of itself. That was never your standard in the past. So it's kind of this fraud because the whole point of a woman having a waiting period before she has sex is supposed to be due to her not being someone that gives sex away so easily. So having a man wait implies that I'm not easy to get into bed. Okay, but it's kind of thanks to men that we think that way, isn't it? Think what way? Like the fact that... Anyways, does anyone else want to talk? <laughs> She's gonna die on that hill. So I mean, yeah. let's just. I say we just cap it. <laughs> no, I'll read one more. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I. I think I tapped out. I felt out. like mine about what's a good analogy, but nobody agreed. I got maybe one more. Your boyfriend of five years has yet to propose to you. He tells you he wants to take things slow and he isn't ready yet. You find out that he proposed to his previous two ex-girlfriends after just nine months of dating. Anything? Bueller? Anything? If I'm waiting for a proposal and he hasn't given it to me in two years, then I probably wouldn't have stayed in that relation for two years. That doesn't make sense, though, because how would you know what the future looks like? Because, like, like let's say it's been a year. Mm -hmm. Then you would break it off because, like, it's been a year and you still haven't proposed. Here, would I'll you give an ultimatum? No. You don't believe you can't in really ultimatums. Change a person. I think ultimatums are powerful. If you actually mean it, though, not if you're just using it manipulatively. Yeah, but most people use it manipulatively. <laughs> okay. Here, yeah, well, but we, if you if you stand on that, it can work. Sorry. We we've lingered on this one for too long. So hold on, let me just last thing here. So basically, look, it's this: <laughs> women are going to. It's like I'm. A woman's position is, I'm going to make you wait an arbitrary amount of time because I want to give you the impression that I'm not quick to give out sex, but in actuality I am, just not for you. That's how, that's how we're going to view it as a guy. Um, 
Moving on, let's do Twitch. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow, drop us a prime sub if you have one. If you also can go subscribe to our Clips channel on YouTube. We're trying to get to 1 million subscribers. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. And what's up? Oh, we got, yes, we have to do, we were, wait, we were originally going around, oh, really quick, this is the last thing on this. We got stuck on you, we were going around the table, so have you ever had sex with a guy kind of early on, and then you met a future guy, maybe you saw long-term potential, and you made him wait? Sounds like it might have been the case for you. Like, I've only had sex in relationships, so I don't, if there was Always. a guy and then there was another guy, that didn't okay. happen. Okay, what about you? No. What's the, wait, so okay, what's the mm. shortest period of time you've waited before hooking up with somebody? Hooking up or having sex? Oh, I thought those two were pretty <laughs> much, yeah, having sex, yeah. Um, I'd say like maybe three weeks. That's the shortest? Yeah. I'm not like a one night stand. I'm a relationship girl. <laughs> you really commit to the whole thing. Hmm. All right, with the eyes. Three weeks? Okay. All right. Um, I made a guy wait, sorry. I made a guy wait um, three months before I had sex with him. Um, Have you ever hooked up with a guy very before quick. that quick? Yeah, okay. so um, after my um, relationship ended, I hooked up with um, a guy, um, a guy very quickly, because I was kind of going through like my heartbreak. Um, and I didn't know how to like manage okay. it at the time. So yeah, I hooked up and then that kind of like turned into like a very long situationship. Um, but yeah. So yeah. The shortest amount of time, a few hours. Okay, there you have it. Wait, did we, okay, let me see. Oh, I have to wait till she's back before I pull this one up. Uh, let's see what else we have. Wait, where were we? Oh, the puffy, puffy rating. Well, I gotta wait for the girls to come back. Before. <coughs> Nick, just do a double check because there's definitely TOS shit on Puffy's Instagram. I'm pretty sure there's like an ass somewhere. I think I saw it last time. <laughs> do you see what I'm talking about? I'm down to that, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, <coughs> There's a J Jordan Peterson, actually, there was a previous chat that came in. Nick, also, I want you to go into the Dropbox podcast videos folder. Let me know when you're there. This was kind of related. Uh, so it's, and then the men folder, and it's called After Dark, Men Are Necessary. You can load that one up. Load it up. Layered it up. And the, oh, there's also, wait, oh, there's two. We're going to do two. Okay. There's that one, and then there's one that's in the browser. Oh, fuck. It was one of the the ship videos. Wait, is it in Matt? What's that? Is it also in Matt? I think it's, no, no, no. This is not in the Dropbox folder. It's going to be at the top of the browser. Okay. In the videos folder. Okay. It's, uh, I don't know if I labeled it. Can you can you yeah, tell me what it, it? It's the should be the last one or the second like the second one. Oh, the second one. Yeah, I think it's a YouTube short. I think. Or wait, maybe it's IG video. Just pull pull it up. Let me see what you have. Okay. <coughs> this one. Uh, show me the other one. Let me show me the other one. I think it's this one. Fuck. Okay. Fuck it. What? Wait. F eleven. F eleven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just play it. That's fine. There's. Wait. Is there no audio on this? 
Is this wait? I guess there's no video. Actually, it might be the other video I wanted to wait. Let me see if. Damn. Look at it. Okay, there's ships. This is so out of context. I'm sorry, guys. This makes no <laughs> fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> do you guys think women should be paid equally to men? <laughs> what do you guys think? Men are doing these jobs, so yeah. no. Like, do you think I? I actually think we should like you know, like equal board seats for women. There should be equal like deaths at sea for women too. Don't you guys think? Like equal drowning deaths at sea like workplace deaths. Do you guys think we should equalize that? <laughs> like equality, right? Like I'm a, I'm a feminist here. I think an equal amount of women should die at sea working. That's you so guys, funny. are you guys also not, are you guys like, do you hate women? Are you guys not feminists like I am? Cause I'm a feminist. I think women should also die at sea. Cause I'm a feminist. I mean, I would God, say tough, that tough women are right? less yeah, being women for sure. those jobs because we don't have the same strength. Are you guys just have. you hate women? Is that what it is here? Do you, are you guys like misandrist, like those evil red pill guys? Like, are you what? just you guys are just misogynists, aren't you? Because you don't want, like, I can't believe none of you are standing up and like demanding an equal amount of women die at sea while working. I'm not a feminist. I, I agree either. with you. I'm like, conservative. This is really say. upsetting to me as a feminist here who believes women should also die at sea while working. Uh, <coughs> the fuck? <laughs> Wait, can you put, pull up the other one? Yeah. Not, not the Dropbox one, but the other one. I think that was the one I was interested in. The audio is muted, by the way. Yeah, I just did that. Yeah, go ahead, play it. All right, the most treacherous sea in the world. Okay, all right. Oh, I feel like I didn't save it. Wait, is this it? No, there's another one. I thought, is there another one in the folder, Nick? No, I pulled up all the ones in that folder. Huh. Do you guys believe in equal pay between men and women? I believe in meritocracy. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Because, like, I, you know, I, I think I'm a, I'm a feminist. I think we should also be, like, you know, having, you know, women on, you know, boats and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You're just saying that because you're tired of women saying that they're feminists. And no, I, I'm, like, a feminist. I would really like to see, like, more women, like, you know, representation. I believe in equal representation, like... There should be equal debt, like drownings for women. Like I'm a feminist, guys. An equal amount of women should also drown like in, you know, their course of their line of work. Press the crickets. The No, honestly, the, uh, men do far more dangerous jobs and therefore you know that's why they're getting paid what they do because they're honestly doing the things that women wouldn't want to do and get their hands dirty all right let's play that video uh if you can play that video Nick. yeah the jp one last one. Oh, i love jordan peterson we're gonna need audio for this i think oh the one comparing the wage gap no you you can leave the audio go ahead struggling with their manhood and that you uh, give them this message that it's okay to be a man. It's not okay. It's necessary. What the hell are we going to do without men? Can you make a smaller neck? Right small? Can you make a smaller neck? Nick, make a smaller. No, 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 no. Just make a smaller. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, we. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Oh. All right. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, good times. That was so hot. That was. <laughs> I don't know if that was. No, the one honestly, I, was I love for, masculine men. I, but that was like I got goosebumps. Boom! It was beautiful. That was yeah. hot. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right, th uh, that was the, uh, those of you who are just tuning in. Uh, somebody <coughs> requested one of the red pill, red pill. I don't even consider that a red pill, but uh, you know about men being important and necessary. Um, actually, well, do we go around the table on that? Do we need men? Yes. 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 Oh. Girl, I just laughed because you looked at me. What? Yes. Into the mics if you can. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's good. Okay, we have CJ here. Misra. Is that how you say your name? Mm -hmm. Can you read or this one? Misra. Misra. Can you read this one for us? I'd rather not. Why, why not? <laughs> um, uh oh. I'd rather not. <laughs> Do you want me to read okay, it? I'll have you read it, Maddie. Misra said in the intro that she did OnlyFans and is in between right now. Her pay chatter logged in a few minutes ago. She's a liar oh. and is defrauding her simps. I don't believe her addiction claims. Get the rocks, Brian. Get the rocks. Get the rocks. Yeah. Abdul? Yeah. Get the rocks. Audio Get the there. rocks. I'm actually quitting OF. And those are... Because you came on the Whatever podcast. <laughs> I want to claim that the Whatever podcast is claiming that victory. We I we got... Do, do you know Nala? No way. The Ahigao yeah. queen with the red hair? Yes. She quit? She she stopped doing OF because of the Whatever podcast. What? Because she not sure came if that's on? Wait, Brian. Probably. I think we directed her. She She got baptized. What? Yeah, she found Christ, I guess, again. Praise God. There's a video of, wait, Nick, can you find yeah. Nala's Instagram? She got baptized shortly after her second appearance on the Whatever podcast, and I was her spiritual guide to getting there. So that's a big fucking W for the Whatever podcast, and we'd love to add you to also, to maybe both of you. Are you going to stop? Now that you've come back on the Whatever podcast, are, can, you, can you just look deep into this camera and be like, hi. Hi. <laughs> My experience on the whatever cat whatever podcast was so enlightening. My that experience on the whatever podcast is so enlightening, and I'm now considering becoming more of a whore online. Oh, bail! That's a fucking fifty DKP minus. What the fuck was that shit? Okay, nice. Um, so you're quitting your OnlyFans because you came on the whatever podcast? Sure. Sweet. Add it to the resume, boys. We got Wait, it. How many we got is it. that? Huh? Two? I think three. We've had three. That's Hato the Kid 22 donated $100. Feminism, the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. Girls, how does that make you feel? Advocacy of women's rights on the basis of what? How does that make you feel? His definition of feminism. One eternity later. <laughs> we should be basing it on more than just gender. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Misra, he says something about, do you have a chatter? Um, I believe no. What do you mean you believe no? Wouldn't that be like a definitive? <laughs> no, like I, I've quit, like I've told my agency, so no one should be on okay. my account right now. Should. Okay. All right. Thank you, CJ. There you go. Okay. Uh, Junior Soprano. Oh, he wrote that. Okay. We have Stifler ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten, starting with you. Go ahead. I give my looks an eight. Okay. My personality a ten. Thank you. Thank you for that addition. Much appreciated. Welcome. It's great. Wait, am I answering? How's about that? <laughs> Are you what? What was the question? <laughs> Oh, what was the question? Well, my dear, if I can direct your attention to the screen right there, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of 1 to 10. 
So like me, my own? Yeah, your own looks, yeah. Probably like five and a five. Five and a five, so ten? Like no, like are five for looks and five for personality. Math here or what do we, we five for looks, five for personality? Okay. All right. I would say eight or nine. Eight eight or nine, okay. I would say eight. All right. I would say seven and a half, eight. Okay. I would say like a seven. All right. My husband says I'm a nine. I agree. Nine. <laughs> All right, Q, what about you? Uh, I'm gonna go with a six. All right, I'll give myself a five. All right. Uh, ask your friend, who said that? <laughs> no, it's not a six. <laughs> You're like seven point five. Oh, Thank there you. you go, Q. Here, wait, what if we change it like this? Stiffmeister, no, okay. <laughs> what do you think other people would rate your looks on average one to 10? So the first question is, what do you rate your own looks? And this question, is what he's finally, have. after 140 episodes, mm -hmm. he's finally decided to add a slightly clarifying <laughs> question here. That's not just a uh, self-assessment. Well, I guess it still is. But. I feel like that's such a hard question to answer because so mm -hmm. many people like prefer different things. Some people don't like girls that are taller than them. I'm taller than a lot of guys, so... Let's say a cross-section of 100,000 men. On average? Average. Fuck. Seven. Girl, you're beautiful. I actually think, I'll, I, I will tell you, I think you rated yourself lower than you actually are. 100%. Thank you. Maybe you're um, fishing for a compliment, though. I don't know. <laughs> I would say probably six. Oh, wait, so your own self-assessment is five, but you think people on the outside would view you as a six? Yeah. Because you said five, and then, but other people will see you as a six. Okay. I think probably eight. Okay. I would say, like, a seven or eight. I would say, you, like, at work or just, like, in general? In general. Um, like, an eight, nine. Okay. I would say, like, a, pro like a six or a seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. Hmm. Okay. All right. No tens at the table. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to linger on that one for too long. Let's see. What do we have here? Okay. Let's get into some of our pre-show notes finally. So let's see. Maddie. Okay. We talked about, you know, your whole gym thing. Um, you Did said it? that... Simka donated $100. Listen, Brian, first time donation. Felt like you've been mailing it in lately. This might be your definitive performance. Very entertaining. Keep doing the Lord's work. Wait, what does mailing it in mean? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Sounds positive. I think it's a good what thing. What does it mean to mail something in? Bring it home? I don't know. I think like it means to bring mailing it? it in. Nailing it in? Oh. No, I think mailing it in. What does mailing it in mean? I, I know what nailing it in can means. I, email I don't know it? what mailing it in Like, can I email it? You're putting it in the right place. What if it's just like a text message? That sounds more like so mail. So if text, like, is mailing something, like, to mail something that's, it's like, that you're putting in the effort, mm, like you're I, doing a good job? Yeah. Like, you nailed it. I would say nail. I would say no, I think, he meant, I think he means mail. <laughs> Let us know. I'm pretty sure he means mail. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to need clarification. Do I've you never agree? heard that term before. Brian, do you agree with our ratings? Ooh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I only wrote down, I started here because I heard a nine, so I wrote that down. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm just taking another gander. <laughs> you <laughs> shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> hold on. Can, I have some, like, makeup wipes here. Can you guys, like, maybe... Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I would do it. Maybe remove, me. remove your makeup and then, because oh, like makeup can definitely add like at least one point. I'm know? down. I'll remove maybe half my even face two. for you. You're not even wearing that much makeup. No, yeah. you're not. Yeah, you're no. not. Or maybe you are. <laughs> and it's just like that, you know, kind of natural <laughs> makeup. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice. Uh, I think you guys were pretty. Uh, there's definitely. Overinflated ratings. I'll say that much. 
Okay. <laughs> Can you be more specific? <clears throat> what do you mean? She wants be me. more specific. <laughs> okay. Fine. You want me to just come out and say it? Not no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's I'll say it. Them. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Let's ask them if they want you to answer that too because I don't know. I'm oh. just saying something. Oh, you. Okay. Who's fine with me being honest? You can be you already, honest. You already answered. I already so. pointed towards you. <laughs> I was already pointing towards you. Well, I was going to say not a you nine. Said not, a <laughs> not a nine. You said eight, right? <laughs> Damn. Hey, you're an attractive girl. You're attractive. Uh, <laughs> Eight. I'll give you a seven. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're an eight. Oh wait, I said seven. And you said eight. yeah. You said eight. Not an eight. No. Seven. Not an eight. Rude. I think she is. Well then, what am I? Seven and six, six or seven. Oh. You you said nine. Sorry, not nine. Rude. What would you call me? Uh, oh, you want me to see? Cause I, oh, huh? Just go around at this point and tell us all. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Let me get. Let me look into the camera over here. Let's see. What? This is awkward. Uh, uh, six or seven, <gasps> seven maybe, six. I'd have to see you without makeup. Maybe seven with makeup, six without. Maybe I don't know what you look like without makeup. I so. think I look better without makeup. Same. I if, honestly, what? ninety nine percent of the time I you don't wear makeup. You look better without makeup. Yeah, so I own a gym. You, you're I don't telling wear me makeup. You spend money on makeup, and you <laughs> spend <laughs> hours actually, putting it on to look worse. Actually, actually, I haven't Make bought makeup in years. <laughs> you haven't done makeup in years. I haven't bought makeup in years. I wear makeup. Oh, you've got that expired shit. She's got that expired shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Once in a great while, I'll okay, buy I don't a care new foundation. You it. But like all my eyeshadow palettes, yeah, they're okay, old. Okay, whatever. You bought it. All my a brushes, okay. yeah, they're old. I just okay. wash them. It's maintenance. That wasn't really the central argument that I was trying to make. But how do you? I wear makeup less than ten times in a year. I'm so proud of you, babe. And um, I literally <laughs> wore it today for you. Well, thank for this you. podcast. Oh, then, thank well, for this podcast, not for you, but well, for this podcast. Cool. I get it. You're in front of a camera. You want to look nice. I don't object to women coming on the show wearing makeup. You can makeup. go to my Instagram. There's pictures of me without makeup. That's, that's Do you great. not like women wearing makeup? That uh, was the other thing I disagreed with Brian on. Okay, we can. Oh, let's talk about that. In my pre -show So, notes. in terms of women that I'm dating, yeah, I prefer. Just in min, general. I prefer minimal or no makeup. Well, okay, I, I, we can have a conversation about like general makeup usage. Um, but. Uh, I, I do want to linger a little bit on, you said that you look better without makeup. Who else said that? You too? I don't even wear makeup at work. Okay, so explain yeah. to me why you would spend time putting something on you and per perhaps spending money on it if it made you look worse. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Honestly, I kind of regret wearing makeup tonight. I don't really like wearing makeup. Wait, honest. make it make sense yeah. to me though. What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I well, mean, I'm but, on camera. Oh, so. you're saying, but... The camera will wash your face out. Right. And those, like, you know, I have, like, little dark circles, like, around my oh. eyes. My husband says it looks like I'm wearing all-day eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. He's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, and my oh, cheeks okay. are naturally rosy. So, honestly, I, I'm just wearing the makeup to enhance. I'm not wearing it to change my appearance in any way. Like, I can say, why do you wear hair gel? Your hair's not that... I don't. I put, I put a little maple syrup in it to, you know, I like, I put a little maple syrup in it. It's not hair gel. Get it right. Mm -hmm. God. Whatever. So you're using something. Actually, I just use water. This is just water. No, it's not. not. I swear to God. No, it's no. not. There's no way water's making it stick No, like I swear that. to God. Yeah, <laughs> no. I don't know if you know Santa Barbara water. That shit's What kind rough. of water are you using? I use a little tap water. I go like this and I... I don't know. Maybe your hair's oily, so that's why. That's probably why, actually. <laughs> Refrigerated, Maddie. Rude. Wait, can you get me room temp? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I want room temp, babe. Oh, do, oh my God. I'm kidding. <laughs> sorry, I'm being. I'm sassy. I'm sorry. I'm. I, it's like a sassy thing. Whoa. <laughs> I'm. I'm in. I'm. I'm in my sassy man era. Okay. But what is it enhancing? 
I called her babe. She's married. <laughs> what is wrong? I'm gonna get beat up. I'm I'm just being <laughs> sassy. I'm not I'm not saying it. Great. I'm being sassy. I'm not. Hilly donated one hundred dollars. Bring out the wet wipes and see if they're legit or not. She said she would do it. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, my hair. Wait, the I'm wet confused. wipes. What, how, how did my hair come into this? Yeah, you know, listen, she I... She was comparing it. She was making a comparison. I don't believe in showering, okay? Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got a problem with that? I don't know. The what? La- la- what? <laughs> What's wrong? What? <laughs> Hygienically, yeah. You don't shower? I have an issue. Listen. You're not showering. Listen, I live in the woods. It's a luxury for me to shower. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. Do you rinse? I shower. I shower. Huh? I Listen, don't know. I swim almost every day. I have a little chlorine stiffness in my hair. Oh. You know? So it's the chlorine water that keeps it nice and spruce. But but see, you're sprucing. We're sprucing. Wait. So okay, what's the argument? We still like the it. argument. The the argument is that we wear makeup to enhance our beauty. But you but you said you look her. better and the without hair gel it. Would be the so. Same thing. So the That's argument makeup. is hair gel is... I am wearing makeup for the camera. Exactly. Oh. Uh, well, I, I, put, I put in a little maple... No, never mind. No. Wait, so what's the argument? I'm just confused. That you enhancing your hair with product is the same as enhancing I actually our don't. I'm being honest. I, there's zero product in my hair. That's like a rule of thumb with it's production. Like zero product you wear something. In Even guys wear makeup on production. There's zero, there's zero product in my hair right now. I literally put water in it. Okay, but have you put product in your hair before? I haven't put product in my hair since elementary school. I used to put a gel in it. But it's, I, no, I swear to God, I've not put any gel. Gel is disgusting too. And then like you sweat and then it's like, ugh. I don't put any product in my hair. Do you do anything to enhance your appearance? Any, I don't understand anything. Do you, that do, you do anything do you, that doesn't come naturally? Like you didn't wake up like this you did something to enhance your appearance i mean i i styled my hair for like two minutes before the show why'd you style your hair huh why'd you style your hair are you are you comparing like yes <laughs> yes, yes it's not it's so i mean look i'll to... i'll engage with it, i'm but reaching it's not, a little bit it's but not anywhere most guys com- wear gel. let me ask you a question do you think that a woman who wears a little bit of eyeliner is comparable to a woman who has lipo, fake tits, and a BBL. Do you think? Do you think that's like an equivalent sort of enha- enhancement of your physical appearance? Like, is that a fair equivalency? Makeup yeah. versus surgery. Right. Yeah. So I'm saying no? that the jump you're making is somewhat similar from styling your hair a little bit to putting on a facade. I don't. I think your comparison is like way bigger than what I'm saying. But it is a. It, you do a, at least acknowledge that you're making a leap. Pra, perhaps you. Don't I'm making a leap as, for you because apparently you don't wear hair gel. I don't. But a lot of guys do mm-hmm. wear hair gel or style their hair in some sort of way or sure. like, you know. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Do you think men who style their hair, even if they do use hair gel, is as much of a deception or a fraud or a facade or a veneer as is wearing a full face of makeup? No. Do you think that it changes the appearance to the same degree that a full face of makeup will? Or even some makeup will? I don't know how Crusty uses his hair in the morning. (laughs) You know what I mean? Could be a little crusty. But so your argument hinges on the degree. The the difference is though is women are also capable of uh, styling their hair too. Wet men typically don't wear makeup. But that's Hopefully. why. But we're different, right? And I'm like, men and women are different. I would be questioning if a man wore makeup. What were you going to say? Sorry, I'm like I literally have um, videos all over YouTube without any makeup on. Yeah, me too. Literally. Okay. Wait, so what's your objection? I don't understand what you're No, calling. not you. Oh. Her. You no, it's about it's about makeup, right? So what's what's the oh, argument? Oh, I'm saying like makeup goes back all the way, like okay. centuries back, right? It's yeah. like always been 
it's mm-hmm. always been our thing. It's not like it's not a normal thing for a guy to just like wake up and like throw on a full face. It's mm. not even normal for me to do that. Like I said, I yeah, don't I agree even with really you. Wear... Men shouldn't wear makeup. Yes. Okay. But women, we can. There's nothing you, wrong you, with that. You can, well. Uh, here is where. Wait. Oh, there's a meme, Nick. There's a meme where it's like. Oh, I don't know if you're, how you're gonna find it. It's like one person standing facing like a a crowd of. It's a cartoon. Uh, facing a crowd of people and it's and it's just one person and there's a little speech bubble and it says yes I disagree with you I'm trying to find it maybe I can find it wait cartoon yes I disagree with you I don't know if I, that's prompt is gonna find it oh, man. wait frick hold on see if you can find it but wait sorry I'm kind of Length on my son. Oh shit, this is not gonna wait, sorry, okay, I'll try to engage in the conversation while I'm trying to find this. So what 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 is it? What's your no, what's your disagreement? Um I don't remember what I said. Oh yeah. Um that makeup. women it's normal for us to wear makeup. It's not normal for guys to wake up and wear makeup. Um, so I'm saying okay. it's it's a normal thing. I if you see a woman with makeup, are you gonna be shocked? Are you gonna be surprised? Are you gonna be like, oh my god, you're lying about how you look, right? And obviously, you can also tell if you look at a woman: is she caked, uh-huh. or is she just wearing something that's natural and just flattering? There's also a difference there mm-hmm. of how she's applying it. How much is she applying? Is she really trying to, you know? hide something she have like acne or something that she's insecure about Mm -hmm. i can't find oh actually wait yes you are all wrong okay hold on nick i'm gonna send it to you one sec give me just one sec i'll address i'll address puffy underscore vegas donated 100 dollars please have the girls oh shit we still have to do that okay we'll do that (laughs) we'll we'll do that in a sec puffy i'll engage can you pull that up okay just pull up the image so this is my view this is my thing on makeup, right? Hmm? Make us. Okay, so that's the horde of people who are pro makeup, and then that's me over there. Wait, okay, that that's not like ignore the speech bubble. I don't know. Is that the original one? I think there's different varieties, Nick. You might have pulled up the wrong one yeah it's here scroll down scroll down nick it's like here i'll find it i'll i'll find it hold on yeah but i'm just gonna send it to you fuck oh my god just pull down can you just show us the page and i'll just it's the me one yeah also, my husband does prefer me without makeup, so I also don't really wear makeup because of that, too. It's kind of low quality. Okay, that's me when it comes to makeup. Okay, so um, you object to my view on makeup. What is your sense of my view? I think that your view is saying that, you know, maybe you think it's unfair that women can wear makeup and we can look all cute, but a guy you're you're just you have to go all Mm -hmm. natty you know so maybe Mm -hmm. you're envious of that i'm not envious but they're so i mean i have a couple different positions on this my first position to address the actual thing that you just said was uh there is certainly a double standard so men are expected to accept women's usage of makeup and not have any objections to it despite how significantly can totally transform how you actually look whereas i bet most women who there's no second thought when it comes to applying a full face of makeup will very quickly judge a man who wears a toupee who wears a cap but he's actually bald who would judge a man for wearing makeup even though i don't recommend it uh you would judge a man for wearing lifts in his shoes you would judge him for doing any sort of 
comparable or similar deception or fraud or veneer or facade when it came to his physical appearance. You would certainly judge him. You would think he's insecure if he were to change, like use something fake to enhance his physical appearance. Like if a guy showed up to a date wearing a muscle suit or some shit, you'd be like, the fuck? But women will wear push-up bras or even fake, they'll stuff their bras, they'll wear like butt pads and shit, you know. Okay, so I think... Those, what are the waist trainers? I don't know what they, those the fucking things are, those things. Okay, so and I... And men are supposed to accept your deception and your deceit, it's just, it's whereas... Just too deep. That's just literally too deep to me. It's just makeup. I could see if it was like mm -hmm. loads and tons of makeup, but I'm like, it's just, <clears throat> I don't understand it. Makeup compared to like a butt pad also. Right. Like, <laughs> well, I'm just giving some I, yeah, examples. I don't agree with the butt pad stuff in the bras. I mean, if you don't got boobies, rock your little boobies. Okay. Well, but women, <laughs> women employ plastic surgery also. <laughs> Okay, wait, let's go back like to if a man Like if a man got bicep implants, you would fucking think it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. oh, I would especially think that's Most women would be ridiculous. like, he's a fucking clown, but you guys are putting that in your chest. Okay, but you could work out for bigger biceps. I can't True. work out for bigger tits. I know, that's why you got to accept it. <laughs> and Facts. listen, I'm, I'm, I think small boobs are great. I don't give a fuck about boobs. Well, don't look, not, big boobs are great, small boobs are great. Don't give a fuck. Okay, but like, see, I'm my part of the small husband, city committee. I I'm respect, part of the small city committee. I respect his opinions. Okay. Yeah. And my husband has seen me without makeup yeah. many, I mean, for years. Yeah. And he pref he prefers me like that or very, very sure. minimal, maybe just a little mascara and like tinted blush or something. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why I say 99% of the time, I don't wear it. But I don't think there's anything wrong or it's really not that deep. If a girl wears makeup because it literally goes back centuries mm. again if she's trying to if she's trying to completely um what's the word if she's trying to completely modify how she appears <sighs> with makeup and like change her appearance then yeah you know if she's going out every single day like that you know and she's completely covered up then mm -hmm. yeah i can see that being a facade but like you look at a girl, even when she has makeup or not, you'll know she's pretty. Let me ask you a question. In all instances, if makeup didn't make you look better, regardless of how minimal the makeup you apply is, if it didn't make you look better in some capacity, why would you otherwise wear it? Because we enjoy the process. And when we That's were little, perfect. we had dolls and we played with makeup and we played with our mom's makeup. You it would... goes back to our childhood. Just like you played with cars, mm -hmm. we played with makeup and dolls. It's literally ingrained in Let us to like to, I, beauty just, related things. Let me add that to my list of other things when it comes to my daughter. She doesn't get makeup until she's 18. I would also argue I think a your lot of wife would disagree. Use it as an art form. I don't care. Like people that do like Sorry. a lot of makeup. You know what I mean? My, I, whoa, wait, hold, hold on, <laughs> hold on. She disagrees. She's not gonna. My wife isn't gonna disagree with me on this. I can guarantee you that. I don't think you can guarantee something that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> well, I can, I can. <laughs> no, I can guarantee it because I, I mean, the woman who I would marry would probably share my my sentiments on this. Like I'm, I typically I'm not dating women who cake on makeup. Typically, the women I date wear minimal or no makeup. So you yeah. have to think about it. Like every movie, like you see, like the woman has makeup on and she's seen as beautiful. Even like you think about like the geishas with like the white paint on their that skin. That shit looks fucking terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Okay. The fucking but geisha in their makeup, culture, that's dog shit. You're being disrespectful. Right. I'm not being disrespectful. It's not disrespectful to think that that to level. To talk crap about somebody's culture. That's not talking crap about somebody's culture. It that's is. Me. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. How is it talking? I, I don't object. <laughs> Aren't geishas prostitutes? Okay, fine. Sorry, Japanese people. Yes, prostitution is terrible, whether whatever term Japanese. you apply to it. Cool. Anyways, back to my point. Hold so on. <laughs> hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. One sec. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not allowed to be critical of somebody else's culture. No. Let you... me ask you a question. So for, uh, let's talk about culture, right? Do you object to so the... Saudi government disallowing women to drive cars. Do I object to it? Do you, do you think women should be allowed to drive cars in Saudi Arabia? Yes. 
how, hold on, you're being what very disrespectful. Hold on, make, you're, you're being very disrespectful to, to their culture. Driving a car? No, what do you think about women who are required to wear uh, hijabs? I don't really have an opinion about that. You don't have an opinion? No, I don't. I don't really understand the culture. So uh, let's, and I'm not making a I'm judgment make either way, but I'm asking you, you have, you have no, let's say a woman doesn't have the right to dress as she wants in certain cultures. Okay. Do you object to that? Yes. Well, hold on. You're being very disrespectful of Muslim culture. I'm or, saying that you're going, oh, that's ridiculous. Like, yeah, it looks kind like, of I'm sorry. It looks like clown. Looks. He's saying how it looks. I, th I don't think it looks, it looks weird. Okay. Okay. But and I, I think they're, they're, the, it's like the white, uh, yeah, it's cultural, I get it. it's white face. Okay. Cultural appropriation. <laughs> well, only, like only, Asians, especially Chinese do. They, the more being, pale your skin is, the more beautiful you are. Am I going to get canceled for this? Anyways. Yeah. Is this cancelable con conversation? What? Huh? That actually wasn't even my point, though. What I was just saying no, is but that you, you, makeup you goes far... No, but you wanted to, like, virtue signal, Brian. That's very disrespectful. First off, I'm. <laughs> let me show some respect to the Japanese culture. Nick, can you pull up the bowing video? <laughs> let, me, let me show some fucking respect. I, I actually, you know, my wife will... This is my future wife here. Okay, go ahead, play it. I want to bow. I want a woman who will bow for me. I very much, I have immense respect for the, for Japanese culture, for Asian culture. I, I'm, I want to, you know, get, uh, you know, I'd like a woman to bow for me. Look at that. Attentive. Getting me a drink. Oh no, she's wearing makeup. Right. Uh, she can get rid of it. You know, it's okay. All right, look, she's stirring my noodles. Look at that. She's great. Look at the bow again. Let's get ready for the... You know the tricks they do for hooded eyes? What? I'm talking about Tape. the bow. Look at, look at that fucking bow. That was huge. See, I have... I want a woman who will bow. That's crazy. Okay, so anyway... <laughs> Trying my best, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have immense respect for the Japanese culture, okay? I, just I do think, too. I married Aesthetically, one. I think the geisha look doesn't... I don't like it. Yeah, it's I mean, Japanese, I don't... I, I'm sorry. It doesn't look good. I don't think it looks that, that great either, but I'm but my point Whoa, was Whoa, stop disrespecting their culture. <laughs> Rude. But see, my choice of words were different than your choice of words. What did I say? I mean, maybe I was a bit abrasive. Whatever. You, that, that was the only thing I was trying to say. Was I? A little. Are geishas not prostitutes? I don't know. I'm, I'm I thought geishas were prostitutes. Isn't that Hold on. Am I wrong here? Someone in the chat's like or sent sent a chat. Geishas Geisha Oh, okay. Oh, I thought his. Just... Okay, hostess trained to entertain men with conversation, dance, and song. What? Were they not historically known as? Was. Okay, I could be. I... Hold on. Okay, I don't know the fucking history on this shit. Whatever. Okay, let's continue. Go ahead. What? I don't even know what. We were talking oh. about makeup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can you? Why don't you look up on your computer? How far back does makeup go? Hmm. Okay. Because it goes Here. back very okay. far, so, and it's like you're trying to like put a stop to something that there's hmm. really there's nothing negative about it. Okay. So, okay. War, war I already goes know back. where your brain's yeah. going. So, war goes back <laughs> very far. Does that mean that that's a good thing? We've been warring with each other. Humans have been warring even before makeup existed. Does that mean that that's the natural like well, I shouldn't say <coughs> I don't, I, think I, that's I don't a want very to use good natural. Parallel. I don't want to use the word natural. Do you think that that means that it's a desirable thing? I would say that if a woman chooses to enhance her beauty yeah. with makeup, she's not lying to you. She's not being a facade because you could easily just ask her on a date and ask her to not wear makeup or take oh her swimming. Oh, God. We got to find a makeup video where I go in on makeup. I actually, oh, I think okay. I added one, Nick. It's in the makeup tab. We'll look at it. So you said it's not lying and it's not a facade. So, Nick, let me, I think I showed you the video that I was wanting to pull up. 
You got it, Nick. You're going to show an extreme transformation. That's what you're going to show. I am going to show an extreme transformation. That's right. It's a blonde, blonde lady. I'm pretty sure it's in the makeup tab. Oh, it's on the TikToks. So there's like a bunch, and then you want me to pick one, right? It's the first. It should be the or the the last tab in the makeup tab. Yeah. And then which girl was it? I. What do you mean? Which one was it? And there's like a bunch of. Well, it's the, it should be the last one that I added to the makeup tab. Yeah, that's TikTok. Wait, you're. You're getting up in. I have to pee. Okay, we'll have to put a pause on on the. Okay. Did you find it? He's. Okay, do you need to go and then we'll. Okay, okay, okay. All right, it's kind of interrupting, but all right. So you wouldn't date a woman who wears makeup. Depends how much. Preferably minimal or no makeup, though. So why would you be concerned about other women <coughs> wearing makeup? I why would frankly, you I don't them? give a fuck. You can do whatever you want, but like, if we're having a conversation, like a, if we're trying to have a conversation about it, like, my, my view on it is that it is deceptive. Deceptive. Yes. And you can dance around it all you want, but if it didn't change your appearance for the better in some capacity you wouldn't you wouldn't wear it i wore it because i'm on camera as of today do you think yeah but let me ask you a question mm -hmm. what okay i'll engage that so do you think most women are who wear makeup only do so when they're on camera um, like you know, women who go to school, go to I don't work. Really concern myself. With who that. never, I'm, I'm who are never on camera. Myself. I'm just talking about myself. Right, but I'm not. This conversation is not strictly about women who are invited onto podcasts or on videos. What is your question again? I'm sorry. What is your, what's your <laughs> what, question? He's on saying this? that makeup is deceptive. And he'd prefer a girl with no makeup or minimal makeup. Um, I know you, you guys are probably all super triggered by this. Just say, go ahead, say. Speak. I'm not triggered by it. I, I'm anti-makeup. I'm sure think, you guys are very against that. I would say that like wearing a lot of makeup. To knit. I got a, I got a video to mm -hmm. trigger him. What's that? I got a video to edit. <laughs> here, while I read, Maddie, can you read this chat here? Hold on. This one. Mailing it in to deliver a performance without commitment or effort with lackluster results. That is what that means. But Brian is awesome, so I don't get why anyone said that about him. Ignore the haters, Brian. They are jealous of your success. Yeah, I thought it had a negative connotation. Wait, what? But the rest of the comments seem so positive. Yeah, I know. That's what confuse me maybe it's like normally i was confused by it but okay nick do you have the video it's a blonde woman um the, can i just show you the tab of the tiktoks yeah you can even drag it over here so i can see it okay. you don't need to minimize that you or actually yeah you do okay hold on guys we're getting it pulled up nope okay here no 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 leave it there leave it there i'm gonna direct you okay uh makeup tab Uh, I think it's the top, the one above it. No, no, no. Oh, nope. Nope. <coughs> it's the second to last. Nope, second to last, second to last. Is it down here? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, I, can you click it so I can make sure? Clean, can you click it? Yeah. Yep, that's it. Okay. okay. Here, just bring it over so... Okay, so we're going to look at this video. This is a pretty substantial transformation. I don't think it's like one of those ex super extreme ones. I've seen some really extreme ones. Go ahead. Audio or no audio? No audio. Just go ahead. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, that's too fucking much. <laughs> that's good, yeah. Now play it, play it again, play it again. Okay. Actually hit pause, hit pause on that. Go back to the very beginning. Uh, don't play it, 
let's see her face. Okay, there. Now scroll, just scroll to the very end. Or just put it at the very end so we can see the... No. I'm sorry, that's, that's fucking an Deception. insane transformation. <laughs> that is, that, can, do you deny that that's totally different? She looks totally she different. She beat her face. It looks good though. Tell Nick to pull up. <laughs> tell Nick to pull up my makeup. Yeah, video. Nick, can you pull up cues? Did you it's send it to the, yeah, the it's Instagram? In a, it's in the DM. Yeah. But you can kind of tell if the girl's wearing a lot or not. It's in the DM. Yeah, give me a second. The girls are silent because they know it's true. I said something. A full face and like slight makeup you, is different. Yeah, you can you but can tell. But do you, admit, as a whole. do you admit? So if I can admit that that's like a pretty extreme transformation, yeah. can you admit that it's a scale? Yeah. So like. Perhaps like it's not all the way over here, but maybe it's in the middle, right? Okay. And so it's enough to create a from if we're talking about dating, right? It might be enough to be like, oh, she's a no, but like the makeup could put a put her over into the like, I think she's attractive. Yeah. Okay. Deception. Boom. Checkmate. <laughs> you could also work out and look a lot better too. I agree. And actually it's funny to me, these women who are Who's uh, like you? You'll see like a woman who's overweight or obese spend time putting on makeup, and I think you'd be much better suited by hitting the gym. But what's easier? I agree. That's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Makeup, you can instantly transform yourself. You can instantly add one, two points to your attractiveness. Yeah. They don't want to put in that that uh, yeah, sweat equity. Yeah. Do you have the the video? Oh, oh, it's Q. It is me. Oh, shit. I think there should really be limitations on how much makeup women can wear. Can I mean, the shit is sorcery. It's deception. It's manipulation. It's catfishing. Women give themselves a whole bunch of features that they don't have. Y'all give yourselves eyebrows y'all don't have, cheekbones y'all don't have, lashes y'all don't have, lips y'all don't have, skin y'all don't have. And then when y'all take it off, y'all look smeared. I've never seen human beings look like you drew them on a piece of paper and then you just erase all the most prominent features in certain areas and that's what you're left with. But that's how y'all look. A lot of y'all be looking sickly without it because you wear it so much and you wear too much of it. Y'all be looking like y'all either have a severe cold, the flu, or, or the suds. That's legit a turn off. When you meet a woman, you see her face. That's what you're attracted to initially, that face that you see. When y'all have on this makeup and then you take it off and we realize that that's a whole made up face that you just put on top of what that is under it, that's scary. How the fuck is that not grounds for prosecution? Y'all should be subject to legal action. I think there should... <laughs> but you just called can a I, woman... Dude, that's so basic. Wait, can I ask he you a question? He wants to criminalize. Q, you... Can I... You want to criminalize women that's wearing... Listen, what, what we just saw was grounds for what I just said. Okay, okay. That fits the criteria for that is exactly what I'm explaining I agree. in the video. It should be a crime. You should go to prison. Can I ask you something? I'm kidding. In that video? Yeah. Was there a filter on your face? The original filter. It's called the original filter. <laughs> Still a filter. It's called the original filter. It kind of smoothed out your face it a little bit. It smooths out your yeah. skin. Yeah, but it's called, the, ori it's called the original filter. But that's you not makeup. You should have raw dogged that video up. so that's we not, could really that's, that's not makeup, get though. the that's essence deception. of your message. Like makeup that's, without that's not makeup. On. That doesn't undermine my message either, nor does it, it, it is a little bit of. That's kind of what makeup does, does to us. It smooths out our face. It gives y'all a face y'all don't have. If that filter gave you the smoothness that you don't have. I don't have that smoothness? No, I... You have smoothness? Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. There we go. No, you she have said it. You I, have I got okay. So but then, not to that. So, to not so to then that there's degree. there's no difference. You tried it, but it's not really a difference. No, no I did it. Different. I didn't try. No, you tried it. No, it, because no you wore a filter, and your message at was the end literally of the day, to be at, unfiltered. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, <laughs> makeup is sorcery, like I said. So are filters. We should get rid of filters. Then we should get rid of filters. Yeah, we should get rid of filters. we should get rid of. I do a lot of videos without filters. Yeah. So you should have did it without a filter. I'm just saying. That video is old too. Get a whole essence of your message. You should have did it without a filter. Nah, I think they got the gist of it. It got enough likes. It went viral. <laughs> I got you though. I, I, I kind of got certainly, you. There's certainly like there's certainly a difference though. When, for example, could we make this argument of like let's say someone's involved in a theatrical production and that person's a male and in the theatr theatrical production typically they apply eyeliner even to men. They'll put on f f makeup, not even to change your face, but they do apply makeup in a theatrical production. And we can almost extend this to, for example, um, 
you know, somebody who's creating content online or involved in a film of some sort. Now, I don't think Q using a filter in a non-romantic setting, like what I'm making an argument from, <coughs> these are women who were choosing to date, these are women who we see on dating apps who are using filters, who are wearing makeup. When we go and meet them in person, they're wearing makeup. If, you know, if we're meeting organically in person, say, at, you know, at a, not that I recommend bars or nightclubs, but say you meet a girl at a bar or nightclub, she may very well be wearing a full face of makeup. So I don't think it's a totally fair comparison because Q was using a filter to like, when he meets a girl on a first date, there is no filter. Exactly. There, he's not wearing any makeup. Whereas if he meets a girl on a date, she's probably wearing makeup. But that's the thing about online, right? It's like, you don't like, we don't always see the raw footage when it's online. You know what's the funniest part about all this? My husband's probably at home laughing, going, I agree with you, Brian. Because <laughs> my husband's not a fan of, of makeup either. Maybe not to your degree. He likes when I wear a little bit here and there, but I just he does prefer me without I it. I just don't get this whole, like, I'm sure, like, okay. If makeup didn't improve your physical appearance in some way, if it didn't do that, you wouldn't wear it. You already made that point, and I said right. we enjoy the process. We enjoy the process. We enjoy how it makes us feel. Like me, when I'm like doing, if I do my makeup, like I said, I do it like literally less than 10 times a year. So when I, but when I do it though, it's kind of like when I'm doing my skincare, it's like, I enjoy that time. Maybe I put a podcast on, maybe I put some music on. I enjoy the art of it. Like being able to go, hmm, what kind of look do I want today? You know, it's nice. It's fun. It's, it's enjoyable. Like, okay, that's, that's totally cool. Your motivations aside, if we're speaking within a dating context, whatever your reasons for doing it may be, like, it is deceptive. But don't we all do that on the first date? Like, don't you want to put on your best look on your first date? Like, you're going to wear a shirt that, like, compliments your shoulders huh. and, like... You don't know about my first date. <laughs> I would assume that I'm you put in effort. Pants. I'm wearing would, sweatpants and a flannel. Maybe you wear, like, extra nice cologne. Oh, know. I don't wear cologne either. I, and I'll tell a girl, don't wear perfume. That shit smells disgusting. You're a bit extreme, but... I'm, I'm high maintenance. You're okay? a bit extreme. I'm actually I would say you're low maintenance, low maintenance technically, with your I'll, be, own I'll tell a girl, routine, don't wear... But don't wear I, perfume? I don't know, man. It doesn't sm I don't like the smell. Okay. That's, that's a different conversation. Yeah, though. that's different. Um, but again... Like, you should wear deodorants, fine. I wear deodorant, but cologne, no, that... I just honestly think if you look at a woman, whether she's wearing makeup or not, you can, for the most part, like, again, that example is really extreme, but for the most part, you can tell, like, okay, this woman has natural beauty or not. Like, if you look at me right now and go, I don't think you'd be pretty without makeup, I think that you're delirious. Well, that's not what I'm arguing, but, see, it's it's like trickery. It's It's deception because we make, like, snap instant assessments that are subconscious even about somebody oh are they attractive or are they not attractive now if we take like a decent like a, a look you know we can sort of start sussing out okay she's wearing makeup but i mean again we should but that, like no amount of makeup can make a woman just go from like <laughs> butt ugly to we just showed you one okay okay but honestly she was being a bit dramatic like she was like oh making a funny face and she, okay, like, she didn't was, have her she, hair done and she was being a little bit dramatic she was really showing her you, worst angles like you, if you if you do a video and it's like your worst angle and you're like making a double chin and you're like doing all this crazy stuff like yeah you might not look it's pretty bad face you're gonna if, look if worse. you put her if without the makeup you put her if you do a before and after exact same angle lighting face exact same it's night and day difference. Yeah, some women they go like OD. I get it, but not Let's not play every the dentures. woman does. Can you get find the? It's in the makeup tab. There's the dentures video. That one's pretty crazy too. So I mean, you know, yeah. Look, here's the thing, right? The makeup industry is a. I looked this up. The global cosmetic industry is a five hundred billion dollar a year industry. It has a vested interest in keeping you essentially slaves to the paint, as I call it. You're <laughs> slaves to the paint. You're going to fight for, you're basically, 
This is like some, I'm not gonna do the Matrix thing. You're gonna defend it because, uh, you know, you are, you're beholden to the paint. <laughs> These I wouldn't say I'm beholden right to now. the paint because I don't really wear it, but I know a lot of a lot of women do, and I don't think there's really anything. The wrong The makeup with that. industry, the if, cosmetics industry. If you're gonna be in a relationship with her, you're gonna see her without makeup. Eventually, you're gonna see her without makeup. Okay, let me ask you guys a question then. Would you object to a man breaking up with a girl if, say, they went, they were dating for, they've been on ten dates, and then he didn't see her without makeup until the tenth date? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, whoa, this woman is not as attractive as I thought she was. Fair or not fair to break up with her? I think it's fair. Fair. Oh. Uh, it's fair. Don't, don't let me bully you. Just because I'm very <laughs> convincing, don't let me bully you into a position that you don't actually hold. I mean... No, I think it's fair. Yeah, if you're not attracted to someone anymore, you're not attracted to someone anymore. Let me ask you, th what about this? Do you think that on dating apps, women should include at least one photo of themselves without any filter or makeup. Yes. 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 Yeah. That seems fair. And I do. That seems fair. That's fair. Nick, do you have the video? That. Go ahead. No, stop it. Just play it. Yeah, we don't need some. She don't have no tea. Nice body, though. Whoa. It's a pretty big transformation. Pretty I mean, and this is like play it one more time oh look at all those recommended videos for the whatever podcast once again i mean i don't like you might want to claim that that's glam i actually think that that's like scam <laughs> i think that a lot of women would do that amount of makeup a lot of women like do. I don't think that's a crazy amount. She's she. It's like full face, right? But I don't like. Uh, you'll see. You'll meet a girl at a club wearing that much makeup. Mm -hmm. You'll with, meet a girl in person wearing that much makeup. Yeah, with extensions and everything. Yeah, yeah with all that. I'm just saying. Yeah, but like of course some guys it's like that. Like some guys like like the full glam look. You know what I mean? So it's like, teach mm. their own. Hey, teach their own. Do you think it's fair if a woman gets with a guy and he had like a full six pack and then he gained 50 pounds and she's like, you know what? It's a bit different, but. No, but I'm just saying. Because that's so, what you're working with, right, as a guy. Would it be fair for her to dump him? Yeah. Yeah. If she's not physically attracted to him anymore, he, mm -hmm. it, it could be evidence of some sort of uh, he's not being disciplined, he's lazy. Mm -hmm. um, the, the circumstances of the initial physical attraction could change. Um, She's within her right to break up with him. Uh, Honestly, I think it's not. She, she also might not care. She might not care. If you're going on a on a date with a woman and it's like, you know, you only go on a date or two and you've only seen her with makeup, okay, it's not really going to affect you. But like, if you get into a relationship, then obviously you should see her without makeup, and then at that point you can make an assessment that you want to make. But I don't think you should, you know, deem women as like sorcerers because they decide to wear a little bit of mascara and a little bit of blush like i don't think that's ever a negative thing okay well the thing is though is that when i was on dating apps and i no longer am i mean i can't tell you the this wasn't just a rare thing every single profile like i could pull up i think i still have like i don't use it but i still have like one of the dating apps uh, I think I've, it's connected to Facebook or whatever. It's the Facebook dating. Um, I could like pull up, pull out my phone, and we could swipe together, looking at the women. Mm -hmm. the The first photo you're gonna see, it's ninety nine percent of profiles, filter or makeup or both. And then maybe some of them have a, a photo that's not them in makeup or not filtered, but there will be more than I would argue more than fifty percent. Their entire profile is filter and or makeup or both. So this is something that's very, like women, you don't really, I mean, look, there's dudes on dating apps, I guess, who use filters. I think it's much less common than women, but it's like every single profile, every single photo, I don't know what you actually look like. And I've experienced it in person because I went out with a lot of my followers. I'm not gonna lie about that. And the girl I see that I'm following and the girl that shows up, sometimes 
I don't even realize it's the same person. So it's not the same level of attraction that I, that I have when I see them, when I'm following them and then I meet them in person. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're saying. Like y'all saying, no, oh, it's not as profound as we're making it, but when you actually experience it, it occurs pretty often, no, like, if I you think, ask me. I, I honestly think like, I do agree that the extreme measures is sorcery or scam, as you would say, but would you have an issue with a woman who's already very beautiful and decides to wear natural makeup? Ben the offender donated one hundred dollars. Good question. Ben Here's Dan. a question: Who created and socially enforces the current beauty standard for women? Starting with you. Go ahead. Starting, Starting with you. Starting with me. Yeah. Oh, I was asking him a question, but it's fine. Um. Who created and socially enforces the current? I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't know. Let me ask you a question. So, the cur uh, well, it's kind of changing now, <laughs> but if you had to point to an individual who has probably been responsible for a large swath, large swaths of women getting breast implants, lipo, and BBLs, a famous woman, or a well, famous person, who is that individual? Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Checkmate. No, I want to answer. What? Yeah. <laughs> he, he's saying that, he's saying women create, he's answering the question, he's saying women create. Men yeah. don't ask yeah. for, for your fake nails and your lip filler and your caked on makeup and your fake tits and your BBLs. We don't ask for that. So in other words, it's we're not asking, competition. We're not asking for that. But to answer your question, okay. what would you say you said so if my, I have a... So my question was, like, would you have a problem if you were, say, dating a woman who's already very beautiful um, naturally without mm -hmm. makeup, but here and there she decides to wear natural makeup when you're going out... Maybe it's like socially, like, do you have a problem with that? I've been all? in this situation plenty of times. And honestly, I don't have a problem with it, but my okay. preference is still for her natural beauty. Checkmate. I, I, yeah, I don't have a problem with it, but my preference is, I prefer lip gloss. Wait, she how's that? Put on checkmate. Gloss. Because he just agreed that there's no problem with natural makeup. And that's what I've been advocating for, natural makeup. I Are do you have an natural makeup right now? I'm a little spruced up. This isn't normally how I would wear makeup if I were to. I would ditch the eyeshadow for sure. Like I like said. The last girl I was seriously dating, when I first met her, she wore makeup like a lot. And then when I seen her naturally, you know, she started not wearing it because I was like, I don't, you look better without yeah, it. Yeah, that's and what then happened. There's been, and then there's been women who don't wear makeup. And as soon as they put it on, I actually think they look worse with makeup than they do without it because I've gotten so used to seeing them without it. And their natural beauty is what I'm accustomed to. So when they put it on, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what did you just do? Not all women know how to wear makeup either or know how to apply it. Yeah, but but my my point is is that you know if if you think she's beautiful either way then you're you're not you're not going to have an issue with it. Not maybe not as much as Brian. Okay. Yeah, not, not as much as Brian. I think Brian's but, a bit but, more but, extreme. But, but, but I, I understand, hear, but I, I understand what he's say, saying. I did hear you say as I was walking to the restroom that you would date a woman who wears a little bit of makeup or something like that. Me? Yeah. I think I heard you say that. Uh, like you said it depends how much she's wearing, right? My strong preference is to date a woman who wears minimal or no makeup. Yeah. So, so if she's wearing a bit of fine. eyeliner, honestly, anything that goes on your face, don't like it. Don't like it immediately. If you're wearing a bit of mascara or eyeliner, that's not the crime of the century. I don't like lipstick. Gets on me. Don't anything that can get on yeah, me. See, it's a preference. I don't like. It's a preference because some guys do like makeup. Some right, because they want to take the blue pill. <laughs> they want they ignorance is bliss. But just be, just because they like women with makeup because doesn't, it's, it doesn't negate because the fact that they, they still like their women without the lie. it. They want to believe the lie. They because they can trick their minds into thinking that you're more attractive than you actually are. Okay, so my husband's Asian, right? His hair is flat, like straight and flat. But when he puts it up, it just does something to me. 
I just like when his hair is up a little it's bit. Not a, it's so not when equivalent. he puts his hair it's up. It's not equivalent. What do you, <laughs> that's not equivalent. Facial I'm attraction. <laughs> facial attraction is is something totally different than but the hairstyle. But it does styling. it changes his look. Yes, it does change forehead. the appearance. His like forehead's cleared out. You know, I like it. And 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 to me, it's a significant change. To me, it's it's significant. But but that's his actual hair. That that comes down to styling. It's these are it's my lashes. Different. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look. It it's ultimately comes down to by wearing makeup, you're de depriving us of making an informed decision about your true attractiveness. I don't deprive anybody. They see me without makeup a lot. Right. But like, okay, if you are, let's say you're going to a party where you anticipate meeting a guy and you want to, uh, you know, you're single, ready to mingle. You're wearing a full face of makeup. Well... You are changing your physical appearance and men are not able to like, especially if it's dark, you know, throw in some alcohol. You, you're certainly like by wearing makeup, you are changing your appearance. I suppose and men that, are so oblivious that they don't really notice like what she's wearing or what product she's wearing. And you're kind of debating on a topic that maybe you don't really understand makeup as well as women do. So like we know Precisely, we though. know what we're wearing. Yes, Maybe of you don't know exactly what we're wearing. Right, which but... adds to the which adds to the deception and the facade. Sure. I like I said, I and I would I'm argue, saying if you're going extreme then yeah, that's that's doing too much. And and I would argue I'm actually I have a fairly good assessment of, you know, looking at a woman being able to assess if she you know, her degree of makeup usage. But like take an 18 year old, 19 year old guy who's naive, who maybe doesn't have a lot of dating experience, who doesn't even know that, you know, what to really be looking for. Mm -hmm. He might get bamboozled. Yeah, he might. And he's a sucker and he'll learn. Right. So it's a trick. It's a trick. It's a deception. You can also find ways to trick women. Absolutely, and it's wrong. <laughs> How about this? Let me ask you a question. So would you like to know before, like, here's the reality, right? Most women like men with a full head of hair. Agree or disagree, panel? Agree. Agree. You like a man with a full head of hair, right? I think Andrew Tate looks really good bald. Yeah. Some men can look Loose pussy energy donated $100. Oh, Brian, shit. that's a W disgusting 304s be catfishing and busted gremlin looking motherfuckers without makeup extensions busted and wigs. gremlin looking. Hashtag I will take my makeup cap. off hashtag right now. Deception. I don't care. Hashtag fugly. Hashtag okay. get the rocks. Hashtag Brian is 90th body at 19. No, but honestly, here, no, here you go. Here's some Neutrogena makeup no, remover. There you go. I don't like Neutrogena oh, makeup remover. Go ahead. <laughs> I prefer Avon. And, and you have to hold up the the wipe so we can see how much comes off no i'm gonna take it off and then you're gonna like lower my rating just to be rude i'm not no i'm not gonna lower your rating yes you will no i'm not i just said i won't take my word for it <gasps> okay okay <laughs> she's doing it has this ever been done before yeah we've done it before really yeah I've never seen Any that. Any other girls want to? You want you want to do it? You said, hold on. You yeah, can you pull my videos up. You, actually, you I'm said, not taking off my makeup. You said you look better without me. <laughs> you it said, up. pull it up. Well, put it. I'm not. Am I getting paid? No, 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 no. Wait, she said she said she was gonna do it. Yeah, actually, like, am I gonna change the terms? What's the terms? And say. <laughs> you just said you would do it. Now you're. Oh yeah. Are you, you gonna, oh, are you gonna yeah. pay me for it? I'm paying off. Why, why ah. would I pay you to take your makeup off? You're trying to make a point by saying, oh, I don't look that. Fine, I don't care. But I will take one to go though, because I, huh? I, I need to take one to go. Yeah, though. Oh. I travel here, like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm all out. Sorry. All right, let me read a couple chats. I think I'm gonna need more than one. Oh, I'll give you more. Because I have to do uh, it. Lama does. I have to do it very thoroughly. Brian, Brian in Islam does enforce specific items or style of clothing. Hijab yeah. means barrier of modesty and is a guideline. Enforcing it isn't in Isla Islamic law. It's a cultural issue in a few select countries. Uh, okay. I'm just doing this blindly. It's not that great. <laughs> I wasn't, by the way, just Can to be I clear, I wasn't, I purse? wasn't make taking a position on uh, cultural positions in these various countries. I was just countering her argument to uh, her accusations of me being disre culturally disrespectful. Antenna boy, 
Oh, don't throw, by the way, don't throw out the wipe. You said you need more, right? I might need more. Okay, please don't throw, I, I want you to comment. bring back the wipe. It's like right here. You have to bring back the wipe. You want me to throw it here? I'm throwing it. Yeah, Catch. There you go. Okay. Uh, bring back the wipes so we can hold them up to the camera. Okay. <laughs> You're done? Yeah. I took half for you. I mean, there's probably still a lot more on your face. I mean. I have. <laughs> you what? You have. Where's half? Half. Off. On. Eh, there's more. <laughs> Damn. Even on camera. I'm doing the other side now. Now you're doing the other do side. Uneven. Yeah. It's awkward. Good, good talk. Okay, uh, we have Antenna Boy. Uh, believing makeup is deception, tricker, tricking, and blasphemy. He didn't say that. Just sounds like some incel shit. <laughs> L literally, nothing wrong with a woman trying to make herself look her best and enhancing her beauty. It really ain't that deep. Yeah, that's cool. But like, keep <laughs> keep that same energy, ladies, for dates when a guy shows up with a cap and actually he's bald. Uh, you, you're telling me you wouldn't feel a little bit deceived. If he's bald. Be honest. I mean. Sure, but I think men care a lot more about looks than women. I actually do. disagree with you. Me too. Really? I think women care way more about We're just more, more visually looks. stimulated by looks. I think women will date a guy who's not like their type, but men won't like date or marry a woman who's not their type. For the long term, and he has to overcompensate in some way. I don't know. He can be less attractive, but he has to be more attractive in other areas to make up for the fact that he's not as physically attractive. I think I think women care way more about looks than men do. And here's why. Here's a couple of reasons why. What the do you guys think? Like, I'm not alone in this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think women care about looks, but in a sense of... How do I say that? Like, I don't know how to, like exactly say this but like i think it's more of like show show us the paper show us how much got Ew. hold it up to this camera here <laughs> that's actually Look so at, little yeah <laughs> right see that i mean i can see it on on the piece of paper and there's you could probably take off more and granted i think you said you're not wearing all that much wait so what was your point i was just saying like women usually wear makeup like for other women like it's usually not for no no we were saying who's who cares more about looks that was the conversation but i know but like the point of makeup is like isn't that like the topic well but like, you said that well men care more about looks and i countered i actually said well actually i think women care more about looks than men care about women's looks but I, I i'm agreeing with you though but i'm just oh, like it's wait. like for I'm confused. Well, to, really quickly to address Antenna Boy here. Um, nothing wrong with a woman trying to make herself look her best. Okay, well, there is something wrong with it if it's changing your physic physical appearance to such a degree that a man would feel deceived. It really comes down to that. Now, listen, here's the reality. It's socially, it's socially acceptable. Makeup is socially acceptable. <laughs> I feel like you it's a will socially see... It's a socially accepted lie. It's a socially okay, accepted yeah. lie. Yeah, we, but you're arguing like the most extreme case of makeup. I'm not though. Like all of these girls here today are wearing maybe a little bit of makeup, but it's I don't like... think so. I'm here in 4K and <laughs> nah, not really. <laughs> I mean, compared to the video that you showed, like, the, none of this is full glam or full Right. Fit, you know? Okay, sure. It's, I don't know. I feel like it's not really deceptive. Anyone here, and this is... Do you want to take your makeup off? No? Okay. And Look, I'm, okay. I'm trying to... Oh. Like, the average woman. The average woman that you see in the street, at the grocery store, out, like, we're not talking about at a club, because... But the average woman that you're seeing out here at Whole Foods, okay, they're not wearing a full face of makeup. Cool. <laughs> okay, so you're arguing for an extreme. That I'm it's not. No, I'm not. Because if I download a dating app right now, and I, you sit next to me, and <sighs> I'm swiping on Tinder, and we're looking at the first photo that comes up, 
I guarantee you 90% of the, fo the first photo, it's going to be full face of makeup. And then perhaps it's a lower percentage of the entire, every single photo in her profile, she's wearing makeup. So I don't know what she actually looks like. Okay, that's fair. But with the whole thing with like women caring about looks more than men. Yeah, then, I, that's what I really want to talk about. Then why do you see unattract? I feel like more commonly I see unattractive men with more attractive women than you see mm -hmm. the yeah. opposite. No, because women are generally slightly more attractive than men. Yeah, scientific fact. Yes, women are generally yeah. Women get women are rated higher than men are rated. Yeah. Women are generally slightly more attractive than men. Y'all are supposed to be the pretty sex. Y'all are supposed to be. It's kind of the way we evolved. That's kind of more women's realm, too. If there's an entire industry, the beauty industry, and let's say like the consumer base of that industry is 90% women, and you're, you're going through, you're spending this money and going through this effort to make yourself look more physically attractive, then that'll just naturally end up bolstering your physical appearance. <laughs> okay, so I took my makeup off. You're still wearing makeup, but it's okay. Did, no, did I'm you not. save it? Hold it up to the camera. Hold it up to that what camera. No, she's not. Wearing? Hold it up she to. Hold it up what, to. What? What makeup am I wearing? There's still a little lingering. I, I think I see a little These lingering. Suck. I'm not saying. Look, I'm. You took most of it off. You, under, I you understand. Here, hold it up to the camera. I'm not gonna hold it up jam to the camera right there. I think it. you look like the same. Wait, like, hold, you still yeah, look beautiful. Hold it up Did to the camera. Did my rating go down? Hold it up to the camera. Okay. Hold it up to the camera. Where's the other one? You said there was two. No, oh, she, I only oh, she used didn't use one. It. She didn't use it. Oh, I didn't she, open it. Oh, give it the back. The seal is still intact. <laughs> <laughs> give it back. Thank you. Um, I should have threw it at you like you threw it at me. I I gently tossed it to you. We're and you gentle. caught it. Congrats. Yeah. So. Okay. So what's your question? Did my rating go down? I'm, I told you I wasn't going <laughs> to rate you. But that you, was my condition. I did oh. not go through all of this work. Do you know what? Well, I, I'll actually give you this. I, I tend to think women are, look as good or sometimes better without makeup. Uh, I think you're an attractive women, woman with or without makeup. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, really quick, really quick to adjust the whole women caring more about looks. Okay, so here's, here's my view on this. And you guys are free, feel free to weigh in. So, I think women care a lot, a lot about things, physically speaking, that are totally outside of a man's control. Things like height. Uh, you could even, I mean, height hair, and if a man's balding, that's really out of his control, um, penis size, physical size, and then we can also talk like race, skin color, that's a component too. Women are far less likely to, men are more likely to, or more willing to date outside of their race mm -hmm. than the reverse. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps the, I think the solely, well, uh, there's stats on this. I, I, I haven't committed them to memory, but men are more likely to date outside their race. Um, so there are more things out of our control that are a really big deal for women, oftentimes deal breakers, than the reverse. So like I said, height, whoops, hold on. there's height, there's, uh, there's balding, penis size. <laughs> That's out of our control. Whereas the things we care about when it comes to your looks, Aside men who have like a very, very, who care about breast size. And ass size, yeah. Which ass size you, women can control to some extent mm -hmm. uh, through exercise. Um, really the primary thing that, you know, in terms of, you can control when it comes to your weight. Weight, women can control. Height, we can't control that. So that's why I think women care more about looks than men do. Yeah, I'd say men care more about looks for women, and I'd say women care more about, like, money <coughs> and stuff like that. You know what money. I mean? I feel like all of that stuff kind of blows over depending on how You're much You're literally money the wearing man has. a t-shirt that says size queen. This which... is for my gay sister. This was a gift to her, and I'm wearing it in spirit of her tonight. A size queen is a woman who wants, who... A big dick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm also okay. manifesting. 
So yeah, clearly you want a guy, okay, penis sizes, how, how big of a peen do you want? <laughs> the thing is, is like, if you look at all of my old videos, if you look at my stuff pinned on Twitter, like my ex was average is, is I don't know, I <laughs> yeah, don't I wanna look. burn my eyes anymore, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like, if it's a like nice person, that I like, like spending time with and it's an average sized dick, I don't care. But if he's a jerk and an asshole, but he has a huge dick, you'll tolerate disrespect and poor treatment because he's compensating or he's, he's uh, bringing something else to the table. Me personally, no. Okay. <laughs> but like, is a big dick nice? Like, of course. Okay, cool. So look, a lot of women have a penis size preference, height preference, right? Here, let's yeah. go around the table. Uh, how tall are you and like do you have a bare minimum height preference for a guy um i'm 5'10 and i've dated all the way down to 5'6 okay do you prefer a guy to be taller than you um i don't care okay yeah what about you 5'2 do you have a height preference as long as he's taller than me so 5'3 totally cool with it yeah doesn't sound like the truth but okay <laughs> I'm 5'9", and I have gone on a date with a guy who was 5'8", but after you were explaining, like, your perspective on that, I see what you're saying. I there was... wasn't a second date with that guy, was there? Well, for other reasons, mm, not because okay. of his height. But, Interesting. Um, I think I was thinking more of men like to have an attractive woman because woman, that, mm -hmm. like, gives them more status, yeah. whereas women don't really care about the status. Like, if their man is not as good-looking, if they love their man, they're still going to be with their man. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you had me in the first part. Women are more attracted to status. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I, get what, I get what you're saying. But, but, I mean, maybe the way you worded it just... But I get what you're saying. Okay. If women didn't really care all that much about looks... Actually, hold on. I'll come back to that. We were going around the table. Go ahead. Um, I'm 5'5", five, five, and I think, like, minimum for me is, like, 5'10". Okay. Um, I'm 5'3", and as long as he's taller than me. Okay. I'm 5'4", and I honestly, like, don't mind height. Like, Wait, what about you? Um, I'm 5'2", and 3 quarters. Um, like, 5'9", and up. But I do want to add that on average, women are shorter than men. And so I think that kind of goes just with, it's just natural that they're going to date a man who's a little bit taller. Now the penis thing, I think that's a little bit ridiculous. And I also think that w men care more about beauty and women care more about status. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I can give you an argument, but Really quick on the height thing. How tall is your husband? Five, nine and a half. Uh, you were in a relationship, right? How tall was your boyfriend? He was like five, like eight, five, nine. How tall was your last boyfriend? I think we were like the same height. Honestly. How tall was your, uh, is your current boyfriend? Six feet. Okay. How tall is your boyfriend? Six, three. Six, three. Okay. Five, ten. 5'10". 6'1", and then the one before that, 5'7". Okay. Well, I mean, a lot of women say, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but 6'1", But women one, are shorter six, on three. average than men on average. Right, but you'll have videos of women who are like five feet saying, like, they'll have like height requirements for men. And this is also evidenced as what's going on on dating apps. Women can filter by height and they've actually looked at, they've done analysis yeah. on this. Women will filter, like put in a filter and say, I want to date a guy above this height. But some, some guys also say I only date blondes. It's true. Or blue eyes or big butt or big boobs. He's saying that those are things that you can change. Though. You can change your hair color, you can get implants, you can get a BBL, but he cannot do anything to make his bone structure taller. I mean, he gets the resort to not having to make yourself taller? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. There is a surgery. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can get a surgery to make yourself taller. Um, and also there is a surgery you can get to change wait, your Wait, going color. around the table question. So have, who here has been on a dating app? Just show of hands. Who's been on dating apps? 
No, never been on a dating app. Never been on a dating app. Never been, never been? No. You been? Okay, what percentage of men do you swipe no on, on a dating app? Well, probably 99.8. Probably the same. Yeah. How many do you swipe no on? Like, most of them. Yep. What about you? Like 99.9. .9. Wait, hold on. So on dating apps where you're really just making a very quick judgment about someone's physical appearance, why is it the case that you guys are only swiping yes on like 1% of dudes? Whereas dudes are swiping on like a lot of like what fifty percent of women. Because men are more desperate. I feel like yeah. so. Wi so, so women are much can. pickier when it comes to physical appearance. No, they're not it, as desperate. Ergo, ergo, women care more about looks than men do. It, yeah, when it comes to when it comes to dating apps, things like speed dating, you will find that women place a premium on a man's physical appearance. That's what all the studies have shown. And it makes sense because you have nothing to judge other than his physical appearance. So if you initially see that he's not physically attractive, you're going to disqualify him. So that's what we see. The guys who are typically attractive, they get the most swipes, they get the most matches. Whereas the guys who's not typically attractive, they tend to be the most, most of the men. They don't get matches at all. They don't get swipes at all. So his point is valid in that regard. Also, this is a really niche example I'm about to give, but I would argue men who are physically disabled compared to women who are physically disabled, men are going to struggle way more in dating if they're physically disabled than women. You know what's interesting is that there's a study done, and if a woman in a marriage gets, or er, not terminally ill, but severely ill, they're six times more likely to be left by their male partner than if the male was to get sick. Well, the issue with that study is probably, I don't think it's been replicated. So you have a huge issue with a lot of these soft science studies called the, uh, I forgot the exact term. They, they can't replicate any of these studies. Okay. And, still and, a study. and, also, yeah. and also I would add, ask you, who is doing these studies? I would, is, like a lot of these studies are done by like feminist, feminists who who already have decided what the end result is and they're going to try to confirm their bias and they're there if you go into a study for example cigarette companies in i think the 60s right hired scientists to 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 study the harmful effects of cigarettes and they came out with studies that said well cigarettes are actually not harmful in fact they can be you know they can have some uh positive health impacts Okay, so if who you got to ask yourself who's funding these studies? Yeah, hmm? well, who's funding yours? I don't have a computer I, I with incited, notes in front of me. I've incited well, any studies. Typ typ okay, typically, then let me bring know, a computer with some notes. Let's go. Typically, you know how valid they are about how controversial the results are going to be. Um, like a lot of these are bought, bought they're political. So, like what Brian said, there is a, a replication. A lot of these studies crisis, don't replicate. I, yeah. I, I won't call it a crisis because I work in the field of psychology, so mm -hmm. I won't call it a crisis. But there are studies. When we talk about attraction and things like women valuing looks, those are some of the most replicated studies, like evolutionary psychology, et cetera. They replicate all the time. But when you talk about, like, what did you just say? Um, men were more likely to leave their sick their wives sick than their sick, par sick partner were yeah. to leave them. See, I've never heard of that study. That's not to say it's invalid or unreliable, but I've just never heard it. I would like to review it. I would like no, to actually yeah. see that. I mean, I reread it yesterday, but I knew about it probably two years ago because my sister and I talk about this kind of stuff all the time. And she also mm -hmm. majored in psych, criminology, all of that. So. But let me, well, this. Mm -hmm. But you agreed, though, that. Um, that men do value beauty more than women do. Yeah, but, because but that's how we the, draw inferences about a woman's fertility. But the argument yeah. is, is that like, um, I guess for an initial date, yeah, maybe women are a little bit more judgmental. But in terms of long term, like if you get with a woman and she's like really beautiful, but then like she just, she just totally goes downhill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm then maybe you wouldn't want to stay with her versus or I just cheat. versus a woman who's with a guy and if he if Did he get cheat? yeah I'm, I'm i'm speaking objectively though <laughs> yeah i'm saying like if she declines like, in, whoa if she declines in appearance then the guy he'd probably stay with her but he'd probably step outside of the relationship but typically you would say like men have more stressful jobs right yeah. so like men age faster yeah so 
But a woman isn't going to leave a man for that. Not if he has money, status, resources. Right. So you, but you, you agree though that there is. That I, yeah, difference. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't disagree. But um, the the distinction I drew was that I would say men, uh, women value physical appearance as much as men, but men are more visually receptive and sexually stimulated by a woman's physical appearance than women are with men. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's yeah. that's that's how I would say it. Okay. Last thing on this. So I would also argue in terms of appearance, depictions of aspirational body types for men are far harder to achieve and attain than what you see of women. No. Okay. <laughs> but like So let, let me What are you going off of? So yeah. she said no, but so let me let me try to give a bit more details cuz I it's so, if you look at, for example, superhero movies, so if you look at the men oh. in superhero movies, the aspirational body type, in order to achieve as a man the aspirational body type, the apex, the optimum body type, that's going to require either, I mean, elite level genetics, treating the gym like a full time, part time job, excuse me, uh, or steroid use. Whereas women, I would argue, an eight, any, any 18-year-old woman, so long as she monitors her caloric intake without even having to do any sort of physical training, can achieve a near idealistic uh, aspirational body type. A woman need not do strength training, for example, to have what 99% of men will deem like a sexy or a hot body. But, that's but for a like, man to have an aspirational body, to have a hot or sexy body, he will need to have some degree or perhaps a huge degree of uh, physical training to achieve that, not just caloric uh, restriction. I would say that your ideal body type that you're talking about in the superhero movies mm-hmm. and all of that is like ideal to men by other men but if you okay most women are on like some kind of hormonal birth control and if you look birth control makes women more attracted to more feminine features and like okay let's let's remove poison from the conversation and let's talk about i'm being i'm exaggerating but you're you're making the argument that it's that, it's changing women to be more attracted to feminine features. In it men. is. Okay. It has. That's, that's not the natural order of things, though. It's not the natural order. Yeah, right. but that's but, a reality. But that's a reality right now. What okay. women are sure. more attracted to? It's that like Pete Davidson, that scrawny, like drugged out motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like this people is the think end, that he's This hot. is the fall of Western civilization. <laughs> and this, and is, this is a failed society. I don't society. think women and more women on average prefer men that are like taking like a heavy dosage of peds performance enhancing drugs and honestly i think everybody should strength train i don't think women should just watch their calories but i do get your point um because for a man because you're naturally going to have more testosterone you're gonna be able to put on a lot more muscle mass and a lot quicker if you train in the gym and honestly if you're a guy you're not going to the gym you need to go to the gym um and that goes for women as well But honestly, I don't think like personally, if you just work out and you take care of your body, that's very achievable for for most people. And I don't think women are attracted to like super yoked. Like I'm not not saying I'm not saying that, but I would argue like, okay, well, I'm not saying like full on bodybuilder status, but I would argue like an if you compare an untrained man to a guy who has just an athletic build. Mm-hmm. So th- like, you know, he's got definition and he's cut, whatever, not fucking full on bodybuilder. Oh, like I would argue most women are going to be more attracted to the athletic build versus like most women would probably actually put the guy who's just skinny. They're not going to put that in like the attractive category from a body perspective, whereas a woman can be just have a low body fat percentage and be deemed physically attractive like pretty much across the board whereas a guy who's done no physical training and he's just (laughs) he's just has a low body fat percentage probably not yeah that's not attractive don't be skinny 
Um, well, okay, thank you. No, but I'm my just, point. no, but uh, but I'm just saying. But even then, if you think about it this way, like men typically have more physical jobs, so sometimes you know you can build okay. a little bit of muscle from your job. Um, but honestly, I don't think it's ridiculously hard to get in shape. I think it's just consistency, and I think that goes for both men and women. But and for for a woman to ha like have a body that a lot of men will view as sexy, mm -hmm. she need not never participate in a sport she need not never even exercise she need not ever even step foot in a gym where I was where I would argue for women to find a particular male body type like hot or sexy or attractive you have to put in more work he's gonna have to put in more work than a woman so because I'm bringing this up because there's this whole trope about women have the have to meet these like unrealistic beauty mm -hmm. standard but the beauty standard for a man is like leaps and bounds like orders of magnitude more difficult to achieve for the average guy than the reverse like an 18 year old woman can fairly easily have the ideal female body type but an 18 year old male probably has not or cannot ch achieve his physique potential it could yeah, take but years. also women give birth and go through a lot of bodily Irrelevant. changes and we it is relevant, relevant. though. No, but it is relevant, though. Erroneous. And Erroneous. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, and also we have menopause, right? You think a woman what? who just watches her calories can stay the same size forever? No, because she yes. would continue to have to eat lower calories. Because, what? you know, uh, another reason why we go to the gym as well <laughs> is because it increases your metabolism so you can eat more food. You can eat more calories. The metabolism changes is the case for both genders. Well, yes, but I think it's also like the hormone cycle too. Like a, yeah. every week of the month, we're different. We crave different things, so it's not steady. Like a man is has his testosterone spike once, and then that's it. It's very normal. Midjack donated one hundred dollars. It's always funny watching two men now try to help women understand more reasonable mm. standards that will help women find better men slash relationship, and women argue it. Women are their own worst enemy. Uh, you know. Yeah, but my point is, is that every uh, working out will benefit both genders, women and men. And I think it's yes. very important that they both work out. If a woman literally doesn't work out at all, you understand she can still gain weight. But he's arguing. Right. We're talking about like beauty standards here. Yeah. Isn't that what you're saying? For women, you basically just have to not be fat. <laughs> That's it. Uh, uh, yeah, essentially. Okay, That's but... it. You like, but for a man, okay. I, I almost feel like we have some photos. Like we can pull up. Uh, oh, you have yeah. there. I have a folder in the Dropbox folder. Sorry. I have a folder in the. Oh, you went? Did you go into podcast? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. Yep, yep. Well done. All of them work out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what folder is that, Nick. I'm trying to. Pod, Drop Hox podcast. And then beauty, standards. beauty standards, yes. Okay. Then, oh, thin men. Can you do also? I want to compare like thin men, thin women. Yeah. Oh, can you pull up? Can you pull up the second? Wait, go into thin men folder. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find. How is giving birth irrelevant to this conversation? <laughs> like you're not having to go through that. Uh. Here, pull up. I don't know. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. What the fuck? All right, pull up uh, Hugh Dodge. <laughs> it's the blue backdrop. Do you see it? Yeah. All right, and then go to Thin Women folder, and then um, uh, pull up. I don't know. I'm trying to find one that's reasonably fair, right? Do you work out, Brian? Uh, I should work out more, I'll say that. <laughs> I don't know. Pull up the one where she's like holding coconuts. <laughs> Ever. It's the second one in well, there. Just the guy first and then the woman. Okay. okay. And then the ones you pulled up, we'll, we'll look at those two. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Go ahead. coming guys 
all right, that's a skinny dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, skinny dude. Now let's go to the woman. That's a skinny woman. She probably Most, works I would too. argue more men are going to be like, she has an attractive body, then if you go back to the man, then women are going to be like, he has an attractive body. Honestly, I see more women in the, in the gym than I do men nowadays. That's cat. <laughs> no, it's actually not. And actually, I'm, well, I mean, we how's that a, relevant though? We have a woman's gym, going around but. the table like that body that I showed you of the guy. He was he had a good body. He had a low body fat percentage, but he's he's thin. He has no muscle. Yeah. Okay. Is do you think that that's like the apex? Like, are we arguing like fo just those photos, photo to photo, compared to each other? Yeah. Right now. Okay, but you're showing a photo of someone that's pale compared to someone that's in the sun, which pale okay, is I'll already... I'll find a pale, thin woman. <laughs> okay. Not every guy just looks like that, though, without going... Like, also, you know, like, I would argue that the he's gym. an unhealthy oh, body fat percentage. He like, looks like he doesn't eat. That looks anorexic to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would argue that's anorexic. That's not average. Fine. That's not I'll an find... average thin man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Okay, fine. I'll find an untrained and thin that guy. that girl clearly goes to the here. gym. Okay, here. Okay, here. No, 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 no. Hold on. Nick, Nick, go to the thin men folder... Pull up the first one. Pull up the first one. It should be one. I'm two, an eight, actual four, health coach. I know what I'm talking about. All right. Women this need a strain a, train just more, as much as men do. This will do. be a more fair example. I'm actually. Okay. There you go. That's, there you, that is that fair. a bit more fair? Yeah, okay. that's fair. Sure. So I would argue he's tan. <laughs> All right. There you go. There's the untrained male body. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he's not fat, he's not overweight, and then go back to the woman. Okay. That girl definitely she works, works out. out. I don't she know. runs, like that no. girl, she jogs, she probably does Pilates, that is, her she stomach. probably does no, yoga. That is not okay. a girl that doesn't Do work out. Trust me, yes. getting, having that body, maintaining that with just a diet is very difficult. You need to work it's, out to build muscle, to build your yeah. metabolism, to keep the fat off. I'm literally trying to educate you right now. How are you? Edu how are you educating me? Because that's not in a body of a girl that doesn't go to the gym, like, or yeah, that doesn't go to the gym. Like that girl clearly works out. It's so much harder to keep a lean body if you're not going to the gym and no, it's all through diet. Building metabolism. It's all through diet. It, it, you know what? Is diet, diet is very important. But calories you know what in, happens when you out. combine that's both? That, that's all that matters. Amazing <laughs> things happen. Huh? With muscle. You can't just eat your way into to muscle. Some. Not every woman can just look like that without going to the gym and, you know, eating a thousand calories a day. Here, Nick, why don't, why don't you try <laughs> um, the thin women folder? Yeah. It's C-B-R-E-T. Yeah. Uh, you have to she's also wearing take into account top. genetics. Yes, I know. Obviously, I can't find like the perfect one-to-one -one <laughs> comparison. I'm just trying to like. You're trying to say average. it's harder for men. I'm trying to say that that guy here. I, okay. Maybe you feel she like she works out. She's she's yeah, like. She yeah, she does normal. have muscle. I can see her shoulder. <sighs> she looks I can see normal. her this tricep. Like, There's an indentation there. Uh, this is an there. achievable. Like this is, fair. This this is, is an fair. achievable physique for a woman <clears throat> without having to go to the gym. Um, she this is she an works achievable out at home, physique. Then. Look at her legs. There's no mus there's minimal muscular definition in the legs. Fair. That's how you know. Okay. I would argue that most women most men are gonna be like, <laughs> whoa, she's got a nice body. Go back to the guy. Most women are not gonna be like, whoa, he's got a nice body. Okay, but women are supposed to represent like childbearing qualities, where men are supposed to represent protect, like protecting you. And oh, your so family. muscular development, right? Yeah. So the beauty standard is, it's harder for men to achieve the aspirational body type than the reverse. <clears throat> the female beauty standard that feminists cry about is more than obtainable for like ninety percent of women. You basically flat stomach. You don't need abs maybe a little bit of muscle tone, healthy uh, BMI. Where are you ratio. getting that muscle tone yeah. from? What's that? Where are you getting that muscle tone from? He's saying our workouts are easier the than what gym. they have to do. You, like maybe, we could do look, Pilates, go low to the impact, gym, fine. and they have to I'll, I'll give you the gym comparison. Go to the gym three days a week, eat like 200 calories below maintenance, and you'll be there in a year. 
if you're starting from average. The male beauty standard that's rarely challenged by the mainstream media is literally, unobta excuse me, literally unobtainable without two, if not three of the following, elite genetics, steroids, five plus years of treating the gym as a part-time job. I disagree. I've seen very not muscular men get muscular with not good genetics in way less time. Men do build muscle a lot quicker and it's a lot more I'm dense. I'm not saying you have to look but, like The Rock to get a woman or that all women but, necessarily <laughs> prefer the ideal. I'm just stating what the cost of a perfect body is for each gender. I don't think you I even just, know what women really like in terms of body type because we don't want like the crazy Thor looking body. I didn't body. say that. Well, I the, didn't say that. The body you don't need steroids women. to look great. That I know would last or five so, plus is, years. Okay, let me so, let, like, let me just make it easy. And I know you want to come in here. Let me. I just, was just going to clear up your point. Uh, let, let me just say it like this. Understand. Here's my point. Agree or disagree? The beauty standard that each gender is trying to achieve. My position is is that it's harder for men to achieve the male beauty standard than it is for women to achieve the female beauty standard. That's it. That's what I'm arguing. Yeah, but. I disagree. Why? Because it's not that hard. Because how you, you feel? No, because it you feels? have more Do testosterone. You, know you that, put like, muscle on faster. But okay. you don't. You need not even. You need not even weight train as a woman to get like to reach the beauty standard. You said leg muscle. It's very hard to build air muscle definition. No, but the point I was trying to make is that <laughs> normal woman. Oh my god. That normal woman. These people that you think are normal what? are working out. They're Do you know that like women take up most of the market when you see like weight loss ads, weight loss pills, all of these things, women we are like flooding the market with that because women really do have a hard time getting in shape and you can't discredit child giving birth. Okay, because okay, that does okay. change that's, your body. Uh, that's not related me, to the conversation. But. It's, it's not about being in shape though, which occurs more naturally and easily. A, one, a desirable female body or a desirable male body, ideally. Women have to have a nice waist-to-hip ratio, not be overweight, breasts, ass, hips. Those things develop naturally through puberty. Men do not put on the amount of muscle mass that women find desirable without having to work for it. So that's what we're saying. The female body is going to develop to be desirable quicker than the male body is going to be You have desirable. to work to get it, but we also have to work to maintain it. That that's what? neither here nor there though. We're talking about getting there. I can't, which I which can't argue with this which girl which occurs first? You which, love it. Which your occurs, husband must be very patient. <laughs> <No. laughs> it's about which Actually, occurs no, first. I I th I, women are found more desirable you say, because okay, your bodies are naturally going to develop into having desirable features. You're going to grow breasts. You know, you're gonna grow hips. Not everybody, but yeah, most. Yeah, but yeah. what? Yeah, but that's what he's saying. He's saying it's easier for the female body to develop into a desirable body than it is for the male. Men have to work to get the ideal body that women are attracted to. Women don't necessarily have to work. Puberty will take you there. Mm -hmm. that's well, what he's I saying. can say can this. You tilt I've been your mic down. Your face is getting blocked. More, okay. more, more, more. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so I, I can say this. I've been. I was a dancer for eight years. I did weight training for five plus years. I've done bodybuilding shows. I know how much work it takes to look good. But here, let me tell you this. Me before, without doing weight training, I, I would say I did look better than mm -hmm. maybe my husband did, but I didn't meet him before he worked out. I already met him after he'd already been trained for five years. He did say he was a chubby kid. And even when he hit puberty, he didn't look that good. So I think it's relative. I don't know if we can even say a generalized statement right now, which is harder. <laughs> I really don't know if we can say that. Let me ask you a question, right? <laughs> who, who has it? This is like kind of totally out of left field. Who would have an easier time being a slut? An obese <laughs> woman or an obese man? An obese woman. An obese woman. Hmm. Interesting. Well, women are more likely to be fetishized, so like hmm. obese women. Nick, be you have those photos of, like, what Henry Cavill and yeah. Scarlett Johansson and shit. We'll just no, let's just blast through all of them. What's that? Men first. Men first, then women, or maybe. Okay, there's 
Now these are depictions in media. Damn. Women often complain to oh, the beauty standards as depicted in, in, in magazines and media. It's on mm -hmm. un, the unattainable beauty standards. <laughs> Boy, put us on the other side so we can, Anybody or make us smaller, or make us smaller. Just alone on this? <laughs> Left. All right, that, that, what is it, Chris Evans? Is this Chris, yeah, Evans? Chris Evans? Okay, next. It's my hall pass. That's uh, Thor, what's his name? Chris Hemsworth, okay. Uh, Henry Cavill, next. Mm -hmm. Now the women. That's, okay, Scarlett Johansson. That's, what's her name from? Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Okay. That's it? Okay, the two, the two, bo the, the bodies of the men, that's like, that is so much more unobtainable. <laughs> Almost any woman could achieve the bodies of those women. The whole, the whole feminist position is, there are depictions in media of these unobtainable body types, but we never look at the opposite side of the coin as actually the depictions of male body types in media. And I'm using superhero movies here. Women who are Scarlett Johansson, Gal Gadot, superheroes, right? Those guys, superheroes. Again, elite level genetics, treating the gym like a part-time job and or steroids to achieve those physiques I showed. Disagree. Okay, uh, let me what? go. Let me go. What do you disagree let me on? Go back what to my, you, what, let me go what back to my. What do you disagree? My, let me go back. I got to pee. Go ahead, say your thing. <laughs> what the? the this was directed towards you. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, maybe when you're younger, this would apply. Okay, because when you're young, you're a dude. You want to hit the gym with your, yeah, you know, with your guy friends, I'm whatever. <laughs> with your guy friends and whatnot. Are you still listening? <laughs> Should I continue my point? Yeah. Okay, I'll continue my point. Okay, so what I'm saying is when you're younger, yeah, maybe a, for a woman, it might be a little bit easier to maintain a, a petite physique. And then for a guy, maybe it is a little bit more work. But if you yes. think about it, when you're in your 40s and your 50s, a woman is going through Plato the kid 22 donated $100 the body is a determination of the willing it's running faster stronger and better than most guys that makes us desirable the girl can just not eat cheeseburgers that's never going to be fair that's all we say I eat cheeseburgers all the time um, that's all we anyways say. Because I go to the gym, I can afford it. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody should go to the gym. But my point is, is that when maybe when you're younger, it's a little bit easier for women to keep their, you know, petite physique. But then for a guy, maybe yeah, he does have to take extra time, go to the gym, lift weights, you know, do bench press, do his pull ups, deadlifts, and all that stuff. Um, but later on down the road, you know, women have a, a really hard time staying in that shape versus a man you know his body's not going through a hormonal you know tsunami as it would with a woman and so he can usually maintain his body a lot better than a woman can at that point we don't even want the woman she oh shit. what what at kind the, of the, the, sexist point, misogynistic that, shit point, have i walked into you talking about after uh, she's talking about menopause and at the pregnancy. Well, you need to discuss that, that we, because you're talking about women. No, we're talking about we're talking about achieving who what achieves is. the most desirable body more naturally and easier. Do you say you mm. don't want women like what if they're 40 to 50 yeah, or if they hit? Menopause? I'm talking about generally. I'm talking about the way we perceive attractiveness. I'm talking about the we're general population. We're talking peak. Peak we're talking, we're, 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 I'm not gonna. Get, I'm not gonna agree. Who gets there easier. Yeah. That's all. I'm not Here, gonna we're, agree. We're 100%. talking about like for like. Bringing in yes, there are certain biological realities of women going through pregnancy. But if we're comparing like for like, if we're comparing a m men between the ages of 18 and 30, who uh, we're not factoring in women who get pregnant, then there, there's no there's no comparison. Yeah. I guess I'm a little bit biased. Just take the L, bro. <laughs> Just take the L. Don't call me bro. Okay, I'm sorry, not dude. a bro. My <laughs> Wait, I'm not okay. your bro. You know what? I'm sorry. Hold on. I just, I, I do. I... I'd like to take this chance to apologize <laughs> to absolutely nobody. Okay, girl. So. <laughs> I don't care. Here, let's, we need to, I'm sorry, Puffy. 
Puffy. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Ray we, we Puffy. definitely I'm sorry, Puffy. Puffy. I'm, I'm gonna I'm say Puffy. that Puffy ain't even watching no more. Ray Puffy. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, read it. Never mind. Your mouth is so big it's unattractive. You say Marvel bods aren't women's desire. Five minutes later, Chris Pine is your hall pass. Please go put your makeup back on so we don't have to hear you for an hour. Wow. Any girl that says that that uh, the picture of Chris Evans saying that they would prefer a dad bod over Chris Evans' physique that we showed, which isn't like super steroided up, although he might be, I don't know. Yeah, he looked more normal. I think, yeah, it was, it was like a little more on the a athletic side, yeah. I'd say. I mean, still, that's pretty insane um, physique, but yeah, they're, they're taking his physique. They're not, they're not going for the dad bod. Yeah. If they had a choice, they're picking yeah, his physique. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard a woman but see a dad see bod pop up and just be like, oh, oh my God. Huh? Like, if you like put a girl that's not really into a dad bod would be a girl that maybe has a few extra pounds, and then a girl that's like very fit, you would choose the girl that's also. You would choose an overweight Wait, girl? What? I'm confused. Everyone wants the best that they can but get. But also, Wait. you might see the, one of these girls that have the natural nice bodies because they just don't <laughs> eat cheeseburgers. You don't know if they're like running three times a week. You don't know if they're like eating <laughs> 1,200 calories every day. You know, they've lost their period. No. Like, you don't know these things. Right? This is what happens. This is why it's so important to go to the gym. Go to the gym. <laughs> she, she's like, Can shout I out my, my gym. My gym? <laughs> <laughs> let's, Puffy, let's I see I have Puffy. a woman's gym, by the way. Oh. Puffy. Let's, let's, okay, girls, rate Puffy. Oh, uh, wait. I already saw him in the other one. Wait, don't scroll down. Yeah, I think that's... Can, can you just, like, go, come here, scroll down, and then we'll just look at his other ones? Yeah. Is there such thing as a, a 0 0.5? Of course. Of course. Right. Right. All right, guys, here's Puffy. Yeah. Look at, um, scroll down. Puffy got the this bag. is Puffy Vegas. <laughs> this is his Instagram. So rate him Puffy ever came to you on the scale of 1 to 10. On no. Wait, scroll. No, no, no. Scroll down. Hell Keep no. scrolling down, I think. <laughs> Unless, was there? <laughs> All right, I cool. Uh, right starting with you, going around the table, rate him on a scale of 1 to 10. I think that's what he wanted. Yeah. You can be honest, we uh, men. I personally, for me personally, two. Okay. <laughs> Three. Go ahead. Two. two. I would say like a one point five. Oh a zero. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, <what? laughs> y'all are too like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> so zero for you? Yeah. Damn. What the fuck? What about you? Whoa. <clears throat> Sorry. There, he's not a zero, guys. I actually was going to say you, you zero. You do realize five. like zero yeah. would be like significant facial mm -hmm. asymmetry, like deformity. Like, he ain't a zero, okay? Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, he's a 10. <laughs> Obviously. Cause he's my sugar daddy. Just kidding. Just kidding. Right. <clears throat> what? He's not my sugar daddy. I'm kidding. <laughs> he is a patron of the whatever <laughs> podcast. Though. Tomato, Thank you, bro. tomato. All right, we should, I, dude. I, I, I think we bring him on the podcast. Do it. Should I do a poll? Well, maybe I'll think about you it. Okay. Grid one. Yeah. Okay, Maddie. I'm gonna have you read this one. I tell women I'm six foot three inches. They look very confused when they realize I'm only six feet tall. By the way, you look much better without the makeup. Ah, She's talking about me. Oh, go. yeah, I took my makeup. Thank you. Yeah, you're like a young Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what? I put time into that, and I, like, took That's it a off. Compliment. I was, like, right. expecting a little bit more praise. Here, Maddie, can you read this one? Men fall in love with looks. That's why women wear makeup. Women fall in love with words. That's why men lie. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this before. Yes. Uh, to, to uh, it's a good, good. Thank you, Jay. That was great. Jay. Yeah, that well was put. great. Well put, guys. Go to twitch.com slash whatever. Drop a follow and a prime so sub good. if you can. Also, um, uh, subscribe to our Clips channel, please. Sub to our Clips channel. There it is. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, let me get through our our uh, notes here from people. Um, 
Maddie, you said you found your boyfriend making corn on Twitter with another girl when he was supposed to be on a work trip? Bro, that story, I don't even know. Okay, basically that happened. We stopped seeing each other. Uh, Big Sass Energy donated $100. Seat number four, sing along. Chill out, watch a yell in four. Lay back, it's all been done before. <laughs> and if you could only let it be, you would see E, I like you the way you are. When we are driving in your car. Read it, <laughs> sing it, go. <clears throat> oh, there we go, here we go. <laughs> Wait, I, don't, I actually don't want to sing though. <laughs> <laughs> That was so disappointing. <laughs> she cleared her throat and everything. No. All right, I've sorry, brother. Singing lessons. So, what's the story, real quick? Okay, I was seeing a guy. We were exclusive. Um, he wasn't fast enough on a comment on his Instagram. I saw the girl's page while he was on a work trip, because she said like Poppy or something, and I was like, huh? Went onto her page. She lived in the same state that he was working in, and then I clicked on her Twitter, and there was a whole lot of <laughs> there's a whole lot of porn. So we stopped seeing each other, Sorry. and then they broke up a few weeks later. I hung out with him one time. Also, if this goes anywhere, like in a clip or something, I will get my ass beat. So like, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but like, what are you talking about? So then for the next two months, I got death threats from this girl, and I don't know why. Still don't know why, but it's all over her Twitter. If you go look at her Twitter, her threatening to kill me, and a bunch of videos of what she wants to do to me, because I hung out with the guy that I was seeing at the same time as her, that I stopped seeing, and when they broke up, I saw him one time. And then they got back together and never spoke to him again. That's Sounds healthy. Story. Yeah. Sounds healthy. Yeah, you said that you find the bigger you get on social media, the harder it is for me to date, but I'm starting to not really care. Men were terrible to me before SW, and now they just show who they are faster, saves me time. Yeah. Yeah. I've dated like more without doing sex work than I have with doing sex work, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I find the treatment very similar, mm. but then like men slip faster in the same ways that maybe would have taken them six to nine months, they're slipping in three months and it's the same behavior. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the more I grow, okay, so I seen this other guy, the one that I stopped seeing like last week and one of the last things he said to me, cause I got recognized in a Starbucks when I was with him by a girl. I didn't think anything of it. And then on the phone, he said, I actually don't want to be with a girl that gets recognized in public. I don't want to be with a girl that makes me feel bad about myself because she's making all this money and I'm a server. When I told him, I don't put any um, importance on like financial stuff with men because I just, I just don't care. If you're like a cool person trying to do anything with your life, mm -hmm. it's fine. You don't need to have all of this stuff. Hmm. And I didn't ask him for anything either. Huh. It's beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful story. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. That was, it was good. It was a good one. Um, yeah. You said men were terrible. Well, you kind of told us a bit. Maybe, we'll, okay, we'll come back to that. I'm bringing it over here to Meg. Mm -hmm. So, Meg, you said dating younger men is safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of women, probably not anyone here, but a lot of women like try to go for younger men or men who are less experienced because I believe that if they're not as experienced, they're not going to trigger you as much. So when you date like an older guy who's had more experience, who's a bit more mature, he triggers you more and it like makes you look more at yourself. And some people want to avoid that. So they date younger. So wait, are you advocating for women to I'm not, I'm not taking a stance. Oh, you're just kind of making an observation. Yeah. Okay. So, what Wait, do you personally do? <laughs> do you date like younger men? Or? So, I dated a younger guy before, and I didn't grow at all in the relationship. Uh -huh. Because he couldn't, like, mm, okay, push me I see. or show me anything about myself. Mm, and now, okay. with my current partner, he's always mirroring back to me things that I can improve about myself. So okay. the easier thing to do I see. is date younger or like less mature. So kind of are you saying that younger men are going to tolerate your 
bad habits. I don't think tolerate. I think just not be aware as much. Right. Wait, how much older is your partner? He's 24. And how old are you? 22. Oh, yeah. Okay. You said, you also said all men are trash. No, I didn't. Wait. I you did said. not say that. You, well, okay, so, so Read sorry. Read the whole thing. You're right. Okay. Yeah. You said, if you think all men are trash, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I think it's Henry Ford who says, whether you think you can, you will, or whether, what was it? Those that you say keep messing you up think? the quotes tonight, by the way. <laughs> I'm doing my best. So those that say ahead. they can and those that say they can't are both usually They're right. They're both right. Yeah. Okay. So whatever you think and feel about someone is how they have to show up for you. So if like people keep saying like all men are trash, all men are trash, that's the story that they're telling themselves. If they say, mm -hmm. oh, all men that I see, they cheat or they're in their, in their marriages and they're not loyal, that's just the story that you're telling yourself. And mm. you can always choose to think and believe something else. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of misunderstood. Perception you creates said. your reality. interpreted reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you also said trust issues aren't a real thing. What do yes. you mean by that? I love these. So I think... When you're in a relationship and you choose the right partner for you, like you go through the extensive vetting process, you understand who they are as a person, then when you're dating them, you shouldn't have trust issues. You only have trust issues when you don't trust yourself to use your discernment mm. when it comes to your partner. Hmm. That's beautiful. That's nice. Thanks. I like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, question for, how do you say your name again? Mis Misra. Misra. Is that your real name? Mizra. Or is that like a stage name? Um, I mean... Yeah, it's a stage name. It's English. Like, no, is it a stage name? Like, no. <laughs> like, it's my... Wait, what? You scoot into the table. Yeah. Uh, do you consider yourself traditional? No. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving to our good friend... Kala? Kayla? Yeah, Kayla. Uh, Kayla, you wanted to talk about your experience as a stripper. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually wrote a book um, mm -hmm. basically where, because most people think that strippers um, are like having sex for money or they're whores or any, you know, things like that. And actually, it's not true for the most part it's not true and I wrote a book which basically teaches women how they can use their feminine energy and their power um, to make money in the club hmm. okay straight oh, he's, he's saying oh. straight into the mic and so I have a question for you mm -hmm. what generally speaking you don't need to go into specifics about your own experience unless you want to okay. what Speaking of money, what kind of money are girls making in the club? Um, I can't speak for other girls, but I can speak for myself. Sure. Um, so the most money that I've brought into a club was thirty thousand dollars in the night. In a night, mm -hmm. I made eight thousand. I brought in a friend; she made five thousand cash, and then the club gets the rest because I think he bought like two bottles, two or three bottles. Okay, nice, nice. What about how, how are things looking in a year? Um, I don't really want to oh, continue yeah. stripping, so. Um, well, how long have you been doing it? Since 2019. Okay. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Question, mm -hmm. like you approach dudes and, right? Oh, yeah. You approach dudes, all right. Pretend I'm a trick or a mark or whatever <laughs> they're called. I don't even call them tricks. I, I, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so how would you come up to me? Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'd just be like, well, I, I, yeah, you, you were the type that I would go up to. What the um, fuck? You are. I'm you the were, type? I have a type that I would go up to in the club. For, to get money off of them. <laughs> so I great, just, great. Um, okay. if you walk in, I'd just be like, hey, like, what's your name? Where are you from? That's the most insulting. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's the, that's he's so the. Funny. Yeah. Wait, why are you agreeing? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. 
<laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. So I'd just be like, hey, like, first off, I would like, I mean, I wouldn't grab you, but I, I, I wouldn't grab you. I don't grab anybody. You took some MILF. <laughs> what? Whoa, where did that come from? So I would just, um, I just, you know, make my presence known. Hey, how are you? What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Cornelius. <laughs> okay. Good to meet you. Is it your first time here? It's my 20th. Oh. So are you a local? Because I don't deal with locals. No, I just drive three hours to come here to get away because so my wife doesn't <laughs> see. So you, so you pretty much know how the club works. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard when they kind of know how the club works because when they don't know, I oh. feel like you can like... You can finesse? You can finesse more. How do you finesse? Finesse me. Let's see it. Okay. Oh, uh, so, oh, uh, yeah. Um, it's my first time. Oh, it's your first time? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So here's the thing. So where I'm working now, they have set prices. Okay. Set um, price? For set the... price for like an hour um, is 600 Now, when I worked at another club that didn't have set prices, you can like literally go in and you can just say like for an hour, for example, in the hour VIP room, I just go in there with a the guy and I just throw a number out there, 4000 Either he's going to mm -hmm. do it or he's not. Where I'm working now, you can't do that. So, um, okay. basically, how I would finesse you if I wanted more out of a $600 room, I would just say things like, um, like, <coughs> okay, the club's going to take a percentage of my money. To, can you make it an even thousand? Can you tip me 400 And they do. And sometimes they tip more. Cool. Mm hmm. But like, let's do a role play here. Okay. So like, let's actually role play. Oh. Okay, so I'm in the club. That's how you were in the club? You're in the club like that? <laughs> what? Me. <laughs> oh, look at the titties. Uh. Like you're coming at me like that? <laughs> nah, just that's, I'm just like, oh, the club. Yeah. Oh. So like you're coming in like you don't know nothing, like a, like like an just, just roll just role play it, just role play it. If you well, God if you came at me like I'm just that, like, I'm just like a naive white boy. That's it. Just come up to me, naive white boy. Okay, like I said, what's your name? Where are you from? Have you been here before? Have you seen hey, the rooms? Yo, um, my name is Henry. Okay, Henry. The fifth. Are you ready to have some fun tonight? Ooh. What kind of fun? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what kind of fun are you looking to get into? I, I don't know. What does the missus provide for the services? Well, <laughs> come here and let me show you. Let me take you to our VIP. Ah, can you tell me more about this VIP section? <laughs> So that's what, <laughs> so basically, this is what I tell guys. I'm British, by the way. This is what I tell guys. Um, and it's not true because where we work, where I work, you're not allowed to get naked. You're not even allowed to wear a G-string. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, they're real strict. Um, what if we're in the VIP room, my dear, and I want to have sexual intercourse <laughs> with you? Oh, that's you. not going to happen. I thought in the, sh what's that song by, uh, is it Chris Rock? It's like <laughs> sex in the champ. Something about the champagne room. What is it? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've heard that. But um, no, you're not having sex with anybody in that club. What about after? <laughs> no. I would like my dear to have sexual intercourse with you after the club. Pay me money right now, and then maybe I'll come. Oh. But then I really don't come. Yep. So that sounds like my ex-girlfriend right there. <laughs> <laughs> she never came. Now it became Australian. I don't know. So if they're like super desperate about like wanting to hang out with me after the club. Yeah. And if I know that I can get them to get me money in the club. Okay. It's it's all it's kind of game. It's just trickery, okay. honestly. Cool. That was enlightening. <laughs> Damn. It's just a game. You said you regret working in the industry, though. Why don't you tell I mean, us about that? I mean, I don't really regret it. Oh, okay. Um, I just think that I've grown tired of it. Even though I make good money, mm -hmm. um, even on nights where I make good money, I'm still like over it. Um, and I just mm -hmm. think that it's come comes with just being in the industry 
Mm. I mean, no. Cause have, you ever, women... have you ever had a sugar daddy? You know what? No. But uh-huh. there was this guy that I met last week. He's actually a YouTuber. Um, he wanted, he was telling me he was, he was on this site. Um, Seeking. Seeking. Seeking, yeah. Out. And he was like, have you heard of this site? And I was like, no, I've never heard of it. And he was like, well, you know what? Like, I'm a YouTuber now. I'm making all this money. Like, I want to take care of a woman. I'm like, okay. And he's like, I want to take care of you because you're smart. You're the first one who came up to me. I think you're smart. You have a book out there and you're on YouTube. Um, I want you to be my sugar baby or whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically I was supposed to hang out with him on Sunday, right? He was going to take me to dinner and he told me, he was like, you know, I'll pay you to take you to dinner. Long story. <laughs> Long story short, I didn't go um, because I just didn't want to. And he ended up sending me $500 because I still asked him, can he send me $500 so I can, you know, use it to get out here? Because he knows I'm on this show. (laughs) He just sent you $500? Yeah, I literally show you the message. He just literally sent me $500. So that's the only sugar daddy situation? Well... uh, he wasn't even really a sugar daddy because I never even met oh, him. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. You said you had a sugar daddy situation too? Yeah. How many sugar daddies have you had? Um, one long term and then I've done like a few like dinner dates. Going back to you really quick. Mm-hmm. How many, actually show of hands, any other girls here had a sugar daddy ever? No? Come on. You've had a sugar daddy, right? <laughs> I wouldn't like count it as that. What do you, what did you count it as? <laughs> whatever, like, whatever it was. Was it? I, I like said it last picks? time I was here. I forgot. Sorry. It was like. Oh, you've been on? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, um, this dude asked if he could like pay me to like send a voice memo over Instagram saying he has a small dick. Oh, wow. And actually, after I went on this podcast, some random person Venmo me $500. What? Yeah. So shout out to Wait, that Wait, what's the, give us a little more details than that. So I was like checking my Venmo and then I was like, why do I have $500 in here? And I saw that a random person sent me $500 with a rose. So then I did like FBI investigation. Then I went on his profile. I found his mom. Then I found his mom's Instagram. And then I found his mm-hmm. <laughs> His Instagram from his mom. Then I saw that he followed the whatever podcast. I was like, okay, that makes sense. Did you message him? No. I thought it was a scam. I called my mom and I was like, is this real? Like, can you take money Bro, back from Venmo? L for if you're watching right now, dude, that's a, that's a no. <laughs> Please he Venmo sent me. you five. Five hundred dollars. Did it say like in the, me- the memo, whatever podcast? It no, went- it, it was a rose. What? And I, I mean, it went through. It's in my bank account. Damn. Yeah. Simp, simp. That's it, though. And then you said there, you a guy paid you how much to say he had a small ween? I don't know, like like a hundred or two hundred dollars. And I was like, like, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> I want to finesse. I I would love to finesse women in this way. Like, where's all the women sliding into my DMs wanting? I'll degrade. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that's I don't know if I want to. Is that sex work to do that? Yeah. I don't know if I want to be classified as a sex worker. <laughs> yeah, I had an opportunity like that. I don't know if I... I the whole degradation thing's kind of weird to me. But um, where's all... I want, At least I want the option to say no. <laughs> at least, like, I want to at least have women... Like, Mis- Misra? Misra. Misra. Why can't you just fucking message me? Be like, yo, Brian, can you just, like, cuss at me or some shit? And I want to be like, ugh. <laughs> No, here's $300. Uh, uh, no. Uh. <laughs> I want to do the reverse. I want to yeah. re- do the reverse finesse. Yeah. Like y'all be getting all these dudes. It's got to funnel up to me. <laughs> Bro, but you have like these kind of girls on your podcast so you get more views. Like you're Wait, finessing. That... Like you're still using like... <laughs> Girls I guess you're right. Sex work for I guess she's right. Damn, you're in sex work. Ah! No, not really. I'm in <laughs> podcast. You're capitalizing work. on work. Podcast. Oh wait, yeah, capitalizing. 
Boom. But wait, Boom. so okay, so Sugar Daddy, uh, what about you? Ever had Sugar Daddy scenario, sold uh, feet pics, 300 bucks, that kind of shit? No, I, I got a lot of messages from like mm -hmm. people claiming to be Sugar Daddies, but I felt like it was always just fake. I've so gotten no. a lot of those too. When I was single, I actually considered it. <laughs> I didn't. What about you? Any Sugar Daddies? I know, you got some. You got some. <gasps> A few, but before, obviously. Bef before? before relationship. When you break up with this guy, are you going back to OnlyFans? I mean, I'm, I'm not thinking of breaking up. Is that why you stopped doing OnlyFans? Because of your new relationship? And he didn't no, like it? I just, like, it felt like, like, I was just bored. Of taking naked photos of yourself? <laughs> it's a lot of work. Like, it's, <laughs> it's really time consuming. Okay. Mentally, I'd say it's exhausting, honestly. Yeah, like, it's, it's a lot, and especially, like, because, like, my family's Turkish, so it's, like, a lot of... They like, would disown you? They already did. They already did? Whoa, okay, okay, that's new. Yeah, I don't talk to any of my family members. But was it worth it? <laughs> it wasn't for that. It oh, why like, did yeah. they disowned you for what? Did you stab somebody? No. Let's go deep here. Well, let's figure this out. <laughs> you, okay, so we're ruling out stabbing, correct? Yes. So no stabbings occurred. Have you... Did you commit treason? Any acts of treason? High treason? Low treason? Medium treason? Any violent acts of, you know, no violence. You... It's something you're not going to be able to guess. Oh, you should just tell me that. <laughs> I just I want to let you do it. <laughs> you want me to guess? Then go for it. You... Burned a Turkish flag? Is that illegal? I don't know if it's illegal, but you bring great dishonor to family. Yeah. It wasn't like, you did something deep. You are a witch and <laughs> put a curse on somebody. Yeah. Dang. Can you just tell us what it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, you gotta speak into the mic. Why, why were you, can you tell us the, the, the theme of why you were disowned? Um. By both parents? Whole family? It's my whole family, so even like my extended. It wasn't the OnlyFans? Huh? It wasn't the OnlyFans? No, but they were pretty Let me about wait, that I have something. I have something here. On your OnlyFans, it says perkiest tits on OnlyFans. Your words, not mine. Was it, <laughs> was it because of the perkiest tits thing? No. <laughs> Is that false? Wait. So, okay, what was it? Just tell us. <laughs> no, like, it, it was, it's like nothing that I can say on camera. Did you, like, kick a baby in the face? It wasn't anything that I did. What? That doesn't make sense. It was, it was so something that was done to me. And then, to oh, something. So sorry. Was. It was something, like, that was, like, done to me. And then, like, they, like, it was just, like, a religious, like, it was just, like, a different perspective. And so, there it was. Like, that was it. Is it Were you assaulted? Thomas the Poet donated $99. <coughs> I fucking love Maddie. I totally would simp for her. Which one? She rocks my world. Maddie is curse lit. I assume it's this Maddie here. Do you know who Thomas the Poet is? I have no idea. That's so nice. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Was it a... Was it a you didn't want to do an arranged marriage? No. Give, a, give us a hint. The one previous to what you said was correct. Oh. Yeah, that's mm. why like, I'd rather not. Okay, all right. Well, sorry to hear that. It's okay. Does your, your family, they live in Turkey? No, uh, my mom and my stepdad live in like the US. And then all my other family members are in Turkey. Wait, is, I mean, not that I want to linger on this conversation for too long, and I'm sorry that and if I have if no it's what I think it is, um, no, I, is that a thing where I've heard of this maybe? 
wait. You were disowned because you were essayed. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Did that occur before or after your sex addiction? Um, it was from ages six to twelve. So, yeah, that was like way before. But that's why, like, I don't have. So you you were orphaned at. I wasn't orphaned. Um, I'm I just confused. I told like my aunt, and then she was like, "Oh, it's normal in Turkey." To be disowned by your family. No, to to be essayed. So I don't I think that's normal. For, like, like that's why I would continue. But no. Um, then my mom and I were like so close, and then we just get into like mom and daughter fights. That's it. All right, moving on. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Um, okay. okay, so sugar daddy. <laughs> Wait, did did we talk about you had a sugar daddy? Yeah. A few. A few. Here and there. Question for you: What is in in one transaction? What's the most that you've ever received from a sugar daddy into the mic? I think 10 or 15. $1,000? Yes. What's the most total you, you've received from one? What's the most total? Like so you said in one transaction, they sent you like $10,000 or $15,000. But let's say they sent you, maybe they sent you 5,000 here, 3,000 there, 1,000 here. If you were added all up for just one, What's the most total? Um, I'm not sure. I think it would be more than six figures, like over a hundred thousand dollars. No, no, definitely not. More than fifty thousand no, dollars from just one. No. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. More than twenty thousand. Like around there. Okay. Uh, right. What about you? Like around a hundred. Wait, in one transaction or overall? One transaction. Oh. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to think of everything. Honestly, my long-term one got me like the most stuff, but like at a time it may be like two, three thousand, you know. But then he also bought, like paid for everything, and mm -hmm. then like my bought me a laptop, this, that, anything. So biggest individual transaction was one or two thousand dollars. No, like two to three, but. What about total? Like around a hundred. Hundred thousand. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn, son. Yeah. You still hit me up. Still? Yeah. I still make Isn't him that kind Venmo of, me sometimes. But you don't... What? Have you met him in person? Yeah, I dated him. Oh. Okay. So you yeah. guys were... For like a long time. And he, but he's also your sugar daddy. He was my sugar daddy, okay. yeah. And I then see. I ended up dating him, but Damn. he still paid for everything. Where's all, where's all the women trying to pay me to date me? <laughs> You, you can know? probably find it. Go on Seeking. Make a profile. There's also girls that like want to be sugar mamas. I've been there. Yeah, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. It's not like it doesn't exist. I'm just saying, 100K, you know, listen, you want to throw a bit of that my way. I'm cool with that if you want to, you know. <laughs> These women, they, uh, I don't know. They're not, uh, you know. It's crazy. You're not willing to put in as much financial effort as men are. To what? The ladies. Not willing to put them. Like, even if you get a girl who DMs you, they're, they're not even going to, like, like a dude, if you give a, a, say a dude DMs you, and you're down to meet him, he'll either fly you out or he'll fly to you. Yeah. But, like, a girl could DM a dude, bro, she still wants you to pay for the flight. Yeah. She ain't, she ain't paying for the flight. Yeah. <laughs> I've had it. Well, actually, that's not true. Have you I've, ever paid to fly a girl out? I've had, so I've had women fly out to come see me. But they paid for it? Mm-hmm. No, you know, they're desperate yeah. for you. Hot. Yeah, I've had that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, good talk. That was nice. <laughs> this is good talk. Okay, what else? Let me see what else. We have, uh, okay, we did that. We have Jordan here. Uh, Jordan says, back when I wasn't a Christian, I was very promiscuous. How, yes. so, how so? I went on a lot of dates without the intention to 
be in a relationship, mm-hmm. one night stands, things like that. You had a lot of one night stands. Is that what you're saying? I've I've had yeah in oh, the past. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. You had some other disagreements here that you listed. Uh, <laughs> SL underscore I dot D dot underscore 272 A 39 DF 91 B 5 3716 donated $100. Let you cook Brian. Pick oh. a subject that works for the man. Yeah, I'd like to hear. I'd like, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get Q in here in just a sec. Uh, really quick, just since we have the chats coming, Maddie, can I have you read this one that's about to come up from the Pope? who donated 50. Peace to the saints. That girl on the far right got caught lying about Marquette Burton after the show, saying that he subscribed to her. One of Marquette's songs say, you'd be a fool if you trust her. Actually, that's not what I said. So after the show, Marquette DM'd me and he asked how old I was. And when I said I was 21, he said, when are you coming to Vegas? Do you want a link? With a cheersing emoji, when I didn't reply, he unsent the message and then said, like, hours later, for a podcast, because he know that he got caught <laughs> trying to fuck an OnlyFans girl. He didn't subscribe to my page. Okay. So, yeah, he doesn't practice what he preaches. Mm. Okay. Well, he's not here to defend himself. I have receipts. Okay. Cool. Good times. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, oh, Jordan, Jordan. We're back to Jordan. And then I, I need to get, okay. Uh, you said that Brian mentioned that women should be drafted. I highly disagree with that. Yeah. Let's go around the table on that, starting with Jordan. Should women be drafted to the military? No. The same way that men could be drafted to the military? No. Point, no. Pointing at you? Um... I don't really know. I don't really have an opinion on that. You, you don't have an opinion? Okay, so we go to war, right? You're 18, you said? Mm-hmm. Okay, drafting age, cool. So <laughs> we go to war. Right now, currently, only men can get drafted uh, into the military. Uh, you, don't, you say you have, don't have an opinion about it. Let's say, you know, there was a risk of them equalizing the draft. You have any opinions on it? Okay, wait. No, I don't think they should. Sorry, w- I, women I did shouldn't be... not understand your question at okay. first. Okay. So being forced to go yeah, into the military... Yeah, I got that now, yeah. Okay, what about you? No. Okay, what about you? No. What, what about you? No. No. Wow, we have no feminists at this <laughs> no, table. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I thought some of you might have been feminists. Um, <laughs> you disagree with my position? Why? I mean, <coughs> we're not as strong as men, realistically. If you're Doesn't fighting matter. a Doesn't matter. You can pull a trigger. In any way, running, endurance, stamina, Too bad. anything. Equality. Okay, then more women are just going to die and not benefit the well, war. Also, just mentally and Meat emotionally, shield. we're not as strong. Like, mm. I would say, like, it would honestly be so much more trauma for us <laughs> to deal with after yeah we should protect men from that okay but or you at have least to protect have it be equal. the women and, and, I, are, and I agree with you and i, and should, I do it should agree. be equal right no, no because women part. are the ones that make children so and keep... <laughs> so what so is you are you with the children the thing women. like Huh? You protect the women, men go to war. Like, that's how it goes. Well, we send the ones who thought, don't want kids I to thought war. it was equality. I thought we have equality now. Within None reason. of us are feminists. What do you mean so this within is the wrong re- crowd. Uh, some women here sense? are probably feminists. They like, just haven't. Does it genuinely make sense <laughs> to send an yes. equal amount of... Yes. To fight for our In country fact, when it literally would put us me, back physically. No, check this out, right? I actually think it makes more sense. <laughs> we send, maybe this is some, I don't know anything about military strategy. We send the women in first to kind of weaken up them. Then the men, after all the women die, then the men come in and we can scorch them. Mm-hmm. Right? right? If you I killed all the women, how do we procreate? Right. No, yeah, not, you're not literally all the women. willing to you don't throw all away women. our chance of procreating. Period. Huh? What? I didn't say send all the women. Just like maybe 50% of them. You literally said, and I quote, kill all the women. Send 50% of them. 
It's great. Brian, respectfully. Respectfully. No. Respectfully. <laughs> Listen, okay. I think as a matter of fairness and <laughs> equality, equality, women should be drafted. Okay, so you're but it hasn't been fair for no, I'm how a, long? No, I'm an egalitarian. Like, What's that? But that's not, that's that's not working how this out for world Scandinavia. works. Like, oh, I don't care about Scandinavia, but... You're arguing for, like, fighting for our country. Yes. You would want to use the strongest, most Women are most strong, fit. independent boss not babes. As- <laughs> women, are, women are strong... <laughs> boss, Ryan. boss bitches, boss Ryan. babes. You guys can go to war. Go no. into the... You know, you're just trolling mm-hmm. now. I'm not trolling. I'm dead no, serious. You're no, you're trolling. you're trolling. No, I swear to God, I'm not trolling. No, no you're 100 trolling. On your own I'm not trolling. You I'm not know trolling. that you women are. shouldn't go to war. You know that Cap. it would literally put no. us back. Does he have the How would it put Cap us back? Button? We're not as strong as men, bro. Physically. What's that? What's that saying? Uh, like, God, God made men. Uh, God, God, like, God if, made men unequal. Uh, Smith and Wesson. Oh Jesus Christ! I always fuck this one up. God <laughs> damn! Damn, messing up all your quotes Whatever. tonight. <laughs> Firearms made humans equal. Okay, a woman is capable of depressing a trigger just yeah, as well. Yeah, but that is literally saying if you sat in one position, war was sitting in one position and mm-hmm. just sitting there. What do it's you mean? not into counting carrying the guns. Women can't you... carry as heavy equipment for as long. So we can't. So. So why so? would you send the more unfit people to fight for something also, that actually Because violently... equality. No, because uh, stupidity. No, because equality. No, because stupidity. Well, then why are women allowed to volunteer for the military? Because that's their choice what, to make. Would you th- let me ask you a question, though. Would you object to us preventing women from volunteering for the military? Honestly? Okay. All right. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Okay, why? Because men are supposed to protect women and our country Mm. so that women can have kids and be caregivers to the children. Take okay, care but you're, of the you're home. talking about, for example, let's let's go back to the most recent draft. Who's gonna watch the kids, on, by the hold way? Hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the most recent the draft, draft, right? The Vietnam War. So this was not like a massive. A lot of granted, a lot of men were drafted in the Vietnam War, but it wasn't like we didn't send all the men to Vietnam. So let's say we were in a conflict like Vietnam again, and we drafted, I would actually be curious if, I don't know if you can look up the exact numbers, how many troops we sent over to Vietnam, how many of which were drafted. Let's say we drafted 100,000 women to go to Vietnam. That wouldn't have any real impact. Like we wouldn't be able to repopulate, like that would have no real impact, you know, in terms of, oh, all the women are gone, we can't repopulate our nation. Are you saying like 100,000 men, 100,000 women go? Sure. Equal amounts? Sure. That are drafted it's against their will. a very soft version of okay. population control there, buddy. It's that fine. That makes no sense, but okay. It's fine, but you're yes, it does. 200,000 people <laughs> and a half of your entire army is less fit for the job. Why would you want That's that for really your country? That's really a sexist statement for you to <laughs> no, say. No, it's not. That's it's so no, sexist. No, it's not. It's scientifically proven that men are stronger than women. Oh, I agree with and you. And anytime a woman literally killed herself <laughs> trying check, to climb Mount out. Everest. Check this out. By herself That's or something it. to prove that she could do it. A woman-led group. How about this? Dead. How about this? Let's say, then how about <laughs> we, we, we draft women into support roles? We okay, that's milita- fine. We need military nurses. We need support. That's roles. fine. Oh, okay. uh, I'm okay with that. But we okay, but sure. we currently don't. Okay, well, well um, we should. But have also, them. as I, I object to this view that men are the disposable sex, and we are. Men are the disposable sex. That's why for millennia, for centuries, men are sent off to war to go and die. Now, I think that this is, this is clearly evidence of some deep-seated bias towards <laughs> men and no it's not because you're yes, not making is. babies it's irrelevant aye, aye, aye. it is relevant totally irrelevant no it's the most relevant thing because you're we need less of you to make more humans we yes. can get by with very few men okay but see as a man uh i don't really feel good how do you feel i don't really Tell feel <laughs> yeah. like you know that's like it's as, fair. as just an, on an individual level, do you think that that's a, a guy not, let's say a guy doesn't want to go to war, right? Okay. And he's forced into war. Okay. Which happened a lot. 
happens yeah. a lot. Happens exclusively yeah. to men. Okay. Okay, there's benefits that come with being a man and there's benefits that come with being a woman and there's also drawbacks to both. You're less likely to be killed by your partner. You're less likely to be raped. You're less like all of these things. Okay, we can talk about the difference. We can talk about the differences oh, on a societal. We can talk about the differences on a societal level. But let's talk about what's enforced by the state and the government. And if the government says that men and women are equal by law, then so too should they be subject to military conscription, regardless of whatever social social dynamics are just sort of n ingrained. To me, it's not like a social thing. It's like a physical thing. Like, you, you know, like I'm never going to leave the argument that a, a woman would be less fit to serve in a war. Like that, that's just the truth. I'm... And Brian, I'm sure you agree with that. Agree with what? That, that men woman are physically be... stronger. I think men make better soldiers. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then why would you want... <laughs> a woman on the front lines. So then why would you want half women on the front lines? How would you feel about to your wife up, being on the front soften, lines? To soften up the enemy. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> to soften insane. up the enemy. That way, you know... <laughs> when the men come, when our men to come in, cushion? you're delusional. Yeah, meat shield. You're delu 2024 shield. did you dirty. Not, the delusion is just. I don't know what you're talking delusional. about. Delusional. Delusional. Explain to me. You would be okay with your wife being drafted? What? <laughs> being used as a cushion? Hey, you know what? That's that's <laughs> fair. That's equal. <laughs> what about your kids? What do you mean, my kids? Who's going to stay home with your kids? I am. <laughs> Bruh. Here's, yo, it's actually funny. I was thinking about this. I've said this before on the show, right? So, okay, you think about like, what is the most, and I don't like to use this term, but like a girl started asking me about this one show. So like, there's this trope about, well, like the most like boss thing to do as a man is to like jump in front of a bullet to protect your wife. <laughs> and like, that's the most alpha thing. Okay. Actually, <laughs> the most fucking alpha thing would be to use your woman no. as a meat shield. That way you can continue on and get another woman pregnant and continue spreading your seed instead of sacrificing yourself like, like you're disposable. That sounds That's like a the most, selfish answer. You're trolling. You're, no, I swear to God. Brian, no, from, six from a, hours from a, deep, uh, what, what, wait, 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 what's you're it called? You're still trolling. No, 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 I swear to fucking God. That, that's, so... Continuing on your bloodline by finding a new woman to procreate with technically would be the most alpha thing. I'm just saying. Loose pussy I'm, energy donated am I $100. Wrong, Chad? Women am I in wrong, general Chad? were strong and independent and want equality. Women on draft were not strong as men. Stop mm. the fucking cap. Get the fuck out. Hashtag equality. Hashtag you fucked up. Hashtag Brian Isama Klol and 9 at 19. We're what? literally what saying we're not as strong. I'm saying he's, but they're saying the whole movement. Mentally, oh, yeah. I would argue that women have better intuition. Look, <laughs> but physically, dude, dude, here, here's no. the thing, right? These guys, like, I get it. Like, oh, it's the masculine thing to like sacrifice your life for your woman, but like the apex fucking male maneuver no. to continue <laughs> propagating your bloodline with other women would be to, bro, I'm not winning any fucking friends with this one, would be to sacrifice your woman so you can continue. Uh, what if like, she's already pregnant? That's the selfish, like that is the most selfish thing, but it's in your best interest and that would be like the most. In your best interest? Yes, exactly. Yeah, you're selfish. You'd exactly. be a bad partner. No, that's not. I feel so, bad for oh, your so wife. A man not wanting to die is being a bad person. <laughs> You're saying sacrifice your wife. If, it, if I, yes, if you have to choose, if yes. If you have to choose. Yeah. I actually think it, it makes more sense because I'm more capable of providing for my children than she is. So therefore, but yes. There are, are there children already, hypothetically? Like they're alive and born? Yeah, but you don't have like the Let's say they are. Motherhood. Let's say they are. Then yes, it's better if I continue raising our children than you. I'm more capable of providing and protecting. I disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes uh, corn pop in the chat says sometimes you need to sacrifice the queen to get the checkmate 
Right, but women can learn how to sew. We can sew clothes. We can plant fruit and vegetables. <laughs> we can be very resourceful when we need to to take care of the children if we don't I have enough money. I swear I'm not trolling. Hopefully you I left some. Hopefully trolling. you left some dinero. Arguably, before you left currently, to war. Here. I would be able to provide better. I, and then, again, I don't, I don't consider myself an alpha male, but like if we're using like the, that sort of like those terms, right? I'm asking the chat here, what's more alpha taking the bullet for your wife. So if you choose, you have the scenario, right? She dies or you dies. I would argue the most, you could call it dark triad, whatever. The most <laughs> alpha move is your she dies, you survive, you can continue passing on your genetic legacy with other women. That's the most gangster shit, <laughs> right? All these, oh, I'm a, I'm a masculine man, I'm gonna die for my woman. Okay, what if you didn't, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's Sigma, I don't know. <laughs> right, what is it? Chat, what are your thoughts? <laughs> uh, I'm never getting pussy again. <laughs> They hear no, that. You're, you're that, that like dries up. Like, dude, a girl hears that shit. It's like, bro, you're he dumb. He took this troll way too far. No, I, women should get drafted though as a men's rights advocate. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Okay. As a men's rights advocate, women should get drafted. Stop okay. the cat. As hearing about our country. SL underscore I dot D dot underscore two hundred and seventy two A thirty nine D F ninety one B five three thousand seven hundred and sixteen donated one hundred dollars. My last dollar tonight, volunteer service and involuntary service is not some stupid metaphysics. History tells you that a county who doesn't have young men willing to sacrifice, the country will die. Period. Yeah. Volunteer service in, is not the so, stupid. Okay. History tells you that a country who doesn't have young men willing to sacrifice, the country will die. Okay, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here, we got some chats here. <laughs> Move that. Can you read this one? <laughs> Can you read this one? Yeah. Thank you, Jay. It's known that women make better marksmen, snipers when it comes to military services. True. They take instruction better than men. There's no ego involved. 23 year veteran of Canadian. The Canadians. And Air Force. I heard, I've heard that before. Oh. This one. Maddie is so talented. She can be live on a podcast and respond on LF at the same oh. time. Could have at least turned on honors while in seriousness. How much time? That's not true, but I do have an open message when you subscribe that gets sent out automatically. Oh, okay. Yeah. No typer or whatever no. it's called. Okay. Good times. Uh, look, women should get drafted. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, should we take away the vote for women? What? You realize that that's how men got the right to vote, right? Is being subject to military conscription. Honestly, if you took away my right to vote, I wouldn't be upset. Any other ladies here Ooh. want to weigh in on the voting thing? Girl, for your body? Like, what if you're raped and you get pregnant? Oh, and you, I'm so sorry. Okay, I, need, I think. What does that have to do with so voting? Sorry. Because you're voting for rights over your body, like rights over... Even if women didn't have... You're voting for so much stuff, but that's what's included. Like women's rights are getting like rolled back with all so of the laws. So SA has been criminalized even before women's suffrage. You do realize that, right? Yeah, but you know that they're trying to make... I don't know. Yeah, you have no idea what you're talking about. No, I don't, don't want to that... say the words on it. Can I say that a baby eater 3000, when you get rid of your baby... They're trying to make that abortion illegal. Can, yeah, I'm scared to speak on here. Ah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, they're trying to make that. Who? They got rid of Roe v. Wade, which just put it back to the states. States, yeah. The states decide. Yeah, so but now some states don't allow, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. why, as a woman, would you give up your right to vote on things that have to do with your body? And everything else. There's so many other things, but that's just like one example. Well, I'm pro-life. So there's that. Okay, but would but, you feel the same way if it happened? Like I said, I if if Wait. I didn't have the right to vote, what? I wouldn't be upset. That's so sad for women, honestly, and our society. 
I disagree. Oh, there's a feminist coming out. Are you saying that like your husband would vote in your best interest? Not about the abortion issue, but absolutely, my would, husband would vote in my yeah, best you interest. Would trust that. Yeah, mm-hmm. being a good wife is being able to submit to your husband and trust in his decisions to lead. Yeah, I think what the problem is is that we've lost sight of the real traditional nuclear family that is supposed to be valued. And if things were the way that they should be and that we do have those values, then yeah, the woman wouldn't really need to vote. I mean, In if today's the man society, is representing her well, then I can yeah. see that. In today's society, you know, I do, I do <clears throat> like the right to vote, but like I said, maybe if I'm changing the perspective to if I never had it, I don't think it would affect me. But now that I've had it, if they were to take it away, that's kind of different. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I think... Wait, I have a question for you, Maddie. If a guy gets a woman pregnant and she wants to keep the kid... Yeah. But he, let's say he's not ready to be a dad, maybe he's not uh, mentally ready, he doesn't want... uh, He's not financially ready. What What do you say to him? Did he consensually make the choice to come in this woman? I'm not sure where you're going with that argument, but f- sure, let's okay. say yes. If you come, sorry, let me point at you. If you come in a girl, mm-hmm. then you are consenting to the idea that if she could, that she could get pregnant, and you are doing that willingly, knowing mm-hmm. that she has a choice now because it's in her body. Okay, so as a woman, then, if you cons- if you consent, and you want a man to come inside of you and you realize that that carries a pregnancy risk are you saying that would you not be in favor of her not or would you not be in favor oh, fuck, jesus would you be against her getting an abortion i'm not against abortion okay well i'm a little confused there so you're saying when if a you think that consent to sex on the man's part or consent like coming inside of a girl means you are consenting to being a father and being financially obligated to 18 years to for child support when you come in a girl that is what you are doing right what you come in a girl to try to get pregnant like now people do it for fun or you could just or you could just think it's a it feels pleasurable well it doesn't matter because biologically that is what people do to get pregnant so you don't get to say wouldn't that that apply to women too to get came inside what yeah what you, are you, i mean you're letting I mean, it no, I mean, like that but we, you let him do it you but let isn't him that do it. Yeah. Penetrate you with a condom. It, like that's a risk you're taking not, is getting no, pregnant. Yeah. Not, not only did you let him penetrate you without a condom you're also more aware of your cycle you're aware of your closer to ovulation he doesn't necessarily know that you know what stage in your cycle you're in but are you arguing that like the man shouldn't have to be a father to the kid or should have a say in whether the baby is well it's interesting because you're basically so you're saying that if if a man consents to sex then he's also consenting to to a risk of pregnancy which you acknowledge he has if the woman chooses to, then he has no say in he has no say not growing in his body so he should have the man should have done what he should have (laughs) kept his legs closed he should have not had sex there's protection or there's trust in the person that you're having sex with. sometimes it sometimes those things fail okay but what if the woman lied that she was on birth control Mm -hmm. then that's plan b (laughs) <laughs> no, but what if she wants to keep the, the no, kid? No, that's deceiving. I don't agree okay, with that. But, I've seen it happen. Ah, uh, but legally he would still be obliged to pay child support. Yeah, but he's you're still having sex with the person. You know what? Birth control fails too. I've seen people get pregnant on IUDs. But it's interesting that how you have. So you're saying that it's more ethical, or well, you're you're saying that murdering killing a uh, unborn child is is better than better than what than a father abandoning his child killing an unborn child is better than a father abandoning the child like that's more acceptable i'm arguing that the oh, that women should have a rights to their body and 
But we're talking about a about life. Like if the woman decides it's to not a have, life, it's it's a few cells clumped it, together. But it will produce it's still a life. Your body though. It's like, it's gonna produce a life. Someone can't force you to give birth. Yeah. That's that, that's a lot. Yeah, but you also had a choice. You have a choice to not have sex. So did the man. Yeah, but you're, so both, why, the you're both taking. To not come, which is a lot easier, is it not? When it comes to, to not come. To what do you mean? Mean? She again donated $99. Whoever just sent the last message is lying. I messaged Maddie asking for a naked squatting video an hour ago and still haven't gotten a response. Maddie, message me after you're done. You're beautiful. Uh. Thank you. Okay, thank you. It's just interesting, like. People who, like, when you look at the male perspective when it comes to perhaps an unwanted pregnancy, you guys, your arguments are basically pro-life arguments, but for men. You should have not done that. You should have kept your legs closed. Too bad. Suck it up. And enjoy the, the enjoy the 18 years of child support. But a woman, here, here's the... Here's the uh, the other look at it a woman you you would tell a woman who says i'm not financially ready to have a child you'd be like totally fine with you getting an abortion a woman who's not ready to raise a child you'd say totally fine with you getting an abortion but when it comes to the man the the man side of that equation you're like tough suck it up he doesn't carry the baby doesn't matter but it's his semen Tell you what, here's an, how about this? So if a man fails to pay child support, we've done away with debtor's prisons in the United States. You cannot go to prison for a financial debt, except when it comes to child support. And this is definitely a gendered issue because men are overwhelmingly the ones that are legally compelled, typically through uh, the, the mothers, this is something mothers seek out, Men are legally compelled to pay child support, and if they don't, they're going to be jailed. Okay, but see, that I'm... is taking away that that is taking away their bodily autonomy. But I would, and not... you're forcing them to labor, which is and pay money that they would perhaps not want to give. That's taking away their bodily autonomy. You're you'd force them to work. But I'm arguing that women should always have the choice if they keep the baby. I didn't say it was right that men have to pay for the next 18 years, whether they're involved or not. I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. We're just saying that like a woman should have her own choice over her own body. But, but it's, then... it's interesting to me though, you're talking about bodily autonomy, but you say that men shouldn't have bodily autonomy because they get drafted into war. What? They don't. Men don't have bodily autonomy, because they're subject to military conscription. They're not carrying children. I don't see how that's relevant. I do. I would actually argue that forced military conscription is a bigger infringement on bodily autonomy than abortion. A, a woman's lack of ability to get an abortion. Do you disagree? Can you say it one more time? Okay. So here's the difference. So. I would argue that forced military conscription is a bigger infringement upon bodily autonomy than a woman not having a legal right to an abortion. Um, I'd say they're almost similar, really? honestly. Really? Okay, so, so one, so forced military conscription is your government saying, we are, w despite your <coughs> desires, we are going to pluck you out of Kentucky put you in a war zone where let's let's look at world war one you're going to be in a trench for months you're going to see a bunch of death you're going to have um you're going to have tinnitus because of all the uh military uh, excuse me because of all of the um shelling that's just bombardment non-stop you're going to have trench foot you're going to get chemical gassed uh you're probably you may very well just die or if you're not you're going to be a casualty and you'll have you know, perhaps substantial physical injury. And if you don't have physical injury, you'll have significant mental injury. Uh, they, you know, they called it shell shock. There's been different names, PTSD. Uh, I would argue that the state forcing you to do that versus a woman who, for example, consents to having sex and she has an unwanted pregnancy and she's not capable of getting an abortion. So my position again 
is it's a bigger infringement upon one's bodily autonomy to be forced into war than you not being able to undergo a medical procedure. It's not just a medical procedure. It, it's that's actually exactly what it is. Year. Oh, but if you, you could, don't do you could, it, what it, you if you give don't it do it, it is a life. It is a no, full person. You could give it up for adoption if you were so inclined. If you're not ready to carry the responsibility of motherhood, then you're not ready for sex. That's my opinion. You, you could give the child up for adoption. So okay. your argument about, well, it's an 18 year commitment isn't necessarily true. And there's actually safe, like you can almost in every single- uh, But why is can, that fair can, to like that kid? Like why would you go it, through it all be, of that? I know adopted kids and they are mm -hmm. fucked up. Sure. Beyond belief. Sure. So why every would you single that? one of them. So why would you, you choose to You have the to option to do it. You could give it but up for adoption. But why should that be an option? Why would, you, <laughs> but why so would you, you want to take away well, someone's option to not make someone else's life fucking miserable? Wait, so are you guys arguing that adoption, like, give... Look, I'm not saying it's great for the child, but I think if a woman... You can, you can go you can go to the fire department you can go to the years. fire department and leave it with the, the this is a thing that women can do that you you won't get in trouble for it you leave it with the uh, at the fire department and uh, if that's I'm ruining not, someone's life like it genuinely is I mean now we're arguing about something different my initial argument was and I'm if you I know your initial is, argument it's a bigger bodily <laughs> autonomy infringement Matthew donated one hundred dollars fact. Biology says human life starts at conception. Yep. The baby is not your body. When you consent to sex, you know the risk of pregnancy. Own up to your actions. Do not play God and kill another life. This is very, very true. It's like we have a lot of, we have precautions, we have warning signs, but yet we choose to ignore them. That's like driving without a seatbelt. It's like you know what the risk is. Okay, so. but I got pregnant on birth control and never was came inside with an abusive partner that beat me. You want me to keep the baby? I'm not saying anything to you personally, and I don't, this isn't even a personal attack. I'm just, I'm, I'm questioning your values. I'm questioning your argument. That's the only thing that I'm talking about. I'm not saying anything about you. Yes, that's unfortunate, but you could have given the baby up for adoption. But why? What? But you are ruining another person's life. But you, Wait, you're what? not going to guarantee that that baby's life is ruined. Wait, so you're saying you you're saying putting so a baby up for adoption versus <laughs> aborting them? Is that your argument? It's growing up without parents. But yeah. so is your argument that it's better to have been aborted than to grow up in foster care, basically? Than to just have it to give it up? Yes, I am saying it is better to do that. If you are not going to have the child have a good partner that you think is going to be a good fit is another parent, then you should not have the kid. If you're not financially stable, you should not have the kid. Okay. I like, that's my stance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, sure. You're pro-life or excuse me. So, so sorry. You're pro-choice. Um, okay. I don't even know how we really got there. In any case, I still think, I mean, I don't know if you still, if I've been able to convince you that. It is a greater infringement on bodily autonomy to be drafted as a man forced into the oh, God King Xerxes donated $100. Thank you, Last man. time donating. So would you rather be sad or have a bad life? Should we kill all depressed people? Stupid argument. Why take away its life? Abortion is taking away any chance. We're all starting off as a ball of cells, but that's the beautiful thing is look what it created. It created you, created everybody that's sitting here at this podcast. You know, your parent could have easily chose to not have you and aborted you. And that's yeah, sad and that's my devastating. My parents were together and financially stable and I grew up in a good household. And my parents weren't financially stable and I ended up being okay. You know, everybody makes choices in their life that can change for the better somebody who's adopted grew up in the foster system you know what they can get out of the system they can make something of themselves but the trauma you are guaranteeing certain trauma to someone before they are even born trauma happens to everybody we're just talking about but men why who would go to you war guarantee they have trauma certain trauma before someone is even born you are not giving them the best chance at life Isn't but we're life also generalizing the general? foster system 
So, so, so shouldn't we just take your? Kid shouldn't is have shouldn't a bad we just life. take your ar argument to the maximum? Like, isn't it the Buddhist saying, "Life is suffering," right? So, should we just abort everyone because we'll inevitably <laughs> encounter some sort of suffering in our life? No, I'm like, saying I've, you should I've had, only have kids if you have a good situation already to give them okay. the best chance possible. Uh. Anyways, this kind of stemmed from. Look, I, I want to restate it one more time. So, forced military conscription is a bigger infringement <laughs> upon bodily autonomy than to bring it back to that so well. than abortion. Agree or disagree? I feel like they're similar, which is what I said earlier. I'm in the same place. So, so okay, you think that? I don't even know how to convince you on this. <laughs> similar. You think it's similar? I think yeah, this is what I said. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Let's, let's remove abortion from this. Do you think that the average woman's experience with pregnancy is worse than the average person's experience in the military? But you're not saying... You're not saying the pregnancy and how it is going, you're taking away the choice or not, right? Like that's what you're arguing? I okay, don't think the, pregnancy is as bad as going to war. If you're getting shot at, it's not as bad as carrying a child for nine months. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, But that we, doesn't the end government, nine months. The government will f has the potential to force men into that position. Yeah, in the same way that if you take away rights to an abortion, you are also forcing women. You're not actually no, because I mean, look, there's certain situations where women are assaulted, and that's terrible. But the vast majority of women are getting abortions of convenience. They got not. They got pregnant. They're fucking. They're consensually fucking their boyfriend. You know this. Most women are getting abortions because, like, their fucking boyfriend knocked them up. You know this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. With Brian's point, though, like men being drafted to war, you know, they're going to have a risk of, you know, dying. Right. So we're talking about actually taking away a life that's here. To your point, if, if you believe that life doesn't begin until a certain amount of time, I don't know what your belief system is on that. You're saying because we're taking away a potential life versus taking away an actual life that potential life is worse than actual life? Um, women actually have a higher chance of dying during pregnancy. Have a higher, higher as compared to men? Compared to what? No, I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> men don't like, get pregnant. From like the, your first pregnancy is like your highest chance uh, of dying. Okay. What are the exact numbers on that? Relatively low. Well, I'm just saying there's still a chance just like the yeah, war. Yeah, of course. There's, there's, I okay, mean, you like can. it's the same as the war. No, it's not the same. Here, we're, we're going to move on a little bit, but one final, bigger one final thought on this. So I think what would be fair, in states where abortion is legal, I think men should have a corresponding right called legal paternal surrender to if the woman gets pregnant and he, he can make some sort of legal election to not be uh, financially responsible. He can waive his parental rights. Yeah, I would agree with that. And I actually think that would be a very strong platform for pro-choice people to present to perhaps shift more men to the pro-choice side by saying, let's bundle abortion rights with legal paternal surrender. In any state where this is legal, gentlemen, if, say you're dating a girl, she wants to keep the kid, you're not, ready to be, you're not financially ready, you're not emotionally ready. All those same reasons that women give for having abortions, I think men should be able to uh, legally surrender their uh, parental rights. Yeah, which I includes think, no, so not being compelled to pay child support, basically. Yeah, I think within a certain time frame that you should be able to make that decision and sign not, off on it and it be legal. Yeah, I yeah, that's my position. If there was a middle ground, then yeah, I guess that's fair. Mm -hmm. If there was. I think that would honestly be a big W for the pro-choice movement. Mm -hmm. Try to, you know, appeal to, to some men on this. I don't know. 
Anyways, um, okay, let's get a couple chats in, then we're gonna try to wrap up here very soon. Okay, so we have, can you read this one, Maddie? Deleting <laughs> your unborn child is not your body. You are ending the life of your own child who is yet to be born, so selfish. How is that so hard to understand? Mm -hmm. I'll just never have a kid in this world without a good partner. I think Dave Chappelle has a joke. Like, if you can... Actually, I don't, it's kind of... Eh, Dave Chappelle. Eh, should I say it? What say it? it. He has a joke. It's like, well, if you can murder the kid, I can at least... I should at least be able to abandon it. <laughs> yeah, fair. Fair, right? <laughs> Down. My yeah. wallet, my choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's good. Yep. All right, we have OPC Don. I've heard through the grapevine that Grace Thorpe has been invited to be a guest on the show. Can't wait to see her on. She will definitely be one of your most interesting mm. podcast guests yet. Uh, yeah, we still need to get that scheduled, but uh, I've been messaging with her. We have another one here. It's coming in. So. You are a few cells as well. Everyone is. By your logic, I can go around and delete whoever <sighs> I like before, whenever I want. Actually, no, because those cells didn't have a consciousness, so. Profound. Oh, hold on. <laughs> this one's coming in. One sec. Can you read that one? An abortion is never a necessary health care. When a woman's health is at risk, it's called an atopic pregnancy. This is not an abortion. Please educate yourself on pregnancy. Oh, okay. All right. And then we have this one. Oh, hold on. Sorry, not sure why that's not coming up. Oh, wait, what? That one already came up, weird. Uh, let me skip that, let's see, hold on. Is it gonna trigger? I'm not sure, okay, let me read this one. Can you read this one? Brian uses this draft point so much as if it's a good argument. Draft hasn't happened in half a century. No one is worried about getting drafted. It'll never happen. As tech advances, we have peeps volunteer for the military. It isn't comparable. Okay, wait, actually leave it up because I'll address it. Okay, first off, um, so the draft was used in the Vietnam War. So there are men who were drafted in the Vietnam War who would have still been alive today had they not been drafted. And there are men who are alive today who were drafted in the Vietnam War who have significant injuries, who have injuries of mind, who have PTSD, so yes, it's still relevant, absolutely. Now, if we look at other countries, for example, if you look at the Ukraine-Russia conflict, if you look at the uh, conflict in the Middle East right now, uh, that's certainly relevant. And I actually think we're closer to war now than in any point in the past, I don't know, since the Cold War, basically. Um, we're. I don't think the draft is irrelevant. Um, and also when it comes to the draft, even if we're not currently engaged in some military conflict where there's a prospect of the draft being uh, initiated, there are still consequences as a man if you do not register for the selective service. For example, while there hasn't been prosecutions for this in recent history, it's still technically a crime, it's a felony. You can go to jail for, I think it's five years. There's a $250,000 fine. Also, you're not eligible to vote if you don't register for the draft, or excuse me, register for the selective service. If you don't register for the selective service, there's also certain federal ramifications. You can't get certain federal jobs. You can't get uh, federal student loans. You're barred from um, certain federal programs if you're not registered for the selective service. So even if there's not an actual ongoing draft, if you're, there's, Gender, there's gendered ramifications exclusively for men that negatively impact men uh, on this front. So, and also look, we'll, I'll point to a modern conflict. Look at the war in Ukraine. Ukraine isn't exactly a Western country, but if you, you can look at it, all the men had to stay in the country. You, as a man, you had to stay in the country if you were in Ukraine. All the women could leave the country that seems rather unfair to me. All the feminists disappear when there's a war. There's no more feminists when fucking Russia invades your country. In fact, you know what's very funny? 
let's talk about, often you hear terms like male privilege, right? Men are privileged. Uh, while the men had to stay in Ukraine and could not leave the country, could not flee the country. We're talking like 18, 19, 20, 21 year old Ukrainian men. You had Ukrainian women who could leave the country, country and they're going to Stockholm, they're going to the UK, they're going to a safe territory. They're going in the club, they're partying, they're on Tinder, while the Ukrainian men, their, their, uh, their uh, male counterparts are dying in Ukraine. So actually there's a, there, wait, fuck, there's a really good, oh wait, hold on. Ooh, okay, we can't pull it up, fuck. Someone made a compilation video of like, they, people were taking screenshots of Ukrainian women on dating apps in like <coughs> Sweden and the UK, living their best lives. And then like on the other side of this photo, there's like just dead bodies of Ukrainian men. Nice. So we should, we should have a conversation about female privilege. Oh, oh. Male privilege. Anything? No. Nothing? I'm not going to get any pushback no, there's tonight. there's no male privilege. What's that? There's no male privilege. Okay. All right. There you go. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, there's this one if you can read it, Maddie. Already been subscribed before pod. Got two messages during pod. Common practice. Also videos definitely stage. Bro. <laughs> No one is on my account. I'm not on my account right now. There's no messaging happening. Mm. You okay. could pull up. I would give you $11 to message me right now. Oh, okay. Can you read this one? Oh, fuck. Sorry. Wrong one. Oh, <coughs> this one. Shout out from Tusicola, Alabama. Retired USN 100%. Tuscaloosa. You said it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. 100% disabled veteran via PTSD. Abortion is murder. And yes, I've been in that room. It hurt me so much. I can't even date anymore. I'm only 33. I hate Margaret Sanger. You feminists know her. I don't know her. Hmm. Uh, abortion okay. has a huge effect on women, on our mental health, our bodies. They go mm. through a lot after you have an abortion. It's a really sad experience and it's something that you're never going to forget. Really? Because I forgot about it. Long time ago. Doesn't sound like it. You brought it up. Birth control. What? So does birth control. Yeah, birth control. Birth control affects a lot. A lot of things too. Hmm. Q, you have a story. <laughs> Q, you got a story here about a woman who erupted in a jealous rage. Can you tell us about that? Uh, um. Yeah. So. I was they, I was casually seeing a woman. I, it was long distance. That's why I say casually. So it wasn't going to be a, a serious thing. At the time I was living in Philly, she was living in Long Island, New York. And she had actually took a bus to see me. She took a bus from Long Island to Raleigh, North Carolina to see me on her own dime. Wow. And we spent some time together when she went back. Never told her that we were actually serious, um, like in terms of monogamy or, or commitment. And she followed me on social media. So one day I seen this post that said, I love girls who speak Spanish. And it was, they was quoting a song uh, by Nelly, underlay, underlay, mama, e i e i uh oh. Mm -hmm. So I commented and I posted that in Spanish if the head right cue there every night. And she seen me post that. And when she saw me post that, I got my phone blown up with a whole bunch of messages go fuck that spanish bitch fuck you i'm done never hit me up leave me alone so i'm like the f i didn't even know why she was reacting this way so i'm like what the hell like why is she doing all this and i said okay when she said i'm done i just responded okay so then after that she proceeded to call me 54 times like back to back to back like consecutively 54, that 54 times so I finally picked up on the 55th time and she was in the phone screaming, the fucking Spanish bitch is in the So I hung up and then she called me back and I, and I ignored it. She called me back again. I said, yo, stop calling me. She said, fuck you. So after I didn't respond, she called me like 20 more times. 
So instead of, and since I didn't respond, she hit me with a text message. I'm getting on a bus right now and I'm coming to Philadelphia. It was like 2 a.m. She jumped on a mega bus at 2 a.m. No. and took the mega bus to Philadelphia to come see me to try to talk it out. We ended up talking. I hit again. <laughs> she Bruh. got up. She left. I never talked to her again because I told her, once you tell me you're done, I'm going to take it as you're done. There's no reconciling with me. You know what would have been funny is if after she came back and you guys were finished, you should have posted, why are you so obsessed with me by Mariah Carey and put that on your story. Mm. Um, but what, before she got on the whole bus on her own dime, as you say, was it clear to her that you guys' relationship was casual and non-monogamous? I'm transparent. Honest, direct. Okay, with that's her. Any woman I deal with, yes. That's her fault. That yes. is her own fault. Yeah. yeah. Q, you also wanted to talk about the woman, woman's self-assessed flaws in dating without blaming the man. Yeah, I did. Because, <laughs> because a lot of women lack accountability when it comes to their poor dating experiences. So I wanted to know what do you women think you lack when it comes to dating? What would you change about yourself and what do you think is a flaw about yourself that would ruin a relationship? Um... I would say having an OnlyFans isn't great. There's sex tapes of me and other men on the internet. That's not great. Also, my social media is not great. Like, you know, I would agree with all of those things. Am I a good partner? Yes. Am I loyal? Yes. Do I, like, care about money and all that stuff? No. But I would say that that takes a huge toll. So you wouldn't turn around and blame the man or say he's insecure for not wanting to date you if he said? No, that's personal preference. That's totally okay. fine. Okay. What about you? I, I would view it the same way. OnlyFans, problematic. You wouldn't have an issue if the guy told you he didn't want to deal with you. Well, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so you like, think... As long as, like, you're not... Like, as long as you respect me and, like, you can communicate it with me, mm -hmm. then I don't have a problem with you. Okay, so neither one of y'all, no behavioral issues, no attitude, no... I don't have... to be spiteful, <laughs> jealous. I don't have an attitude. I'm, like very mellow but i'm also raging cajun donated 100 dollars brixon mm. asked maddie if she ever has it on auto reply this will be fun to watch and she just got up to change it plus your voice says it all drop an insta i have receipts patriarchy is uh -oh. here to warn men <laughs> wait what is it uh do you ever have it on auto reply that's his question i guess no i have a message that goes out when you subscribe and then I have messages that go out on time stuff hmm. to like everyone at the same time okay which you can schedule good times yeah so as I was saying behaviorally no never burn clothes never burn video games never slash tires <laughs> never no, no? my Okay. No, my ex hard launched another girl <laughs> while I was with him because he was like that bad of a cheater. And I offered, because he was like a little bit ill, I offered to house him for free, get him a car, and pay for his therapy and medication so he could get better. So, no. Okay. You dated this guy? For a year and a half. Did he have a. I mean, you're wearing a size queen t-shirt. Did he have a huge peen? <laughs> Honestly, no. He's like slightly above average. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Really loved him. Never burned mm. any wow. clothes, any video games. Slash. You bought him a car. Was it a beater or like a good car? Um, I was renting. Are we talking about excitement? I'm talking about what are your behavioral flaws when it comes to dating you? Yeah. I just I wouldn't count my first relationship. Like I wouldn't count what I did in the relationship. Why? Because he deserved it. It was well-deserved. Well, well, what, 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 what did he deserve? So, um, like I said, the economy in Turkey is pretty bad. And this guy, I was talking to him since I was 17. And um, we were practically, like, engaged. We were going to get married um, within, a, like, at that time, I think it was, like, two years or something. Um, and then I caught him, like, cheating. And this, like, kept happening. And he would blame me, like, somehow, like, he'd be like, oh, like, it's because, like, you're ugly or, like, something like that. And I was, like, little, so I thought, like, that was, like, the only thing I knew about a guy. So I was like, oh, like, he's right. So then, um, so you know how we were going to get married? 
Well, he was going to come live in the U.S. Because obviously I didn't want to live in Turkey anymore. Um, and so he had a sponsor here. Um, and that was his only way of being able to come. Because I'm not a citizen. Um, so I fucked his sponsor and filmed it. So you're spiteful. What? Revenge. Oh, oh shit. So sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry, that took a while. Sorry. You fucked his bouncer? Girl. Sponsor, his right? Sponsor. <laughs> But did he not deserve it? Like, what, what did he do again? He cheated. Oh. Even like with my mom's friend. Like. Was she hot? <laughs> she was 70. 70? Oh, wow. He fucked a 70 year old. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Sound like nice. he had a sex addiction. <laughs> okay. Were you wanting to go, go around the table? Yeah, yeah, I was going to go around the table. I wanted them, I wanted all to tell me. <laughs> um, I think my flaw in the relationship is probably emotional volatility okay. I think a lot of women struggle with that and as you mature I think you get a better handle on your negative emotions and you stop being such like a detriment to your partner okay so that's what I'm working on okay I like that what about you um I don't know I feel like oh you perfect <laughs> not perfect oh, okay. okay but I don't think there's anything like crazy or anything I, I can just be moody and like hangry what do you think mm. would piss a man red off flag. Like? Yeah, what do you think that would piss him angry. off her? Hangry, red flag. <laughs> no self-sabotaging, no... Wait, what was the question? Like, what do you think would at least piss him off? Or, or, Something that I would do? Yeah. Like, behaviorally. Like, what do you have a tendency to do like, when you're upset? Or ignore people <laughs> when I'm mad. Ignore people? Like, I'll, like, completely, like... Not, like, ghost, but I'll just, like... Don't go on my phone. This just won't yourself. respond. Yeah. How do you respond if that's done to you? By a man. Mm-hmm. That's never happened to me. Oh, oh, she got it made. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, you you was laughing. I'm curious <laughs> to know about you. I'm curious. Um. What have I done to a man? Yeah. What do you do when yeah. he's done something bad to me? Um. Okay. And don't judge me. But in the past, I have sliced tires. I have thrown bricks in cars. I put sugars in tank. I yeah. I have hit. I. Yeah. You physically, Girl. physical abuse. Yeah. She remind me of one of my exes. <laughs> Shit. I have. What what did the guy do? He just kind of like he um, was five minutes late to pick you no, up. No, like he was just cheating and playing uh, with my emotions, and I um, don't like that. You could just broke up with him. <laughs> you know, I have this like very um, instead of committing multiple felonies. I <laughs> I um, and I, I have done that to more than one. So person, gnarly, I'm but so um, I just have this like it's really bad, and I'll admit it. But you I have, deranged. Like, <laughs> I'm bipolar. <clears throat> one or two? Uh, one. No, I'm bipolar. I'm, I'm, That's yeah, brutal. So, I mean, I'm, I'm working on it, <clears throat> but um, yeah, I'm, I got a temper on me. I'll just say that. I got a temper. But I'm fun. I mean, I'm. <laughs> they, they always are. They always are. It's always the fun ones that'll put sugar Ooh, in your tank. You know what they say? Crazy people fuck the best, though. Is it worth it, though? <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. it worth it? There's a verse in the Bible, exactly. better a man alone in the desert than with a nagging wife. <laughs> Pro Proverbs 21:19. Yeah. 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 Of course you know that one, Brian. Yeah, that's my I favorite. Perhaps the only Bible <laughs> verse. <laughs> I know. Name, no, no name a few stuff. more. Name a few more. No, I think that's it. That's the only one I know. <laughs> Jesus wept. Well, John 3:16, but okay. Uh, she said she got a crazy side. No, yeah. I said no. Oh, okay. I thought you said yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Ever. I feel like she's a sweetheart. She she no. appears that way, but I could, I every woman never. has something hiding under. It's just waiting. <laughs> she slashed tires for sure. It could be, it could be anything like maybe you're. Have you ever stabbed? Anybody? Yeah, insecure, jealousy, spiteful, petty. I mean, murdering his you whole ever family. The guy? <laughs> no. No. Genocide. Mm -hmm. Anything? I, maybe like that's like my way of flirting. I'll like genocide. Hit them. Oh, okay. Not like and like slap them. But oh, okay. Like, so you've never been pissed off at a man. I mean, yeah, of course, but like not physically or anything like. Have you ever ruined a man's whole reputation and got him fired from his job? We know you. Wait, have. she hold up. <laughs> we, we, we know she has. Holy. She's yeah. taking it up to CEO. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Sure. Okay. I'm not proud I've of reported. It. I'm not proud of it. Mm -hmm. 
I've reported my ex for disability fraud and sent in <laughs> videos of us you fucking to snitch. the government. <gasps> oh, Whoa. yeah. I love it. He was snitch. Um, he was lying to me about having a job, so he was faking snitch. disability. Fucking <laughs> rat! Yeah, you ain't have to write Fucking rat! That's crazy. He was a cheater and lying. You want him to just get a free Are almost you seven grand a month? No, I'm Russian. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. that, that I'm makes Russian sense. too. Yeah. You are. Yeah. Oh. I knew you was something spicy. I what? No. What's your story? <laughs> what, what, what do you what what you do when you get angry? Cuz I know you got some stories. Well, as you know, I like to debate. Yeah, I know that. Um, honestly, so I was in a really toxic relationship for like 3 years. Mm -hmm. And my my ex was like abusive physically, verbally. I mean, like things that I could tell you, I could go on and on, but I'm not going to get into it. But I I never did anything back. I kind of just took it and like sat in the corner and cried. That's really what I did. Then after I left him, I carried some of that trauma into my relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and so for me, um, what I needed was because my ex would, would say things about my appearance. And so like, I'm the person that like, I do have insecurity. And so I need my man, my husband to like, validate me a lot and I think that's probably my downfall and also I can catch an attitude real quick but I have worked mm. on that a lot mm. seriously mm. I'm a lot better mm. it's the personal growth for me mm. he loves me mm. love you babe if you're watching I know you're watching mm. last thing from UQ you said also that you who what do they expect from the men they date? Do you want me to go around the table on this? Yeah, one? you can go around the table. What do you expect from the men you date? I expect honesty, transparency, a drive, some kind of passion. I don't care if you make a lot of money, but if you're passionate about something, that's important to me. Um, and respect. Those are valid. What if they're passionate about, like... Well, Frogs. <laughs> I was gonna say ducks. ducks. <laughs> I was gonna say ducks. Like okay. They, they know so like random. the taxonomy of. Ducks. I would usually prefer some kind of artist over that, but if. Oh. I mean, well, if you're really well versed in something, you're probably intelligent. What if he right? has like a really good knowledge? of World of Warcraft? Like, what if he knows... Oh my like, god, I love this topic. Yeah, so what if he knows, for example, you know, <laughs> all the best, you know, everything. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm butchering it already. The bis races. So, for example, if you're playing Warrior, classic World of Warcraft, and you're human, right? You're going to want to be... Wait, sorry. Warrior, you're going to want to be a human, right? Because of that passive sword spec. 5 plus sword skill, 5 plus mace skill. PvE, you definitely go human, right? Now, there's some debate over what's best, of course, if you're gonna be uh, PvP, right? Now, what if he has, like, in-depth... Like, he, he's his knowledge of World of Warcraft, he's a raid leader. Like, he knows all the mm -hmm. mechanics with, with bosses in Molten Core, Black and Willair, Nax, AQ40, also world bosses too. He knows all the mechanics. He can competently teach and raid, uh, teach how to, you know, even somebody who doesn't have any experience, he can teach them how to raid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? And he's just like, he knows everything. He knows like e everything about the game. Best in slot. He knows like what's best in slot. He knows the best enchants for your gear and your weapons and shit. And then, like, obviously, when it comes to, like, the world buff meta, like, he knows, okay, here's the best way first. Check this shit out, right? If you're on Horde, the first thing you do, you get uh, DM... Uh, no, 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 sorry, excuse me. The first thing you do if you're buffing on Horde, like, you know, uh, for getting world buffs and shit, you're going to definitely... You have to go to Dire Maul first. And you're going to get the three buffs from Dire Maul, right? Boom. Then you're immediately going to... You're going to Hearth. You're going to Hearth, right? Yep. Hearth. Then you need to go and get Songflower from Felwood. You need to get Songflower. That only lasts an hour. You need to... Hopefully you get summoned. You get summoned to Felwood. You get Songflower buff. That only lasts an hour. 
then you just herd back to no no sorry you have a mage there the mage is going to give you a portal back to orgrimmar then you're going to get war chief's war chief's blessing Ryan, i think i'm experiencing brain rot. wait quick question oh, fire you were mage you were, like, or ice mage or <laughs> thought she's getting wet over here no so you play video games so like check this shit out right you're gonna get rally and cry you're gonna get rally and cry of the dragon slayer and you're gonna get war chief's blessing right check that shit out right then you gotta fucking get like summoned to uh stranglethorn stranglethorn because you need the uh the zg buff right yeah you know what i mean like no, yeah, i'm yeah. right there that's I sufficient just... passion okay so <laughs> um, i don't like video games so someone that spends that much time on a computer playing video games would be hard for me to be with, hypothetically. Damn, you just wasted your time. No matter know, the amount sorry, of passion, time, but I did start to get wet like maybe 30 seconds in, but at the it two minute, 45 second mark, I like started to dry up. So maybe like cut the spiel a little. What if he's like a little goblin like Joker D, right? And he's like world first to hit 60 on like a fresh realm. Like he's a mage, right? No, yeah. Obviously, you're going to be a mage if you're trying to hit like level 60 first. For sure. So like you're just like think the way I compare this show is like I'm AOE farming you guys. Like you guys are kind of noobs, right? Like you're kind of noobs. And I'm like just AOE farming you like you're like some murlocs, right? And I'm, I'm just a noob. AOE farming you guys. And it's just like I'm going to Frost Nova. Boom. Easy. And then I'm gonna like arcane explosion, and then like flame strike cone of cold, and then arcane explosion. Like, but cone of cold keep you guys snared and shit. And it's just like I'm just farming you guys like easy XP. I respect that. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, that's something that I would like maybe respect. And like when you explain it the second time around, yeah, I would now consider that <sighs> a high value man that I would consider Definitely. dating. Huge. Yeah, like this is like yeah. I'm like basically. Like, I'm just pulling mobs, right? Cool. Like, this is me pulling, yeah. like, you know, mobs? Literally, you're pulling mobs. So yeah. Like, no, but my biggest question is, like, like, what are you doing later? What? You should ask the it, panel. It, it worked. Huh? Druid, it worked. mage, it worked. paladin, or shit, right? warrior. I'm sorry, Maddie. I know, no. I know you're enamored with me. I know, but... Unfortunately, because I'm on my knees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm begging. Unfortunately, I'm begging. Unfortunately, Maddie, the fact just by virtue. Degrade me, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, to just by subject. virtue, Maddie. Just by virtue of there being videos of you having sexual intercourse with yeah. men on the internet. I couldn't do it. Sorry. For Sorry. those reasons. I'm out. Mm. Next one. You've been eliminated. <laughs> You're fired. Respect. I have a question. Yeah. Have you had a girl on the panel that played WoW? Probably. I don't play the. I don't play video games anymore. That's just like my old self. Oh. That's all just on memory. Yep. That's pretty. Oh, my <laughs> husband plays a lot of WoW. What a fucking Chad. A fucking he legend. Is. I think he got legendary Wait, okay, today. I'm sorry. I told you. We were going around yeah, the table. Yeah, we were going around. So, I don't know if she remembers the question. What was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, what, what do you, you expect, expect from men that you date? Um, not a lot. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Like probably just like respect and yeah. like kind of just like keep me on my toes and that's it. Keep you on your toes. Like, wow. Just like so like I'm not like bored like you know like just always like. Like occasionally treat you like shit, but also. Respect <laughs> <you>. <laughs> well, Close you should mind. treat me like shit at times. He should. Like in bed, like you know. Bro, these girls be like, I want a guy to respect me, but also spit on my face and call me a fucking cum slut whore. You right? Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, I don't yeah. get it. I it's kind of weird. Like You know what's funny? Like the the like most like z zealous feminists who are like men should respect women are also like the most it, degenerate yeah. in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Like they want like I'm talking gnarly fantasies and shit, want to be degraded, want fucking like uh uh they're they're what is it? Masochists. It's fucking crazy, bro. It's Makes weird. Sense, though. Uh, okay, so you wanna you wanna be treated like shit in bed, basically? Mm 
Give us an example. No. You don't know Do you want to be setting. slapped? Is that it? You want to be slapped in the bed room? At least. At least? You want to be punched? <laughs> Damn. You aight? You aight? <laughs> you aight? You aight, bro. Trauma. Why are you laughing, bro? <laughs> it's like that Rihanna song. Wait, so okay, let, so at least the bare minimum is a guy for just to smack you across the face as hard as he can. I mean, he should at least. Slap Bro, she's me. getting excited now. Right? What the <laughs> fuck? She, she's like fanning herself. Like, ooh, this is no, this talk is getting me excited. It's really hot. <laughs> oh, temperature wise, okay, cope. Um, I would say like he needs like at least. Slap. You want to be tied up like Shabari? I would say like at least slap. Or like to choke me at the very least. Like drag your drag nails across your back. You want that? No. You want me to leave? Oh, whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> sorry, you want the guy? So, 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 sorry. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you want a guy to leave like marks on you, basically? Not scratch marks. Spank marks. Sure. Like you want to be raw, basically. Sure. You okay, bro? You aight? <laughs> you okay? You straight? You good, bro? What else? What are we talking here? Like, you want to, like, not be able to walk the next day? What are we talking mm. about? It's a bonus, if I can't. <laughs> like, no, I got squat day. You want to be, like, <laughs> choked to death, pretty much? Near death? <laughs> Bro, she's like hardcore with the choking, right? Am I right? She wants to see the pearly gates like for a second. Like you want to be like near passing out, correct? I never said that. Oh, I'm asking you for clarification. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, do you want to be like tied up and like be like hanging from a, a roof? Wait, what the fuck? I don't know where Stop. that is. <laughs> Hanging from the ceiling, basically. Digging a hole. Oh, I get you're into that, but relax, bro. <laughs> she's laughing because she's like, yep, sign me up. <laughs> sign I'm me up. I'm up too over here. Uh, I mean, I'll try anything once. <laughs> <laughs> Are you currently not being fully satisfied in your current relationship? Oh no, but I am. Sure? Yeah, you're way too far from the mic. So sorry. No, but I am trying everything once. You're like, I feel like your boyfriend's a really nice guy, and you're like he forcing is. him. Yeah. Dude, girls be doing this did. shit. They be fucking. Yeah. They be He's fucking. So uh, what's the What's the word for it? They'll be uh, corrupting. You're corrupting your nice boyfriend into <laughs> abusing you during sex, consensually, but like you know. Is he watching this? I hope not. Like he doesn't, he so. wants to be like, oh, sweetheart. And you're like, no, bitch, call me a fucking whore. <laughs> no, he was so sweet. He like, <laughs> like said something like really like romantic. And that is an insult. I was really in the mood. <laughs> and he fucked it up. And so I slapped him <laughs> last night. <laughs> you slapped him last night? I just asked you what was your problems in relationships. <laughs> you slapped him last night. <laughs> Cause he was being romantic. You punished this man for most of the things that men think they're supposed to do with women. Wait, you slapped him? Yeah, she slapped no. me. Wait, during sex? <laughs> yeah. Was, did, <coughs> did, did he ask for that? No. Non-consensual slapping. <sighs> no, but it was like, so he would slap me. You slapped him so he would slap you back. <laughs> <laughs> did he slap you back? No, he'd say, what'd you do that for? <laughs> she made him soft. He was so confused. Yeah, she made him soft. Sex session was over. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. What else did you do? Oh, God. Last night. Did you, like, punch him in the sternum? <laughs> like a fucking sternum punch? <laughs> never tell, heard it, that tell us more. Come on. Let's get, we need more details. This is good. Oh, God. <laughs> Into the mic. Is this good? Huh? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, the whole chair. Yeah, you can scoot the chair in. That's why. That's the problem. Yep, there you go. Go ahead. 
Okay. What else? Last night. <laughs> sure. What else went down? She stuck on last night. <laughs> um. No, I can't say anything else about last night. Ooh, okay. <laughs> no, because I was just okay. In the moment, I was really high, and I thought it wouldn't make sense because, like, I don't know. Cause I'm like doing it to him. Sexual so I thought assault. He would <laughs> And a sexual assault. <clears throat> That's crazy. That's crazy. Can and we'll... and she was laughing while she. <laughs> That's the crazy. Where part. she was like, "Yeah, I slapped That's some him." Harley Quinn shit. Damn, <laughs> bro. Damn. Wait, it's sexual assault because she slapped I know, him while during sex. It's kind of dark. Not gonna lie. We're just laughing. But the sex her, was consensual. She, like, no, the sexual face. assault. You know what she I mean? Slapped him during sex. <laughs> Not the, not the literal sexual assault. You get what I'm saying? Oh my god, yeah. Okay, I was like, mm -hmm. I'm there, I'm there. We can move on. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do. <laughs> so you slapped him? <laughs> was it like hard or was it just like a little oh, like? Oh, it was hard. It was probably hard. It was, it was, it she was, got, it was she, she got, she got good, she got good cross. So the first one wasn't. Oh, oh, there was more than one. I'm out. <laughs> How many times did you slap him? Twice? Two chains? Two to three times, actually. Oh, two to three. Whoa. I think it was. This two. is girls who are like, yeah, my body count's like <laughs> 11, maybe 12, 13, maybe 14, maybe 15, 16, you know? That's what I do. What do you mean? Slap have, niggas. Have a high body count? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like, it's lower. Oh, so you slapped him like seven times? No. Was he into it? Was, it? I, I'm pretty sure it was twice. Was he into it? It was twice. Was he into um, it? No. Wait, so you... you, you she you, ruined it. You did it once, he didn't like it, and you did it again? <laughs> no. And I then did you did it, it once, again? And he didn't have a reaction. <laughs> oh, so you slapped him harder. Bruh. You, Yo. you I, bro? <laughs> And then, wait, so then you did it again, and he didn't have an, a reaction, right? The second time. So then you slapped him harder the no, third I, time. No, I think he, he had a reaction the second time. I was really high. Was this... A, you said you just started dating this guy, right? Is this like your first few times having sex? No. We've Are you high talking. right now? No. <laughs> We've been talking for a year. Oh, okay. And this is your first time ever slapping him? <laughs> When's the, when's the first time you had sex? Like a year ago? Yeah. Oh, okay. Rage and Cajun donated $100. I was already subscribed and you sent a message four minutes before Pod and responded to message during. I didn't know you'd be on but decided to try it. Uh -oh. I bet you're hard just thinking about it, lol. Oh. Okay. Here, wait. Let's, it's getting late. Um, I do. We'll go around the table on this final point and then... Have you abused other partners? <laughs> <laughs> have you slapped other part? Wait, of the 30 men, did, how many of them did you slap? None. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, good. I want a man who's in deep commitment to himself and God. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Touch my heart. What was the question again? What do you want in a man? What do I want in a man? Yes. Um, for them to be loyal, like a support system, and like a genuine like connection between us okay i would like a man who's um honest loyal um understanding of me um and passionate very fiery passionate and um has integrity and respectful so, uh, okay what <laughs> what <laughs> Respectful. I'm just, <laughs> yes. I'm just thinking about everything he need not have just in case you get pissed off. He need an electric car. No. Not an electric car. Might find some way to electrocute him. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know if that guy is. I don't know. Next. Um, I want a man that's like respecting of me not just me though but like my family my friends I think that's like really important especially like my friends um honest loyal 
um, definitely has a passion, like he's driven something. Okay. There's a lot I can say, but I'll make it concise. Uh, somebody my dad approves of, um, a Christian, God-fearing man, protector, leader, strong in shape, um, makes good money, um, and is loving. Okay. I asked that question because I wanted to see if you guys had any delusional answers, but you all did good, except you. You slapping niggas. I don't know, I don't know about that one, but you all did good. You guys got some realistic expectations. I like that. Did you have anything further on that one? Or? No, no. <clears throat> That's what I was okay. looking for. They didn't give me what I was looking for. Last <laughs> thing. What's everybody's body count starting with? <laughs> 12. Forty-five. Two. I prefer not to say. Range. Prefer not to say. It's for me mm. and my boyfriend. Do you want to do? You could do like less than five, less than ten. Prefer not to okay. say. Yeah, same. Oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Boring. <laughs> I'm not saying my answer. Sorry, hmm. I said enough. Okay. Well, yo, I'm going to give you guys <laughs> props, those of you who did answer. Thank you. You get my respect, my admiration. <laughs> 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 Would you judge me for that number? What do you mean? If I was, like, interested in dating you? If I was, a, yeah, not an OnlyFans girl, no sex tapes, a girl that you were attracted, whatever, that you met on a dating site, and then you were like, oh, I kind of like her. And then I was like, my body count's 12. Would you be like, ugh? She belongs to the streets. Really? <laughs> You're a 10 and under. Are you a 5 and under? You mean my body count? No. Or just what I'd prefer? What you'd prefer. Well, the lower, the better. Okay, then what's yours? Oh, I don't share my body count. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't share it. <laughs> don't share it. Seems don't share like it. a double standard. Well, it's not a double standard, dear. Well, is it? Hmm? Well, give us like above 10, below 20, hmm? under 50. I don't know, man. I might be a virgin. Who knows? You'll never know. Never know. <coughs> Why are you looking at me that way? Chill out, bro. Just tell us. Chill out. Just tell us. You straight? Am I straight? You straight, bro? I identify as bisexual, actually. No, I wasn't talking about your sexual. <laughs> Wait, 45? Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. For all of you, everybody at this table, regardless of whether you revealed it or not. Wait, so... <clears throat> Wait, Q, what's yours? You would have to guess. Ooh. Okay, okay, wait. How... Do you like date girls or do you like more casual stuff? I don't know anything about you. I date. You date girls? Mm -hmm. He does. What's your longest relationship you've had? Three years. Three years. How old are you? 31. I'm going to put you at 33. Okay. I'm going to guess 15. Close? Under or over? I can't say. You got to guess it. Five. You're not going to tell us those. We're just going to throw out numbers. Yeah, I mean, y'all can throw out numbers. I'll For tell you if you get giggles. it. Really? I'm not gonna say. I'll tell you if you get it. Yeah. Ten. Oh. oh. Really? <laughs> I know. Eighteen. Uh, you have we'll to like give us like warmer or colder. Twenty-three. It's two digits. Oh. I think it's in the I think 20s. I knew that already. I think it's twenty-seven, six, eight. This is going well. Eleven. 20? I'm giving up. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Well, I got to pee. Once Q comes back, I'm going to wrap up the show. Um, I, I do want to give you credit, though, because I, I give you credit for, you said 45 is your body count. And I, I give you credit for uh, being open and honest and forthcoming about that. Do you regret having a high body count? No. You don't regret it? I don't it? think it changed anything. You don't think it changes anything? Not sure about that one, but... Uh, <laughs> would you be upset you meet your ideal guy? Ideal guy. Perfect. And then you tell him your body count. And he's like... 
that he's not the perfect guy. Like, if it's not meant to I'm gonna be, say, it's feel, not meant to be. Are you? Are you? Uh, are you wearing color contacts? Just totally random. No. Oh, okay. All right. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. So, are you seeing anyone? Sad. What? You. Hey, what's sad? What's sad? <laughs> It's kind of sad. What's sad? The contacts? Yeah, I'll do it in a sec. Huh? What's sad? Oh, the whole, like, 45 body count thing. <gasps> Brian! What? <laughs> At least she was honest enough to say. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> like, I salute you no, for not your sad, honesty, not but sad. you're sad. No, not <laughs> sad in, like, the insulting way, like... You're just disappointed. Bro, that's... That's sad. It's more like a, like that's actually sad. <laughs> she has it's a boyfriend. Is that worse? worse? Is that worse? She, she has, has a boyfriend. So much worse. Cause like, you're an attractive girl, you know. Thank you. And you you seem like, I wouldn't have guessed, forty five. That's why, gentlemen, you got to be careful. Even the shy ones. Under fifty. Hmm. Under fifty. For what? She says she's under fifty. Under oh, 50? You. Wait, me? Are you, you talking about me or you? Me. You're under 50? Mm -hmm. So is that like the, is that the silver lining? <laughs> she's keeping well, it she's, under 50. <laughs> she's 45, but it's under 50, so. <laughs> she's whoa. keeping it real. Actually, to be honest, it's 47, to be exact. But let's be really honest, it's like 49, right? <laughs> 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 right? <clears throat> Is it over 50 for reals, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you know. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, guys. I need, I'm going to do one last thing, then we're going to wrap up the show. Okay, guys. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. Yeah, yeah, do uh, drop us a follow, <laughs> go to twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a follow, drop us a prime sub, if you're over there on Twitch watching right now, drop us a follow, and then also subscribe to our Clips channel, we're trying to get to 1 million subscribers, we're 68,000 subs away, guys, we're trying to get to 1 million, help us reach the milestone, our Clips channel's fucking dope, guys, just drop us a sub, uh, thank you guys, appreciate it. Okay, last thing, I want the table to weigh in, I want the chat to weigh in, you see this fucking table here, guys? Don't pull it up quite yet, Nick. Yeah. I want to get a new table, okay? And I'm going to ask the chat, and I'm going to have the panel here. We got some interior fucking decorators at this table. I'm sure you guys are great and got great interior decorating skills and shit. Oh, sorry, I wasn't gesturing. No, no, it's okay. So, okay, guys. Here, wait, come back real quick. Here's the problem with the table. It's a little small. I'd like to be able to fit... A little also the legs I don't know you can't really see it but there's the legs are on the corners which means instead of so think of it if there's a centralized base people's legs are banging into the corners it creates logistical issues with the seating so we're gonna look at two tables and we do you like the the white mat do you like the white mat or are we gonna do a stone like a Calcutta or a black stone. Pull it up, Nick. Let's pull it up. Okay, now keep this is this is ignore the tabletop color, the wood. Uh, just ignore that. This is just the actual design of the table. So this is one with a kind of slim centralized base, and then the next one. Ignore the color. Ignore the color. That's not relevant. And then that has like a big thick base. Now chat. Here's where I'm concerned. There's one and two. The first one was the wood one. The second, now don't, you're not factoring in color yet. We're gonna get to that. I'm concerned that that first one, Nick, can you go back to it? It might be wobbly. I don't know if that's a, if that's a, uh, what's it called? If it's gonna, it, it might be a little unbalanced because it, I don't know if that's a sturdy enough base. Okay. Now, uh, 
Nick, if you can scroll down, Nick, to the options. Disregard the color. Don't worry. It's not going to be wood. Uh, scroll down to the, yeah. So you're going to have to make it max yeah. size. Scroll down. OK. Uh, so we have Calcutta stone. Then next one. We have black stone. Next one. We have industrial concrete. And next one. We have metropolitan concrete versus they also have, we don't have to show it, but they have a, a white matte option like this. So it's going to, so what do you guys think? We have, I kind of like the white. I like the white. Help me out here, gentlemen. I feel like I should have done a poll. Fuck. Whatever. Black stone? I don't know. I kind of think white looks better. Was that racist? <laughs> Guys, just I was talking about tabletops. Relax, okay. Uh, why am I slow, bro? Well, why would I be slow for that? Go with one of the concrete options. Do you, I think the Calcutta looks very nice, but I kind of like the sleekness of the white. I feel like the I other like one the would give it a different vibe. Yeah. White is iconic. I like the white. I think white. I think you just need white with your branding and everything. Is, okay. I think I got to keep it. But so it's for me. My my two choices are between matte white, so like this, versus the Calcutta. No matte white. The mm. the Calcutta with like all of this in the background, like this works. But with that, it's gonna get more busy. It's too busy. I think mean, it's mm. too busy. It's too busy for branding purposes. I don't think it's good. As good mm. as my personal interior decorator thank you any any thoughts from the other ladies i agree with you. i agree yeah, yeah. I agree with the white. there's no dissenting opinions are you just gonna sheep <laughs> maddie's maddie's opinion here uh okay all right thank you guys for your in-depth um recommendation <laughs> all right guys we're gonna wrap up the show thank you for the, re the help guys there with the fucking table. Maybe we'll get it in a month. Um, okay, so last thing. Oh, I need a raid on Twitch. Hold on, who am I gonna raid? I'm gonna raid, let's see, sorry, one sec guys. We are going to raid, oh my God, stop. Those of you who are on Twitch, you guys are going to go to raid. Following, let's see, who am I? Okay, never mind. Nobody who I'm following is online. All right, guys. Any final... Th oh, wait. Any final thoughts before I wrap from anybody? <laughs> I'm looking at you. I know you got something. <laughs> she got stories. She's, she, you're sitting on a fucking gold mine of crazy shit. And it's, it's there. It's there. Okay, all right. All right, next time maybe. Um, all right, guys, last call. Hit the like button, please, on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You can have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who Super Chats donates and so graciously supports the show. Your patronage is very much appreciated in these dark times, in these mm -hmm. dark, dark times <clears throat> on YouTube. It's dark, guys. We'll be live again Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM out whatever on Instagram. If you can make it to Santa Barbara, uh, thank you to the panel. Please go subscribe to Q's YouTube channel. Please go subscribe to Maddie's... OnlyFans. No, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to try to make a joke, but I'm brain dead right now. <laughs> go subscribe to her cooking channel, channel and her workout videos uh, <laughs> on Instagram Reels. They're really <laughs> hot. Um, Okay. Uh, go check out her dating program advice. Something like that. Something like that. Check out her lacrosse videos that she has. Um, <laughs> go buy her stripper book. Um, go buy her. Go check out her quilt making. You seem like you make quilts. I don't know. Um, check out her gym. And then check out her BDSM dungeon while you're at it okay thank you guys thank you to the panel 
Uh, O7's in the chat. What's that? Q. Q? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it again. Ch uh, go sub to Q. All right, guys. Good night, guys. O7's in the chat. Good night. Oh. Uh, 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 talk to her typers, Ellen Hill. Bro, there's no <laughs> one talking on my account. All right. Good night, guys.